Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Traders Corner's Fall Special Investor Summit. On our panel today, we've handpicked seven professional trading experts of the highest caliber. They've agreed to share their most consistent and profitable trading strategies with us today in a free educational online forum. In today's summit, we're going to learn from a wide range of topics from how you can trade as a strategic hedge fund trader to how you can leverage artificial intelligence into an automated strategy. So let's not waste any more time. Today's show is packed with great information. Our first presenter has mentored traders from beginner to Wall Street traders. Since arriving from the Ukraine to the US with just $60 in 1989, she has built several multi-million dollar companies. She's very passionate about her students and proprietary Alpha Fibonacci systems. She holds multiple degrees, is a classical pianist, marathon runner, wife, and a mother. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the developer of proprietary Alpha Fibonacci system and founder of Fibonacci Trading Institute, Mrs. Alla Peters Plocher. Welcome Thank back to Trader's Corner, Alla. Thank you so, so much. It's been my joy and honor to be present with you in this webinar, Traders. Good morning on this bright, beautiful Saturday morning. In this webinar, I will be teaching you, as I have done for the last 13 years, how you can trade as a hedge fund trader, as a strategic hedge fund trader on all instruments. But first, I would like to remind extremely important disclaimer. Please understand, I am here to teach you. I am here to guide you. Every single thing I will present to you will show you how you can trade. It is not a financial advice. Please ask me questions about all instruments, but understand no financial advice is given in this webinar. Please trade with risks you can afford. And remember that all software, all systems shown as is, and no trader had ever been paid for any testimonial. In this webinar, we will cover how hedge fund traders prepare and trade, how Alpha Fibonacci system identifies institutional entries, trends, and exit, which is exactly how hedge fund traders trade. We will review future stocks, crypto, and forex in the current and prior market. And we will discuss how Alpha Fibonacci traders trade in US and globally since 2011. And most importantly, I will gladly answer your questions and will show you how you can trade as a hedge fund trader on all instruments. The special offer for the attendees of the webinar you can find on our homepage. When you come to the website, you receive pop-up. On this pop-up, you can sign up as a, hedge, as a visitor to our website. As you can hear the music playing in the background with a movie student made about Fibonacci Trading Institute. So please come to the website and register for the trading room. And if you would like to watch the movie about Fibonacci Trading Institute, you can find it on our homepage. So let's start, shall we? Again, I don't want to be redundant about myself. But I wanted to emphasize, I live and breathe what I do. I keep developing systems since 2004. I keep teaching traders since 2011. I travel the world meeting with students. And when my students share their journeys and their stories, it's a true inspiration for everyone in this world. As you can see, you can trade as a manual who brought his wife to the course. You can trade like Richard who retired trading Alpha Fibonacci system. You can trade as Sam who put his daughter through Harvard. William trading everything can, you will see his email. We met in London, we met in New York, we met in Texas, we met in Colorado, we met in Switzerland. Victor trades options, Forex. Michael trades options. So this is just a brief snapshot of those who trading system and think as hedge fund traders. Hedge fund traders trade with a very different mindset than retail traders. They do not trade little charts. They hold positions for weeks, months, and years. 
So what's essential to recognize? Essential to recognize their entries. Essential to recognize to trade with them. Essential to recognize that only when you think as a hedge fund trader, you can become successful. They do not spend time chasing cheap indicators. They do not spend time chasing cheap systems. They strategize. They prepare very carefully. What else is important to recognize? They place their orders far in advance at critical key levels. For example, oil. Institutional chart with Alpha Fibonacci system. Student in Saudi Arabia, students in Dubai trading oil. Here's a couple of very important moments. Do you remember the war in Ukraine? Are you surprised oil collapsed 50% from 120 all the way to 65? Or have you been buying oil because of the start of the war, expecting oil to skyrocket? So this is the power of the system. You know, many months in advance, where to monitor for long on oil, which is exactly what played out in November 2022. You are very well prepared. You strategize carefully, knowing quite well. Sell off exhausted oil setting up for bullish rally. Predictive precision with institutional buy point is in. And you know this months in advance. So when you prepare well, you understand. By January 2023, bullish rally skyrocketing. Only thing that's left for oil to break through this level and head higher. Oil oversold, Alpha Fibonacci reversal zone reached at critical key level. Oil no longer at the bottom, oil no longer at 65. Here we are six months later. We're getting endless bearish news on oil as Saudis keep cutting productions. Abu Dhabi is the top Emirates that's holding most of the world's oil reserves. Keep cutting production, oil skyrocketing to 92. The events of the war last week, critical key institutional bipolarism. What oil will do at 92 will define oil for months and years to come. Bullish rally overextended oil stock at critical key institutional levels. So if you love to trade oil, this is a crucial key event. You bought oil at the bottom and you know now quite well. This is key hedge fund points of entry. And that would change your trading forever. When you place your orders only at key institutional levels, you are riding institutional power. I teach this class every Thursday for the last 13 years. If you cannot come to classes, you can view videos 24-7. Over 300 videos of live recorded classes teach you how to enter at this key multi-million and even multi-billion dollar positions, how to write their power. So hedge fund traders trade rule-based Alpha Fibonacci system in US and globally since 2011 alone instruments. So let's review the world's current events and let's discuss everything else that's playing out. This is picture perfect event as I constantly bring to my traders attention. Kathy Woods, one of the top funds on the planet, exiting NVIDIA. Huge, huge mistake. We're discussing this with my students in classes. Kathy Woods trading someone else's money, managing multi-billion dollar positions. Where she's exiting, were you as intelligent trader looking to buy? This is what she missed. 
spectacular rally on NVIDIA since exactly a year ago as a start. Bullish rally skyrocketing by January 31st, 2023. Critical key buy point 107 reversal zone, and you knew this month in advance. Nvidia no longer at 107. Nvidia reached critical key institutional exhaustion level. Nvidia skyrocketed more than 400%. Here we are in October 2023. You're not losing money. You're riding institutional power. You think a strategic, intelligent human being. Identical price action on every single instrument. I teach you exact same thing I taught to JP Morgan traders. This is a picture perfect example. You are not trading on hype, on noise. Kathy Woods. NVIDIA losses, catastrophic. You making spectacular profits. This is exactly what I teach to my students for the last 13 years. How to trade as intelligent strategic trader. How not to lose money. Tom Brady. 30 million loss on Bitcoin. We're discussing in class, it's in 2021. When Tom Brady hyping, bye, 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 Bitcoin. Bitcoin setting up for collapse. Super Bowl, January 2021, Bitcoin in free fall. Collapsing 70%. So if you want to trade as intelligent strategic trader, you exited Bitcoin before the collapse 2021 that's it it's that simple it's intelligent strategic trading and you know this far in advance you're not trading on hype you're not trading on noise you are prepared far in advance collapse on bitcoin catastrophic if you cannot afford to lose 30 million dollars you're not trading on hype you're not trading on noise Simple and pure. Much more review next on futures as well. So this is the world's current events, correct? Here, extreme, beyond, beyond. But when you think and trade as Warren Buffett does, you become greedy when others fearful. Let's give you S&P and the events of this week when bullish rally skyrocketed despite the world's catastrophic event in the Middle East. One moment, let me find the chart. Too many charts. One second, please. Here we go. Let's take a look on institutional chart on identical levels as you saw on oil. This is October 4th institutional buy point. This is exactly 10 days ago. Let's go back to October 1st. I come back from Europe first day with my students. We discussed things that you need to be prepared to buy, not to short the markets. All recorded, all in live classes. The entire week, discussions are on. No matter what plays out in the world, you're looking to buy. You do not short near this level. S&P skyrocketing by the end of the week. S&P in spectacular profit. Number one, you did not short near this level. Number two, you're not paying attention to gossip and noise. You understand quite well that this is the long entry. Absolutely no speculation, none are present. You're riding institutional long. Bullish rally is on. 
skyrocketing 400% from critical key level until it reaches alpha Fibonacci brick wall. From 4250 to 4450, 200 points plus. No matter what the world's events are, you're not trading on gossip, you're not trading on noise. And that's a critical key part of your intelligence strategic trading. You're trading only with knowledge, without hype, without stress. No matter what plays out in the world, Alpha Fibonacci system told you this is institutional buy point. Institutional longs are sitting and waiting. Place longs. You stop losing money as gamblers do. Arc portfolio of Cathy Woods lost this more than $2 billion. Hype and noise on CNBC. This is the results. And I will show you endless stories that will remind you. Turn off the noise. Turn off the hype. Turn off the horror. Use your intelligent, limitless brain. Horrific events in the world. S&P skyrocketed as expected. And that's the events of the last extreme week. So when you become greedy, when others are fearful, everything changes. And that's a crucial key part. Strategize, prepare well, and write institutional power. Stop thinking as bottom 95% does. Stop shorting on hype and noise. Start trading as intelligent strategic trader. You're not chasing indicators. You're not chasing lucky point. You are trading as strategic intelligent trader across all instruments as top 5% does, nothing less. So no matter how small or large your account is, institutional entries and exits are crucial key part of your trading. This is what Carlton does. Keeps bringing his friends to the course. Patrick is Carlton's best friend. It's an honor when Carlton sent me emails stating that referral to you from Carlton was the best thing to ever happen in my trading career. As he says, I followed multiple indicators before. It was waste of time. Trading pure price was the ultimate only path to success. And Patrick have done it. And trading had gone from all over the place to more measured, consistent results with 74.5 win rate. Carlton brought five friends to the course. Healthcare executive trading Alpha Fibonacci system. You can see his emails on the website. You can listen to his podcast. Paul in Australia, started the course and sent me one of the most incredible emails ever. As you can see, I live in Greece what I do, and I do my absolutely best to spread sprinkles of joy and success all over the world. So when you rewind your mindset, when you stop thinking as the bottom 95% does, Everything changes. You're a limitless human being. Your gambling switch is off. You understand and trade as institutional trader. Nothing less. Here's S&P this year. We have the worst inflation. Highest rate increase. I'm bringing you back to exactly a year ago. When every single day we discuss with my students, your only brilliant move to buy. How is it possible? A year ago, inflation catastrophic. How is it possible? Your only brilliant option to do is to buy. And that's a critical key part. You're extremely well prepared. 
multiple lines running because of multiple S&P contracts since last October. From a year ago, S&P skyrocketed from 3,600 until Forty-six hundred level. Wow, worst rate increase, worst inflation, but S and P up thousand points until it sold off from being overextended until key institutional buy point. Take a look how crucial this week is and understand the horrific events of last week did not mean a thing. Institutional traders placing longs at this level. That's it. From 4,300, price skyrocketed until 4,400 plus, plus levels. Everything changes when you think and trade as institutional trader. Catastrophic event in the Middle East did not mean much. Institutional orders sitting and waiting to be filled weeks and months in advance. And that's how you trade as intelligent strategic trader. So this is institutional lifetime system for all platforms, all time frames, all, plat all, all instruments. In the class I teach, day trading, position trading. I take a look on the charts from one minute to hourly, to daily, to weekly, to monthly. Exacting traders who day trade the system on Ninja Trader 8 with multi-market scanners and trade recognition software are trading long-term with interactive brokers or MT4 or MT5 or trade station or Sierra charts or platforms I never even heard of. If the platform has price, Alpha Fibonacci system applies. It is predictive institutional system that identifies key points of entry our days, weeks, months, and years ahead on all instruments. And this depends on the time frame trading. It's absolutely your personal choice what time frame you will decide to trade. All depends on your risk management. That's a critical key part. And when you start understanding this, everything changes. In private mentoring, I stay focused on identifying if you meant to be day trader or not. If you love being tested as strategic intelligent trader, day trading is for you. And if you don't, Use system long term. Here's Alpha Fibonacci system. There is no software on this chart. I will show you software later on. This is from Friday, the post. Let's convert this chart to five minutes on October 8th. October 9th is Monday, correct? Price comes not far off. To critical key break wall. Let's go back even further. So you can see how you can day trade the system. October 4th. As you can remember, we discussed this is not just retail noise. This is institutional buy point. Horrific events setting up in the world price skyrocketing and you know this far in advance we're discussing with students none of that matters we're discussing with students price heading to this level price skyrocketed 250 points plus until it reached brick wall that's the reason for the bearish pullback you're not buying this level. You understand how important this moment is. First week in October, entirely different than last. Pull back in a play. But it's retail pullback. It's extremely weak. 
These are the events on retail charts. I show you, you decide what you want to trade. But the most important part, you knew this far in advance. You are not speculating, you're not gambling with your money. You're trading markets as intelligent strategic chess. I promise you it's not complicated. I just finished podcast with complete beginner trader Pablo who trading this. Software is a phenomenal tool for Ninja Trader A that identifies precise entry, stop and target. Bold red zone means your only brilliant option to short. You learn the difference between retail versus institutional entries. If it's retail money, if it's retail noise, you're trading small lot size. If it's retail correction, you're taking a day off. But if institutions shorting the markets, you're riding institutional power. This chart is showing you an extremely important event. This chart is showing you how much price hesitated at crucial key level. Do you remember the bold pink line as a brick wall to the upside? This is a bold pink line to the downside. You never ignore this level. It means weakness. Again, to the upside, press solo from this level. To the downside, picture perfect example of bearish weakness and bearish hesitation. But trader remained firm. Short is the only option, not long. You know every to place your stop. You know where critical key targets are. And you scale out one step at a time. Brett is a legend. He was making $10 an hour before he came to Fibonacci Trading Institute. This is a performance since March until last week. On $1,000 account, it is $18,000 account. He started with three lots in March. He's on four lots right now. Brilliant, focus, sniper. Understand what matters in the market. Try trading for 20 years plus before everything changed. When Brad switched from gambling, chasing junky points to trading as institutional hedge fund trader, riding institutional power. If Carlton can do it, if Patrick can do it, if Brad can do it, so can you. Every trader, different instrument, every trader, different time frame. Every trader different risk management. This is performance on S&P mini future. Three lots that start, October, four lots. These are the profits. So when you prepare and think and live and breathe as institutional trader, everything changes. You are trading only with institutional trends, entries and exits. So if you trade $500 account or $5,000 account or $500 million account, I'll teach you identical thing. It blows you away when you see the power of synchronicity, of understanding pure price. If it's one minute or daily or hourly or weekly or monthly, absolutely your choice. Many traders fired. They're financial advisors because they manage their money so much better. You also can come and ask me questions about your positions in classes, as many traders do. So what's important to recognize? You never stand in front of institutional trend. You never stand in front of the train, correct? So why in the world would you ever, 
ever short or by against institutions. Intelligent thing to do to write institutional power. Correct? Here is Amazon. Have you thought that Amazon save heaven? Here's the news for you. Does not exist. Save heaven lies in you and your brilliant limitless brain. This is Amazon's sell off and crush of 60%. Amazon reaches Alpha Fibonacci reversal zone. You know where to exit the position. No matter how spectacular the earnings are, chances of collapse high 80% plus. You use your limitless brain, you understand how to trade Amazon to the downside, not the upside. Spectacular earnings don't mean a thing. November 30th, sell-off starts 2021 until it ends in December 2022. You're looking to buy the bottom on Amazon. This is Amazon before the rally. Institutional entry sitting and waiting for you. If day trading is not your cup of tea, your system long term. That's it. Bullish rally on Amazon picking up this team, skyrocketing summer 2023. Amazon is up 30% plus. You write institutional power. Choice is yours, what you will decide to trade. So if you understand the power of riding multi million and multi billion dollar train, everything changes. So what would your trading be if you traded with institutions on all instruments? System consists only with two indicators, pure price for entry and alpha Fibonacci for exit. You will never, ever, ever need another system ever again. And that's a crucial, critical key part. Choice is yours what you trade. You can trade all instruments, all time frames, all platforms, all with software for Ninja Trader A. So when hedge fund manager who trades multi-million dollar position on retirement accounts, bring his son to the course and Dominic is 14 years old, it's incredible example of father trading completely different instruments than his son does. Listen to the podcast where Dominic says it's so simple, it's so pure, it's so powerful. He enjoyed trading futures. During lockdown, he was bored. But his father trading entirely different time frames, entirely different platforms, moving multi-million dollar accounts. For retirement plans. It shows you the power of pure price. So when 14 year old Dominic can trade, anyone can. Pure price for entry and alpha Fibonacci for exits. You never ignore your critical key target. Decision point two is essential, crucial exit. You know where to enter the bold green line. So if you love today trade, Alpha Fibonacci software for Ninja Trader 8 is a phenomenal tool. This is what scanner looks like. You're focusing on a single instrument. If you have 5, 10, 15, 20 instruments running as a day trader, it's a huge mistake. But if you decide to focus on oil, of course you can. If you decide to trade gold, of course you can. Price is price on every instrument. Only you can make a decision on what to trade. You become proactive. As this month, I renew my license in brain health as Johns Hopkins RN 
I worked in Johns Hopkins research. I worked in Johns Hopkins psychiatry. My license remains active. I've seen how human brain function. You can turn off your reactive gambling switch. You can remove all the noise, all the junk from your chart. When they is done, you're trading markets as strategic, intelligent, alpha, Fibonacci chess, knowing in advance institutional entries, institutional exits. So what would your day in position trading be like if you knew hours, days, weeks, and months in advance were institutional traders tracing positions? Here's another example, as we already reviewed Bitcoin, correct? Tesla. I will show you where students trading Tesla. Richard comes to the course, retired oncologist says, I'm holding large position on Tesla. I can't believe that Tesla is crashing. He preserved his retirement account. He knew where to exit Tesla. Here's Tesla before the crash. Do you remember January 2022? Have you been shorting or buying Tesla? No matter what Elon Musk says or does, you understand. Bullish rally on Tesla overextended. Monitor for short or long. Do not speculate. Do not gamble with your money. Short Tesla. Do not buy at this level. Collapse on Tesla was phenomenal, breathtaking. Competition on bearish crash of Amazon, Tesla, and Bitcoin in 2022 was catastrophic. Preview of 2022 of much more of these events to come that show you trading on hype is never a good idea. Knowing where to short and knowing where institutions waiting to buy is the only path to sleep well at night. Bullish rally and Tesla skyrocketing from 1 to 12. This has been spectacular year on Tesla until Tesla reached critical key Alpha Fibonacci target. Richard, retired oncologist, my dearest friend for life. Having a blast trading Tesla. So what you will decide to trade is absolutely your choice. When you come to the website, you can see emails from traders all over the world. Waiting list of traders to do the podcast. This is Richard's account. It's not a little position. It's multi-million dollar position. He's having a blast. He's also trading futures. He's trading everything. He's obsessed. He preserved his capital. He's done quite well. I'm waiting to speak with him again and again and again as traders all over the world. Theo, trading forex, trading futures, trading oil, trading everything. And Emmanuel bringing his wife to the court. And they both full-time traders right now, trading multiple accounts. Wife of a trader trading NASDAQ with two little babies on her arms. Bottom line is this. Stop thinking as the bottom 95% does. You want to become top 5% of successful traders? Start riding institutional power. And when you do, everything changes. So please listen to traders podcast from all over the world and you will find trader just like you who been struggling for many, many years until not. And when you read students reviews, those who make an effort can't wait to learn more and more and more. And the most important part is a card from Ken's daughter in London. As you can read Ken's email, he's paying cash for the house, for his dream house, all under podcasts, all under emails.
All I'm asking you, make an effort. All I'm asking you, remove all the indicators from your charts. This is a movie can made about Fibonacci Trading Institute celebrating 13 year anniversary. So please sign up for the invitation to the trading room and view everything on the website. There's additional webinar posted about the system as a second banner. On the website, you can find all the details. You have four options for the course. Private mentoring savings, $8,000. Group course savings, $5,000. All the details on the homepage. So when you see students' emails, listen to students' podcasts, read students' reviews, these are details about the course. Every single option includes video library of more than 300 prior videos. Live classes trading room included. Private mentoring includes all group classes. If you are not on Ninja Trader 8, option one and three appropriate for you. So if you are institutional trader or hedge fund trader, this is the most powerful option three. If you are a retail trader, the most powerful option one and two. If you are retail and institutional trader who also has Ninja Trader 8, option four, savings $8,000 is appropriate for you. If you decide to join private mentoring, I would love to speak with you. Currently, I'm coaching students in Australia, New Zealand, Africa in afternoons. I have students in Japan. I have students in Florida, New Jersey, in New York, in California, in Texas. Now, absolutely your choice. What time frame, what instrument you will decide to trade. So please review all the details on the website and do not hesitate to contact me. Info at fibinstitute.com on 925-257-4298. I hope you enjoyed this webinar. So I'm out of time, traders. I look forward to seeing you in the live classes again. On the homepage, sign up for the invitation to the trading room. And I look forward to seeing you in classes. This is a pop-up where you can join us. Thank you, traders, so much. It's been my joy and honor. Thank you so much, Ala. First, I want to say how nice it is to have you back on Traders Corner. And I also want to thank you for making such a generous offer to our audience today. Your Alpha Fibonacci system looks incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for a proven system to trade the markets with incredible accuracy, then look no further. You can find Allah's special offer in the chat box, and you can always find her at fibinstitute.com. Allah, thanks again for joining us today. God bless you and Ukraine, which we're all praying for peace in. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you, Norman. It's been my joy and honor being with you. Thank you, traders. I look forward to speaking with you. That will bring us to our next presenter, who has been a trader and trading educator for over 40 years. He has over a million views of his four-minute drills for traders found on YouTube, and he's a former commodity specialist for Payne Weber and has managed extremely large trading accounts as a commodity trading advisor. Here to present their money, your profit. The pros and cons of prop trading is Mr. Norman Hallett of The Disciplined Trader. Welcome back to, back to Traders Corner, Norman. Norman, would you check your mute button? I mean that one? Okay. That one. Yes, That's the one. I, I expect a little intro music maybe, but I'm telling you, I gotta use Ala for uh, for some voiceovers. Ta -da -da. <laughs> great, Ala is great. Fibonacci following the institutions, always love what she does. Um, Thank you for having me, Rob. I appreciate being here. I'm going to do something a little bit different today, um, and a little different angle on their money and your profits and the facts of uh, pro facts about prop trade. I'm going to kind of reveal some of the studies that I've actually done since my last presentation with you um, a month ago uh, on the firms uh, that um, that offer prop trading. For those of you who 
Um, welcome everybody. Thanks for being here. For those uh, for those of you who are not familiar with prop trading, it is it's unbelievable. It, you know, it's hard to believe when you first. I, I know it was for me very hard to believe when you first hear about it that you can actually trade somebody else's money in fifty, hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollar increments uh, account size, and and they'll give you ninety percent of the profit. In fact, they're giving me. 100% of the first 25,000 that I make on each of the accounts that I qualify for. It's, it's, it's really a crazy thing. I mean, why would they do that? Why would they, <laughs> why would they give you all the profit? I mean, where, where are they making money? And the bottom line is don't worry about them. They're, they're doing fine. I'm going to show you how they're doing fine, but they want, um, they want, some winners they want some people earning a lot of crazy money to attract others that will attempt to earn crazy money and usually fail because um they're not doing well on their own and they take those same trading principles to uh to their trading rules which need a little bit of adjusting uh for you even if you you're you're, you're profitable now in your trading uh, th there are a few things that I want to show you today that, that you can actually um, adjust your trading plan very simply in order to, um, to, to even flow through quickly on the evaluation stage of, uh, of these prop trading firms that they require before they will grant you the money. And once you're granted the money, boom, um, it's, it's up to you to stay uh, controlled so that um, you have the account grow. I can't go through all of the aspects of prop trading there are there's really not much to understand if you can be a profitable trader and you can watch your uh your drawdowns and, and that's the really um biggest difference they're very they don't want you drawing down a lot of their money and um and, and neither should you it's just that we we tend to um be a little looser than we should on the money defensive side so let, let's get into the presentation i'm gonna uh, i i would grab a a um paper and pencil, a couple of, um, boy, does that show, show my age, Rob, paper and pencil. We used to only use mechanical pencils as traders because there were no screens. And we, we delivered these gigantic every Saturday. I don't know how it came every Saturday. I had fr Fridays closing it, but these two foot long charts that they would deliver you in the mail regular mail and you could um, you mark up your charts. Anyway, grab your paper, pencil, let's get going. Um, first of all, I wanna, you know, uh, Rob uh, put, puts out uh, bullets on, on what you're promised to be uh, uh, presented. And my bullets were the pros and cons of prop trading. I'm gonna go through that first. Then how can prop trading firms give you that 90% of the profit to traders? I'm also going to talk about two secrets to passing the prop trading evaluation. I'm going to make you an offer at the end that's a very inexpensive offer, but it's, it's a very valuable uh, thing for those who are considering prop trading. I want to see kind of the differences between you know, kind of the way you normally would look at trading and, and to be successful with these prop traders. Uh, the two secrets to passing uh, the prop trading evaluation, you're going to really want to zoom in on those also. And, and also right before that, I'll give you some comparisons of prop firms, the best and some that you may want to stay away from for whatever reasons. I'm not going to dwell on the negative. I'm going to show you uh, really the result of my study. Um, okay, so if you are ready, here we go. A uh, little bit about me. I, I really shouldn't put 43 years experience because it, that makes me sound like I'm uh, I, I'm about to, uh, to expire. <laughs> but, you know, uh, 43 years experience it's one thing to um to have the same experience 43 times and never learn anything but i've been with several firms and done several things and have several angles of success in the business uh and and i think that's kind of gives me a, a rounder look at what traders really need you know especially home traders although i spent a lot of my time in the beginning in fact most of my time with institutional traders the beginning of my career spending Pretty much all of my time right now with what i call home traders retired individuals at home young traders who are actually in college and trying to um uh, trying to earn a little bit of money um, and they're doing fine 
Payne Weber was, I have to put a big name up there uh, because that impresses some people. I, you know, it's funny, Payne Weber was a, a terrific firm. Uh, I was a commodity specialist for Payne Weber, uh, but they're very, they were very salesy. It was all about how much money you could bring in. Not, not so much how much money you could make for each person uh, and to instruct them. It was all about bringing in more money and, and, and that felt good for a while and then it felt bad. So, <laughs> but before that, actually Payne Weber, in those days, this was in the 80s, uh, Payne Weber, late 80s, early 90s, Payne Weber uh, and the larger firm were looking for hot shots of which I was one at some, at some point in my career. Uh, was running the internet, part of the International Trading Group, which was an options firm, and they made me an offer and kind of bought me out. So I stayed with them uh, for a year and a half, Payne Weber, until that contract ran out, and that was the end of that. Um, but uh, running a very large option firm was something that was uh, in part and parcel to my success overall, because I was in charge of 60 option traders who were working on behalf of their their clients, advising them and trading their own trading plans on their behalf. Um, and th that's what wound up resulting in, in one of my books. And I also impressed all of this, is my late, the latest book that was written about uh, 14 years ago, but it's still about, maybe 11 years ago is available on, um, on Amazon. I think all of these still are. And in that, it, when I would take a, 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 flailing trader, a trader that wasn't doing very well, and I would ask them to bring in their trading plan, let me take a look at it. It was the, it, it, undoubtedly, too many lines, too many things going on, too much confusion, too many, you know, should I take the trade based on this? But this indicator is telling me this, but maybe I should listen to this. I haven't had a trade all day. Ah, hell, I'll get it. These are the kinds of processes that that struggling traders make. And I, it seemed all I was doing was stripping away indicators. Uh, and so I've made my life in trading over the years very simple. And the simpler I make my trading plans and deliver my trading plans to traders, the, the better they seem to do. And they, there's no doubt that that, to me, is, is a huge key. And we'll get into that some other time, but I wanted to just give, give you a little bit about my background. Actually, this is, um, uh, this is a video that, um, that I did for um, Traders Expo. Uh, somebody recorded, they recorded it and they sell it. And there's other books about me around. Uh, I started the Hallett Group uh, when I got a little bit tired of institutional work. And uh, I was a commodity trading advisor where I would actually earn 20% of money that I earned for trade for, for those that I was trading for, minimum $250,000 account. So I had some nice money to, nice equity to trade, 20%. But boy, that was pressure. Um, and so, you know, when I heard about prop trading giving you 90% of what you earn, I thought, oh my God, how can they do that? I mean, it was a pretty good time with 20%. Yes, it was a lot of pressure and it was somebody else's money, but it was somebody else that you knew money, which is that you had a relationship as a, that, that's tougher than, than trading an in institutional money from a mental standpoint. Look, you don't want to lose people's money, but uh, you do want to, and you do want to, of course, always be responsible. But there are pressures that affect you differently. Um, but I started the uh, Hallett Group, did that for a few years until really I thought, you know, there's a better way of doing it. I don't really need the, that, that kind of pressure. And, uh, you know, the industry can offer me a, a pretty good living in other ways. And one of those other ways was to help traders with the mental and emotional capacities of trading. And I think uh, that's the area where most traders really go wrong. Uh, many traders, uh, even, even the struggling ones uh, with a few little tweaks, uh, they can do very well, um, or well at least, or you know, make money. Uh, the 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 real problem with 95 percent, 90 percent of traders that lose its. Uh, I used to show reports that that showed those figures. You know, people say it all the time, but the number is true. Um, it's the mental part. It's it's not being able to follow the trading plan. So, uh, my wife, who is a um, world-renowned subconscious trainer, and we put together the trade the discipline trader almost 20, well, 20 years ago already. And um, and so we've been helping traders to uh, stick to their trading plans. Well, we were doing a fine job and making, you know, doing very well, a, a growing company. And uh, I w realized, I was realizing I was, tr I was getting traders disciplined to run lousy trading plans. <laughs> so that wasn't doing any good. So I got back into 
you know, putting together trading plans. And now it's kind of all come together in the recent four or five years, doing kind of the whole thing for everybody. And today I want to give you something at the end that I think uh, you're going to want to uh, check out in order to round out uh, your understanding of, um, of whether you want to um, approach prop trading so that you can trade other people's money and, uh, and make 90%. I just don't know why anybody would not want to do this. Um, why would you, even the larger, I mean, certainly five, $10,000 accounts, those are tough to manage anyway for anybody because of the nature of, 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 uh, uh, of small money, which is you're, you're constantly in fear of losing, it seems. Uh, and the need for those that, that, that's reflected by those that only have five, and listen, I've been there, five or $10,000. It's tough, it's a lot of pressure. But when you can trade 50,000 minimum or 100 or 150,000, I've qualified for several $50,000 accounts. I just got my tw second $150,000 account qualification. And so in this business, and I'm framing prop trading as a business, you can you know, many, many different accounts. You can trade them separately and so on, so that if uh, if you have income in one, um, you don't have to, um, you know, and that particular account is going flat. You're making money on others. It's a, it's a, it's a fabulous uh, thing. And there are many, many that just have one or two, fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar accounts and do very fine. It's just that with my experience, I can. Uh, I can dance around the keys a little bit more than a lot of people, but l let me show you what it's about because it's something that's considered. I, this is the kind of uh, um, affirmations they give you when you pass. Here's, they give it. I use Apex, and I'll show you why in a second. Uh, there are, are a couple of good ones that I would recommend that you use. Uh, Apex is is one of them that I use. It's the exclusive one now that I use for other reasons, and I'll show you. But this is, you know, once you pass the 50, the 150, these are the first couple. They'll send you a little certificate that you can frame on the wall, just like, uh, actually, this is my proudest certificate. This is what they send you when you request money and they send it to you. Where they congratulate you for making money. So this is, was the first one, the, the first thousand dollars that they put directly in my bank account. It was back in May of this year. So that one is like, it's like when you go to a restaurant or a barbershop and they get a dollar hanging up, you know, that was the first dollar they make. That one's, that one I have hanging up because that's the first thousand dollars that they, uh, that I was able to, uh, to make with uh, with Apex, and it's you know it's been uh, it's been downhill ever since. Not downhill from a standpoint of easy slide to uh, to more money. I, I just think that um, you, you know the the aspect of demo trading, um, where you're practicing trading only to risk your own money, that hurdle is a very big mental hurdle. When you're when you're prop trading and trading somebody else's money, it's less of a hurdle, less emotion, more success. So, so I really think why would anybody de demo trade just to trade their own money when they can when they can do a form of demo trading by going through the prop trading's evaluation, which is in the case of a fifty thousand dollar account, make three thousand dollars in that fifty thousand dollar account before you lose twenty five hundred. Uh, if you can do that, you're going to pass the qualification. Now it sounds easy from from that standpoint, but I'm going to show you some of the hurdles. Okay, so. I just want to show you what, what it looks like, uh, kind of vision your own success. Now, prop trading overview. Um, prop trading firms will fund you for 50, 100, up to 300,000 and more in some cases, and you'll earn 90% of the profit. The pros of that is, of course, it's their money and your profit. And millions are actually being paid out uh, for, I'm going to show you some of those numbers. So that is that makes you confidence. In fact, here are some of those numbers. This is with Apex, the, the firm that I, uh, I I have my account with, and I don't have. I'm not part of Apex, but if you, I, I they did give me because they knew I was kind of recommending them. They they gave me a special link to give to people for, uh, and you can use it anytime for their best uh, deal right now. And right now they they have 70% off their normal monthly charges. I'm going to show you what that is in a second. Not the amount, but the monthly charges. So if you want that, just um, you know, Google Norman, uh, Google the Discipline Trader, and um, and find me. And um, and you'll uh, just go to the DisciplineTrader.com. Go to contact, and um, and just um, say, hey Norman, I heard about that, that link. But that's not what this presentation is about. But I usually get. Uh, 
emails about it or questions about it after a presentation like this. So I wanted to uh, just give it to you up front. Just go to thediscontrader.com and uh, go to the contact area and tell me, hey, give me that link that gives you the discount. Um, all right, thank you. This is this is something that they sent me. A thank you. They were sending it to all their traders. They paid out eighteen million dollars at that time of the year by April, uh, by by May or the first part of May. They'd already paid out eighteen million dollars for the year. Uh, they paid out seventeen uh, seven million dollars. Um, and look, this was the progression: nine million, two million, three million. Uh, they paid out more. They paid out seven million last month in September. So. More and more traders are realizing the potential of this. I believe that that prop trading will eliminate uh, the the, the um, demo trading. I mean, again, why demo trade when you can practice with their money, so to speak, at a very low price? Uh, I mean, the monthly charge can be as low as sixteen dollars. They pay, so you're not talking about a, 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 a tough road. Uh, but but let me let's get. Let's get into again. That's the uh, that's the thing hanging up on my wall. Here's a little bit more of the overview. The cons. Um, the, there are fees during the evaluation, and there are monthly fees um, with 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 uh, with most of them depends. And uh, again, you can you'll have to do your own research on it, or or just zoom in on the research that I've done. And the monthly fees can, the normal prices, for, for instance, with Apex for a $50,000 account is $167 a month. It, you know, most, uh, an experienced trader will, won't, will take a month to trade. You know, it'll be, they'll need, maybe they'll need a little bit more of a second month. So two times that. Um, a, a less experienced trader may need two or three months. It, it, you know, it's, it, it's not a lot to, really to ask 3000 to make three thousand under fifty thousand dollar account, uh, if you've got a good trading plan, so you know th those. But but so let's say it takes you three three months at full price, um, and, and I don't have an account that I'm paying more than sixty dollars a month for for anything. So even for the hundred fifty thousand dollar account, so uh, because they come with specials all the time. So the monthly fees. So even if you paid full, uh, so that'd be about five hundred dollars over three months. But then you've got fifty thousand dollars to trade. It doesn't take you long to get over that five hundred, even if you were, didn't have a link. Like I, uh, if you were just blind to uh, to the specials they always put out, and because they'll make plenty of money, thirty dollars a month, or sixty dollars a month, or hundred dollars a month. But this is not. This is the biggest number that you have to deal with the monthly fees. So if you're, you know, it's it's you you, you got to measure it against your potential of trading fifty or hundred or, or Hundred fifty thousand dollars. There are reset fees. If you if you blow out an account, if you if you lose that twenty five hundred dollars in the account before you make the three thousand, um, you're going to pay a reset fee. And the reset normal reset charge is eighty dollars. But they have those specials all the time. Half reset charge. You know, 20, eighty percent off your reset. So the having they want you in motion. They want that dream to continue to uh, to to be in your head because they know that most traders are not going to win why because it doesn't matter if they're setting up something that's great for you it's going to because you, you're not disciplined enough to 90 percent of traders are not disciplined enough so if you're not winning right now you're not going to win in prop trading but uh that said the structure of prop trading makes the risk lower for you which allows you to be more productive on the discipline side and that's where I come in to kind of help you with that it's maybe some later stage but I just want to give it all to you because without discipline none of this works okay so you got monthly fees you got reset fees and but they know that 90 percent of traders fail so they're all so that they're just collecting these fees month after month and when you pass it's almost free from that point on in fact th during this whole thing you're not paying anything for the the, the, the for ninja trader you're not trading any for the platform. You're not not paying anything for um, uh, for the data. They they cover all of that. So th that's it. And, and, and after you pass, there is a one-time fee. I just paid one for uh, for the hundred fifty thousand dollar account. I think it was two hundred and forty dollars. For two hundred forty dollars, I am now trading that hundred and fifty thousand dollar account, and I'm getting ninety percent of the profit. Actually, a hundred percent of the first twenty five thousand. I'm now trading that. Um, and um, uh, for, for, for no more fees ever. And, the, and I, I don't even pay for data and platform. So um, because they know that 
that if you're lucky, there are a lot of traders that are lucky enough to pass, but they were lucky and they're going to keep that $240 because in the next couple of months, they're gonna blow out that account. I, I can't go through blow, what a blowing out account. I will say that when you're, when you're in, when you've got, when you got funded, it's a lot harder to blow out an account. But if you're not a very good trader, you can do that too. Then you got to go back and test again. So it's a it's a vicious circle for the undisciplined trader. It's nirvana for the trader who is willing to learn to be disciplined, have a trading plan that works, and do all all that for you. Because it's my testimonials and testimonials of winners that just said, hey, they just. It's, paid me $15,000 this month or whatever the testimonial is that attracts all of the other traders that are probably going to lose. So they love the winners to, to, to help attract more of the traders who are, are not disciplined traders. Okay. And after you pass, uh, th this is what I meant that uh, lifetime, I just paid uh, 225. I pay $130 when I was, when I passed the, um, the um, uh, the fifty thousand dollar account, so I don't have to pay. Or if you want to pay monthly after you pass, you can pay eighty dollars a month or one hundred and fifty dollars a month. But it didn't seem doesn't doesn't seem reasonable if you have any confidence in the trader not to just pay the lifetime and, and be done with all fees. Unless you don't have any trust that you'll be around and you don't want to give them the money because you could blow it out. Then go ahead. So there's a mental uh, there's a mental construct here. Okay. Uh, so are these really cons? Are, the, are these cons really cons? And all the all these prop traders, a bunch of cons. Uh, <laughs> some of them are. Some of them are, and that's why I did the study. And we'll show you the the, um, um, the, the reason why I, I got you the number one. Um, so so that's the that's the um, that's that part of the. Um, presentation. I want to show you, this is the study that I did. Prop trading firms, I hired somebody to, with the parameters that I gave them, and we went back and forth as we, as I developed this, and, but it came out with this sheet of, of, of prop trading. I compared seven different firms. This is a general comparison. This is like a breakdown comparison of all the different firms, and I gotta, I'll give you the bottom line, and any of my clients, or anybody that buys anything from me, I, I go ahead and I'll send you the study if you want, but it's going to come out with the same conclusion, I think, and, and the winner was eight and I'll tell you why the winner is Apex. Apex or Top Step, both are valuable firms. Okay, both have been around. Both, I, I want them around. I don't want them around last week. I want them around for several years. I want, I want them to be paying out money consistently and in a growing fashion, more each month. I don't want them to pay out, you know, two million this month, uh, last month, and five hundred dollars this month. I want them to be a growing um, business that 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 sees a reason to stay in business. I want, I don't want to put pin in my effort to pass these things, then all of a sudden uh, there's no money to check because they decide to close the door. I want them to continue so that I can continue. So these are the kinds of parameters that I, you know, because where's the risk really? I mean, that's the risk. Well, they won't be around and you passed it and spent all your time, but you're not, it's not like you paid them $10,000 and they're gone, you, not, nothing. You know, you paid them a few hundred dollars along the way. These are your total risk. And anybody that's in the risk business realizes that is not, is nothing to be concerned with. But the winner was Apex, paid out 19, I'm sorry, 19 million in the last 90 days. Uh, they paid out 7.7 .7 million in September, over 9 million last month, okay? Uh, I'm sorry, in September. And they're on their way to 9 million this month so far, if you, if you, if you stretch it out, 4.8 out of five on Trustpilot. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Trustpilot. I do think it's a place that you can stop in and go. Uh, they can be critical of really good firms, which I, which really upsets me when I see a, somebody that I've known in the industry for 10 months, 10 years, and and they I know that they've built uh, you know real winning traders over their careers, where I've you know helped them with trading plans and so on. And I know how valuable some of these people are. Trustpilot. You know, gives them a, a you know because they didn't file some certificate somewhere. I, I don't know, but when you do have a 4.8, um, at least you know their rules, and and that's that's a pretty good sign. Um, and they 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 pay traders or they have traders from 150 different countries that are utilizing their aspect. So that, that felt good to me, and now I have all the confidence in the world because the money is coming into. Uh, the accounts of myself and others that I've been training. Okay, so here's what some of that chart looks like if you care to at some point in our relationship ask for it. Uh, don't worry about this last column; it has no meaning uh, right now. But but look here. Let's let's zoom in on the fifty thousand dollar account. This is the one I was talking about. So here's a fifty thousand dollar account, and um, the monthly is one hundred and sixty seven. 
dollars. But they just ran something recently where they gave you 90% off the first month and 80% off every subsequent month. So, so I mean, it's sixteen dollars and seventy cents to I'm going to say play this game. It's not a game, but enter this arena, and um, it's more of a joust than a game. Uh, so it's sixty. If you need a second month, it's going to be thirty-three dollars and forty cents. So for every month that you need it, so you can. It's better worth doing this rather than de than than demo trading. I mean, you might as well have a purpose. You can say, oh, I won. I demo traded. I just made $10,000 on my account. I'm ready to go live. You do that in here. You've got two $500,000, $50,000 accounts. So I just, I, I'm, I'm being a little facetious, but I'm just trying to show you the potential here. Um, the target is $3,000 before you um, lose $2,500. I'm going to mention something about uh, Apex, which, which um, a lot of traders choose other firms but Apex because of the way they they um, judge this drawdown. I'm going to give you one example. Okay, just listen to me, the audio. I'm not going to give you something to look at. If you have a trade, let's say you have your first trade. You, you funded, a, you have a $50,000 account. They put it in your, now you start either, you're, you're, you're now trying to, uh, to qualify. So you've, you're on your first day with prop trading and you have your $50,000 account. You put on your first trade, it's active. It's up $1,000, okay? But you don't take the profit. You let it come back down and uh, and you close out the trade at uh, five, $50 and then the day is over. You only had that one trade. Um, with most firms, uh, you continue to have the drawdown level of $2,500. That's not true of Apex. Apex says it takes the peak of whatever you, your account has been uh, during the trade, open trade equity, and then draws the line. So in my example, in my example, you put on your first trade uh, with your $50,000 account. You may, you had a $1,000 in there. You didn't take it. You let it come back down to break even. You still have $50,000 in your account, but this number now is $1,500. Why? Because you didn't take the, the $1,000 that, 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 that you had. Now that may sound horrible, and, and it does sound horrible to the inexperienced trader or the non-professional trader, but I got to tell you something. If you don't have, because there are things that you have to do and can do, I'm going to show you one today to offset this and to move you more into the professional trader way of thinking, okay? Because if you're not thinking like a professional trader, none of this is going to work, okay? But that's all I'm going to say about this right now, but let's get into the two keys. One, the first key that I want to show you is you want to take at least two contracts upon entrance. And that's the offset to one of the offsets to what I just showed you about including open trade equity when, when it's measuring that drawdown. Okay. So contracts upon entrance, take at least two. I'm a twin, so I can put that picture up. That's not me. I wasn't that cute as a twin. My brother was, was fraternal. He was a good, better looking guy. Um, anyway, uh, but you, you want to take two contracts in the beginning, every time that you, your signal, your, your trading plan gives you a signal, you want to take two contracts. Why is that? The first contract you want to use for scalping, okay? Um, the benefit is it minimizes the drawdown. And let me stop there and just, now, if you have two contracts and you treat one as a scalp and one as a runner to give you more, okay, uh, then by taking that scalp, you're putting money in the bank uh, in your bank, so to speak, so that if the second position comes back and, and is break even, you have not changed that $2,500 line in my example. Why? Because you grabbed $1,000 from the scalp and then you let the other one come back, which was counted against you, that evens it out. So scalping is an element of trading that I am not generally excited about before I got into prop trading. I mean, I did it. I, I the trading plans for scalpers and so on. But to me, you know, you know, let it run. Let's see what you. I wanted more. I want more from my trading. Well, I have learned that you want to include scalping in your and I, in my in my course, uh, loading gun. I, I I show people how to do that. But the idea is that whatever scalping technique that you use, utilize scalping because you want to minimize that situation that I told you. So if you want, you know, I want to work with the best company. They make it a little harder. And the reason they make it a little harder is they want you to be more of like a professional trader. Okay. Okay. So 
the be second benefit is you're capitalizing on a jump start trigger. Um, that that particular benefit doesn't hold much. You, you you're best off finding a trigger in your trading that, that and and testing. When I say find one, I mean identify one, back test it, and I and and confirm that that most of the time when you take a trade, it'll give you a little pop. That's going to help with, with this scalping procedure. That's for another conversation. The second position that you take is going to be for expansion. I call it a runner, okay? And the benefit of that is you, listen, you want to take more out of a trade, as much as you can out of a trade, but you don't want to be greedy. Take the scalp, let the other one run. In your head, you're thinking, hey, you know, I, I got some, I got some of mine. Let's see how much more I can get. A little bit easier to follow your trading plan, okay? And of, of course, you have the opportunity for the big winner, but you always have to defend when the profit gets really big. Yesterday, I had a big profit shorting the S&P. And when it gets to a certain point and the bar the bar sizes start to slow down. You want to start defending your your profit, and and so um, the, the, I just wanted to give you that technique if I never see you again. And uh, it also minimizes drawdown. But the most important thing about this technique, not only does it offset that rule that I talked to you about, but another primary benefit is it eliminates the common dilemma. When I uh, when I was dragging some of those option traders in my room and and, and other traders that I've coached. Uh, over the years and, and this year and the, this month. Th there seems to be, there is a common men mental dilemma when you only put on one position or you treat your, not your not all your contracts as one position um, and the market moves especially quickly, you always wonder, should I take it? Should I take it? Or is there more here? You know, if you take it and the market runs runs up without you, you say to yourself, why the heck did I take it? On the other hand, if you if you don't take it and the market goes a little higher and then comes all the way back to break even, you say, why don't, why didn't I give me, why, why didn't I take what God gives me, which is what my mother used to say, man. take what God gives me. Take, <laughs> why, why didn't I take the low hanging fruit? So by doing this, it simply eliminates that mental you know, problem, and it's a huge problem for traders. Think about it. Think about your own trading, okay? So I love this from a number of different standpoints. You want to make trading comfortable. I'm not going to use the word fun, but but it, but it borderlines fun when you have all this together, and it really doesn't take as much as you think. Just a couple of concepts similar to this. Okay, the second key to uh, for, to your trading, uh, to, to to making it in prop trading and making it in any trading, but I'm I'm teaching you how to be more think more like a professional trader, and that is to take smaller contracts and give yourself a wider range. You know, there's a, a definite underappreciation for uh, for for leverage, and I think that's a real problem. There's plenty of leverage. I, I'm talking to you today about the futures market. Most of these. Uh, prop firms are in the work in the futures market, but there are some stocks. There are some options. I, I haven't tested them and I haven't uh, analyzed them. You'll do that on your own. Maybe you want to see how I analyze them if you're a stock trader. But my thing is is, is is futures. Although my trading systems that I've made, including Loaded Gun, which is our most popular one, uh, is is used by stock traders um, as well as um, and and forex traders as well as. Um, futures traders, but I'm zooming in on futures traders when it comes to prop trading. Current market volatility demands allowing a position to breathe. You've got to give room for a position to breathe, okay? The benefit is that you don't want to get whipsawed, okay? You want to, so if you take a smaller contract or a smaller number of contracts, then you, and then you can put your stop at a more reasonable place to allow more breathing, okay? Because, um, listen, the market is a, is a breathing animal. Smaller contracts allow more contracts to be initiated and scaled out of, which is another huge benefit. Okay, you want to, I believe that if you have a good trigger that gives you a, a positive result most of the time right away, because you've tested it, why not take the majority, if not all of your position right up front and then scale out? First pop, take out one. Keeps going, take out another. And, and I say take out, there are places to take them out, Based on, I love to take them out based on um, what I see as as um, supports and resistances. So, uh, again, a future lesson, but the concept I want to be clear: smaller positions, wider breadth for your stop. Okay, you have another defense against drawdowns when you're when you're scaling out of of, of contracts.
All right, I want to give you my offer. I've got about uh, 10 minutes here, and then maybe I'll take some questions, or maybe I'll, I'll get into uh, other things um, if, if we have time. But I wanted to 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 also say that that I do a special presentation also on how to use prop trading for long-term income. I'm so into it now because it really is the answer, especially for smaller accounts, but it winds up that the takers of this, the, the early appreciators, are the ones, are traders that are trading $100,000 and $200,000 accounts of their own and say, why should I risk my own? Let me put that in the treasury bill and, uh, and let me get 5%, not worry about it. And use that as basic money and trade their money. I mean, why should I do have any risk at all? So, you know, <laughs> consider it, consider it, uh, because it's it's a dream, really. It's a, it's a crazy dream. Um, but but you got to be that it's it's a horrible nightmare for uh, for those that are untrained and are not willing to learn but the parameters of prop trading are much more conducive because you're going from trading their money uh, trading uh, practicing and, uh, and 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 showing that you can trade to trading their money not your own that hurdle is a lower mental hurdle listen you don't want you want to be responsible but they're not going to let you lose a lot of their money so um, there's a lot, 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 lot less guilt and horribility when you're trading somebody else's money. Uh, all right. Well, here's I want to show you um, how this is the this is a small course that I want to offer you to really get into this. And, and and whether you do it for crop trading or not, it'll turn you into a much better trader because you'll be more you're thinking more like a professional trader. How to build a substantial long-term income. The first piece it's got five pieces. The first is the overview and the clear advantage advantages of prop trading. I, I want to dig deeper into it because I, I think that any process that you move forward to are going to have hurdles. And if you cannot, if you're not, if you can't keep your 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 excitement and and you can't keep the potential in front of you uh, because there are some hurdles that you're you're jumping, um, none of this is going to work. So I want you to have a clear understanding of the crazy opportunity that this is. And so I go deeper. That's an important piece. The second piece is the importance of the right kind of trigger to pass the evaluation. And I say with ease. I've given you one uh, one of those tips in, in the, two, the two contracts and how to always put on at least multiple multiple contracts, which means at least two. But you can just discover the best way the best win ratio, and you'll solve common trading discipline dilemma at the same time. I've hinted at that a little, but there's more, and there's a lot more. I want you to understand the importance of the kind of trigger that I want you to use to pass the evaluation. The second and the third, I mean, the third piece is how to handle a, the drawdown rules so you can trade with relaxed confidence. The two rules that I gave you help you with that. I've, I've talked to you about drawdown rules, wh whether they're counting open trade equity like Apex does against you or others that don't. You really want to know how to defend what the market is giving you during a trade, which does involve a scalp and so on. But I want to, I, you know, this third piece is important because it's the drawing down to that red line that gets you nervous enough to do crazy things and and and, and make you pay a reset fee. So you need to stay away from that red line. I want to show you how to do that in the third piece. The fourth piece is how to run a prop, how to run your prop training as a business. When you have early success, and and I, I am confident that you'll have early success if you do this right, um, you're going to see that this could really work out. What if I had two of these or three of these? I'm going to make this statement, and I'm going to take the risk of scaring you because I've been doing pretty well with just two and three and four accounts. And I really, I only trade one or two specifically. I'd spend a lot of my time just qualifying for others. But so that I can do what I'm about to tell you here. When I interview some of the people that are making, the, you know, that are paying, one guy was paying out 750,000 last month. Uh, you know, I haven't touched him yet, but others that are doing very well, 20, 30 a month, they have multiple $50,000 accounts. They, they do that because they're easier to pass. And once they've got, to, to, they have as many as 20 of these $50,000 accounts. I'm saying, how could they do that? Well, there's something called a trade copier that, that you can use that, that is easy to use. I just bought it myself because now I have to do some, uh, I'd like to utilize the money in separate accounts and do the same thing only with bigger positions in the bigger accounts. And you can do that with trade copying. With one click, you can put the same um, the, the same contract in, in different accounts and different sizes. In fact, if you're trading the S&P, you can put minis in one 
and micros in one, minis in another, and, and still with the same one click. So it's a, you know, they, they've solved that problem. But what I'm saying is there are ways to run it as a business, you know, uh, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm working on that right now. In fact, I've reserved Prop Trading University. I'm opening a Prop Trading University uh, next year. And, and in that, I'm going to talk about those that really, you know, retired, that want a side business, others that want a stream of income. But I like to frame things as a business and run my trading as a business, even if it's on a small scale, because that kind of keeps you, keeps you bordered, keeps you, keeps you within parameters. Okay, so I want to give you that. And then, and then I want to give you the fifth piece and show you exactly how I got funded in my, in, 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 in a $50,000 account in 10 days. It's the first one that I got qualified for, which says, boy, I did this in 10 days. Um, what, you know, how is that? Now the minimum is seven days. You got, they don't want you having one big trade and then getting funded. They want you to uh, gradually, they want to know that you're a good trader. I'm going to wrap up the, this series with this blueprint of how I got funded in 10 days for $50,000 and $150,000 the next one in 22 days. And here's, and we'll put it on the ones I'm working right now, I'm halfway there on the $150,000 account. $150,000 account, you need to make $9,000 before you lose $5,000. Yesterday was a $2,000 day in two of those accounts. So, you know, you can make, you can have some nice chunks. I'll do this by, by the end of next week. Those two will be qualified. I want to show you how to do it quickly so that you can, you, you can, you, you can get this going. The, the quicker you see that money going into your account, the more you're going to believe it's true. And I'm going to, I got to tell you that the money in your account, um, you know, it, 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 it's, it's real. Um, anyway, here's my offer to you. Um, the first piece, again, overview and clear advantages of prop trading. Second piece, importance, the right kind of trigger to pass with ease. How to handle so that drawdown rule so you stay away from that red line and don't get creeped out. Running it as a business, really like this module because, because I think if you're serious about all of this, why not look at it as a business? And it, it's really, you're going to love this module. And of course, the last module, I want to show you how I did it, how the, I did my first one. Okay. The investment is $497, but not today. The price in today's Trader's Corner event, just for today, for today's event, is not $197. You want to go to this, uh, Rob's going to put this in the chat for me. Uh, the, um, I hope. If I'm still okay, if I'm still available, uh, the trainers, uh, the disciplinetrader.com forward slash income and use the coupon code income for that $300 off. I want you to have this. I want, listen, whether you ever do prop trading at all, the keys that I give you, the concepts that I give you are, are, are what you're paying for here. And, and I'd love you to, to, to move them into prop trading because that's really what, what, why I created this. Uh, but I want to give you a bonus too. I want to give you for the first 25 traders that do this. This offer is good all day, but but I want to for the first 25. I want to give you five other profit building rules that professional traders include in their trading plans that you likely don't. These are other rules that that you may not. I, I know you've you know if you unless you've been trading for 10 or 20 years, you've probably never even heard of these. But but real long term successful. Prop tr uh, traders that want to put things more, more of the training not on auto drive. I'm just saying, settle things down even more and do the right thing more of the time. I want to give you these rules that they use, but it's a it's a special bonus for only the uh, the, the first 25 traders. Okay, so uh, just a little bit of incentive. It's you know it doesn't may not sound like much, but it's it's really this is really stuff that I've used over the years that really works. So. Take a look at what you're what you're getting here. You're, you're getting and you're getting the, the blueprint of how I did it. You're getting the keys from a from a guy that's been around. I want you to have this. Look, this is the future of demo trading. Forget demo trading. What good is it? What good has it done you? I mean, I'm, I'm and I'm not speaking to, to 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 you know the traders that are successful. I'm trading to the traders that are struggling. You know, there's no reason to struggle here uh, unless you you are you're approaching it in the wrong way, okay? I, I wanna show you the right way. And, and I've built in, a, the, a, these keys here are, are, are part and parcel to keeping your head together so that you can run your trading plan in the right way, okay? And, and appreciate the idea of prop trading. I mean, 90% of the, uh, the profit they're giving you. 
and 100% of the first 25,000. They just make it better and better for people who have, have put all of this together. I want you to be one of these people. So I, I've, I've given you a couple of, if you're going to do it without me and you never see me again, start with the $50,000 account. This way you'll pass it more quickly. I want you to pass it quickly so that you can then start to, um, you, you can you can then um, see the money in your account that becomes all real. Rob, I've talked the fastest I've ever talked. I, I, I know I've lost a few people. I hope not. But I appreciate you having me today. Norman, I kept up with you, and you're nowhere close to that micro machines guy that used to be in the commercials. <laughs> 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 um, but their money, your profit, the pros and cons of prop trading, I liked a little bit of a change up. It was good, and I have to give credit where credit is due. Congrats on passing your evaluations. You know, great information, and I see you've done your due diligence as usual. It's always great to have you on Trader's Corner, over a million views on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Norman Hallett, you can find him at thedisciplinetrader.com. I did put his link and the coupon code in the chat box, and if Thank you're interested you. in you're welcome. You. I always, you know, whenever I pass anything, we, my wife would go out to dinner. I buy a, a bottle of Margot, which is, you know, no less than $170. I love Chateau Margot. And uh, even though I've turned into a vegetarian this month, we got to talk about that. Um, so uh, I, I, my wine matching now is all different. So anyway, oh, thanks. Oh, wow. That's got to really throw a wrench in your plan. <laughs> well, you, you're traveling around the world every day. So, you know, the hey, country. Oh, happens. Oh, my gosh. Norman, you're a vegetarian now? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Congrats. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Rob's laughing. I'm, I'll talk to you, Rob, later about the laugh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're interested in being mentored by a professional trader with 40 plus years of experience who can pass prop trading evaluations like it's his job, then look no further. You can learn more by clicking, in the, clicking the link. Thanks again, Norm. It's always Thank a pleasure. You. Have a great I'm weekend. And ladies and gentlemen, our staff at Traders Corner sifts through hundreds of pro traders and brings you the most credible and qualified to participate on our shows. And up next is one of the most respected technical analysts and traders in the industry with a high reputation for both accuracy and bull and bear markets. She began her trading career as an equity string trader in the mid-90s and has since expanded into many other sectors of the market. Her style of trading and market analysis transcends both time as well as market vehicles, making it attractive to investors and traders of stocks, futures, options, ETF, commodities, and Forex. Here to present the Phoenix, a trend trader's best kept secret, is Ms. Tony Hansen. Welcome back to Trader's Corner, Tony. Thanks, Rob. Thanks for having me. <laughs> well, that thank you really for great. being here. Yeah, that was really great information from Norman there on uh, prop trading. That's become just such a new vehicle for traders that are just trying to get get their foot in the door. You know, we're so used to, hey, the wealthy already has plenty of money to borrow, right? But what about the average Joe to get into the, the markets? So no. that's that's awesome. Absolutely, and I will reiterate that we sift through hundreds of pro traders to bring you the best and most qualified, so congrats on passing that exam. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let me switch my screen here. I've got to put you over on my other monitor. Do you see my uh, PowerPoint there? Looks beautiful. All right, wonderful. Well, gang, we are going to dive right in. So once you've got those accounts funded, now you need your strategies, right? You need something that you can work from, build from, and that you know has worked for dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of dozens of years. So um, Rob, thanks again for having me. I've known him for ages, right? <laughs> It we, doesn't seem like that long, but I thank know, you. No, it goes so fast. I mean, I just turned 30 again the other day, so. <laughs> I celebrated my 22nd anniversary of my 21st birthday uh, a month and a half ago. Nice. Congratulations. Well, guys, we are going to talk about the Phoenix, and I'm actually throwing some other stuff in there. We're going to talk, also introduce you to the Avalanche and Fibonacci fans, and the fan is a tool that is, it's an indicator, but it is one of those indicators that you can apply very consistently over the markets. There's a basic core way to use it and then there's advanced ways where we can go and use manipulations that are all rule based so the core of how i trade is i like rules i like to know hey 
if this happens, then the probability of this x is going to happen as the consequence. And whenever I'm analyzing a trade, it's it's moving pieces. You know, it's like you are uh, a race car driver and you're constantly analyzing your surroundings. And that's the way it is in the markets as well. But with time, you recognize different triggers and different things that are going on that are going to have impacts on where your vehicle is going. So as we dive into this, how many of you are already familiar with this strategy? At least the very basics. I know a number of you have um, participated in my, some of my classes here over the years. I've been, oh my gosh, I've been teaching market analysis for at least 20 years. <laughs> Seems like it's uh, not been that long, but yeah at least 20 years, been trading for at least 23, and I think it's longer than that now, let's see, 96, yeah. <laughs> so we are going to look at how I've built my style of market analysis over the years, and one of the favorite strategies that I now use, and it's the one that I come off the bat and just teach most of my traders as a beginning strategy, because it's not an absolute pivot reversal, but it is the second continuation in, or the first continuation in a brand new trend. So the second wave in a brand new trend. So a phoenix is essentially something where you're dealing with a trend exhaustion move. You're getting a break coming out of that channel and a two wave correction. So on a very small time frame, this is your Phoenix. But there's a lot of rules that go into that. So how do we know, for example, that this is really going to be a buy setup here that can turn the market totally around versus something that's just going to pop a little bit and end up continuing with a bear flag? And it's those details that we are going to dive into here today. We also have another version of one. It's called a Chevron. I'm going to show you another example of this later on. But this is also a Phoenix. It's just a more advanced version. So the one that we are going to talk about here today is just going to be a basic Phoenix. So that happens when you've got a downtrend, back and forth action in here. You get a break of that trench channel, two-wave correction where you're holding up in the upper part of that. Oftentimes, these lows are kind of hitting the upper end of where that trench channel would have been. And then your buy setup is not the breakout from that range. It is the breakout from the second correction. So if you just took this template that I drew here and you tried to trade every single one of them that looked like this, you would be in a lot of trouble because there's a lot of details that go into this, creating pros and cons to help us understand which of these is going to fully turn around versus which one might just create a trap and end up breaking on the downside. And that's what this class here is about today. So here is another version of it, and what you'll see is an extra little bit of detail that's been added on here. So we've got volume on this chart. So on this time frame, you can see we have that main channel here. We have a break in that main channel, and then we have a two-way correction. As it is forming that two-wave correction, we've got volume dropping. So what this is telling us is that on our downside moves, there's not the panic that we see with previous exhaustion moves on the downside. So what we're aiming for is a channel like this. It can be a little bit tilted to the downside. And then the break of that second pullback there is what triggers the buy setup, not the break of the channel. This is how going back and reading like a lot of intro to technical analysis, that's how a lot of traders are taught. Don't do that because the problem you're going to run into is that your return compared to what your stop levels are is going to be cut down drastically 
by using a breakout up here. And it doesn't substantially increase your probability of a successful trade. If we have our other building blocks within this Phoenix development lining up. So one of those building blocks is that volume decline. The other one so far we've talked about is a break of that immediate trend channel before the Phoenix forms. So those are two characteristics that are going to be pros in this setup. This chart actually shows us a couple of other ones as well too. And I'll give you a template here in just a minute. But look at your distance between your highs compared to where this tests the high for the third time. In a core Phoenix, these two distances as far as time development should be approximately the same when this is starting to break out. So if you had this popping up and trying to break out here, that's a higher risk trade. If you're just learning a new strategy, like this is your first time you're learning this strategy. I've developed this you know, a good 18 to 20 years ago, but it is something where you know, it, over time, you never stop learning. You know, even today, I'm still learning different things about the market. Just the more time you spend in front of it, the more you basically conduct experiments, you keep a growth mindset, so you're constantly learning, you're going to learn little details on things that might have stopped you out a great deal in the past, even if it seemed to fit all of your rules. So if something stops me out on a trade, I'm not like, oh, well, this trade's only successful 80% of the time and 20% of the time it's not gonna work. I wanna know what is it about the 20% of the time that it doesn't work that increased the risk that it could fail. And so I'm studying not only the winning trades, but also those that struggle not just struggle and fail, but struggle to even get going and take longer to get going as well. So one way that I've learned through my journaling and through a lot of analyzation of trades is that if this zone here matches this zone here, I've got a much stronger trade happening. A let me clear this here, erase that. And then another thing too, is if your channel here is fairly parallel, whether it's tilting to the backside or tilting sideways, if it's fairly parallel, that's also great, but we don't want the second low to be substantially under the first. So if it's tilted a little bit to the downside, if that tilt looks more like this, where when you're looking at your start of your trend, your end of the period, and then the end of your second pullback, and it tries to come back up, that is gonna be higher risk. So instead, what you would wanna see is if you're comparing here to here to here, you've got that smaller distance in here as it goes to that slightly lower low. So it's enough to flush out the previous low, but it's not enough to create kind of that stronger momentum move. So what we're aiming for is a more gradual correction, more of a time correction than a price correction. So that is the other note that you wanna take down on this trade. So here's another example, but you'll notice something different on this example. We don't have that second pullback to a slightly lower low here. We have the comparable time development. As it's breaking higher, we've got the volume decline. So that's awesome as well. We just don't have that second little portion. So with a really tight range here, what this could do is it could have popped up, flushed down and continued. So you can see how it kind of tried to come up to break that upper end of the channel, but it hadn't put in that further time development yet. So that's a clue that you would have to watch out for 
and be aware that, hey, this could come back a little bit and end up flushing out. So if you've got a stop under this low and you're trying to take a tighter breakout right here, you could have ended up getting flushed. So stop placement is going to be really important as well when we look at this. When I am looking at a Phoenix, if this is a very extreme momentum move up, I'm going to take a, a Fibonacci fan from this low to the second high and keep a stop under the 76.4% Fibonacci fan. And we're going to continue to see this. If the first two moves up are pretty gradual and then you get your correction, my stop is going to be based upon a fib fan from here to here. So my 76.4% fan will be here. And what this does is it creates a trailing stop. So that can get you into positive territory where it's constantly reducing what your risk is on that trade as long as it starts going um, very, very quickly, which if all of your building blocks are lined up, it's going to do. So in this one, again, it's a really extreme momentum move. So you can take your fib fan from here to here and use that as your level. There are some other ways that we will get even more advanced with fib fans, but I'm not gonna get into them here today. So here's a low level one. And so with this one, you can see you've got an extreme momentum move here, but you've got a double bottom. So fib fan on this would go from here to here because of the double bottom. Now on this, Again, notice the subtle break of the trend channel here. So if this is gonna go lower, you got a measured time development here where this is basically your do or die zone for that to try to break down at that point. So what we see instead is the momentum begins to shift. You get your secondary pullback, your first pullback here with two waves. And this is why that steeper to a correction where you don't have uh, as much difference between your spacing here is so important because if it is wider like this, you'll often get that secondary correction here. So sometimes I'll get aggressive and I'll take this because I think, you know, sometimes it might just hold up here and end up continuing but you want to stay with that fib fan that's going to be adjusting and moving higher under those lows. Clear this. So our, our trigger for a typical Phoenix is going to be right here. And that's because that is where that second channel here breaks after it puts in its initial low. So at this point, again, your FIB stop is gonna be coming um, along under here. So you've got a stop that's immediately starting to pull higher. Now, initial target levels on a Phoenix is a one-to-one. -one. So right here is your initial target. But usually when I'm taking a Phoenix, it's, it's part of a bigger time frame exhaustion. So I'm seeing larger exhaustion on the larger time frames. So I'm just using a small time frame uh, chart. Like this is just a 15 tick on gold, for example, on micro gold. So I'm using that smaller time frame to get into a bigger time frame setup. And sometimes this smaller time frame pattern with the Phoenix is part of a bigger time frame Phoenix where this is wave two on a larger phoenix as well. So you can find the phoenix on any time frame, any market. It doesn't matter whether you're trading gold, futures, forex, whatever. You're going to find it on all of the time frames. So here's another example where, again, you're looking at a trend exhaustion move. This is actually an avalanche up here, what we call a shallow avalanche. It is a short setup that is the opposite of a phoenix, and we have a phoenix over here as well. 
and a tilted avalanche here. So what you're going to see is that time development stays pretty consistent whether we are flipping it to the upside or downside. All of those have very similar time development when they're coming in for that third test of the support or the resistance for the breakdown. So you've got, these are um, more advanced avalanches here. You can see we don't have the bigger kind of leg going on, so we call them a shallow avalanche. Then you've got your phoenix, and then another phoenix over here. All patterns that have a high probability of going and reversing the trend. So this avalanche had a little harder time to get going because once it hit the two-wave measured move, it went and shifted that momentum here. And basically, this leads to an inverse head and shoulders. So your phoenix is very often a right shoulder. But use the traits within a phoenix to time the head and shoulders, not, for example, a lot of traders will say, well, you use the neckline break. I never use a neckline break in a head and shoulders or an inverse head and shoulders. That is a recipe for disaster, and I don't know if more people are finally teaching others not to do that, but you definitely don't want to do that. In fact, if you looked up how to trade a head and shoulders on Google, your initial um, articles they're all wrong <laughs> because if you trade them based upon what they've laid out they are going to give you more false setups than you can ever imagine so don't do that use the phoenix rules and you are going to be so 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 much better off and here is that template that you should use so this is one that's you know developed over the last 20 years you know doing lots of changes looking at a lot of different factors that go into what actually creates a strong phoenix most of these traits can be used for a bull flag as well so what we're looking at here again you're distancing between your highs you're looking at your upside time development compared to your corrective time development ideally that's going to be a little bit longer and then we're also using our fit fan so we like to see this first initial low hold with either a 50 or 61.8 percent fit fan these corrections often have two smaller waves of corrections in them as well so these are some of the things that will really increase your success on uh, trading this particular pattern here. So what are Fibonacci fans? How many of you are familiar with Fibonacci fans? Anyone? Yes and no. <laughs> Never use them. So I am primarily a purely price driven trader. I played around with some indicators when I first started trading and um, back then there wasn't like the millions that there are now. The markets were just starting to come onto online trading so the floor, floor trading was still very very popular back then and um, we weren't really using a lot of things. There were like um, moving averages that was like one of the basics that that traders used back then. Um, but I come from a background in the arts and archaeology in particular and um, so I was familiar with Fibonacci but I was skeptical on how we could use it in the markets and so in the process of just playing around with different indicators you know trying to figure out hey you know what's going to be not only one that I can use consistently but one that I can also help new traders use where there are very specific details as to when to use it and how to change it. And there weren't when I first started putting it on. The first uh, concept was just, hey, you see a trend, you go from the low to the high of that trend and you put your fib fans on. 
well, again, like those classes on head and shoulders that you'll find on Google, it doesn't quite work like that. There's more details that you've got to learn. Thankfully, there's not a lot. So I have about hmm, half a dozen to a dozen rules for how to use um, the bands in changing circumstances, but they're all very, very learnable and teachable. So when we are using Fibonacci fans, these are things that are used to help with time development. Has a correction in the market taken enough time to really give us that big fan continuation? If you are trading on NinjaTrader, they do not have Fibonacci fans built in, so I do have the opportunity to offer that to you. Um, we created it as a plugin for NinjaTrader, and you can get it at TonyHanson.com backslash TradeTrackerPro, and I can type that into the room here a little bit later as well, or, or Rob can do it here too. Um, Rob, can you remind me again, do I have until uh, 1.30 or 1.45? Just 30. Uh, okay, awesome. And All I'm right. getting typing. <laughs> All right, you're on it. Cool. So here is what we do with our Fib fans. This is the basic edition of a Fib fan. So if you got a pretty average momentum move, you're going to go from the low to the high. Now, what you want to see is some of the initial pivot points hitting. And that's telling us that our placement is at a good period. So when we're looking at a Phoenix, what we want to see is the 76.4 to 78.6% FIB fan zone. So that's our sweet spot. Now, you'll notice in this case, it pulled back with kind of messy action, and it pulled back more than 50%. So even though buy itself, you might be looking at this as a phoenix and taking this as a buy setup, because it pulled back more than 50%, it's going to have a much harder time really busting through that high immediately. So even if it did pop up here, try to take out that high, you would still have a good chance that it could offer a secondary move, like a bull flag, to go and continue and get things going uh, even stronger. So what's nice about this one here is that when it did that pop, we then went into another little phoenix in here with our two wave of correction and a retest of that 76.4% fib fan. So this is where that trigger takes place. And you'll notice even if you got in here, the stop is trailing up along that level. So if you took off partials here, you could go in and add this as a totally new trade and end up with more contracts than you originally had and yet lower risk. Or you could just hold on to all those original ones and then add in on that extra breakout. And again, building your position size as it continues to develop. Now the key here is that when this does break, you want that momentum really coming in. So you want to see that confirmation through the uh, momentum there. And I'm going to pick up just a little bit here. That's the same chart. And I'm going to show you a little bit of a different one. So here we've got our Fib fan again. And notice the really rapid pullback and correction here. So this makes it not quite as pretty as our full corrective move here. And what you'll also see is that if you go and you extend and you're looking at your timing distances between your highs and lows and your retest of these highs, it's pretty darn messy. So we don't have that core action. We don't have as much of a volume decline either. We do have a couple things in here, though, that start to shift this into a more favorable uh, situation. You already have the market starting to reverse and, and change momentum over here. 
You have it trying to pop, but a slower corrective move here. Pops really strong again, but still an even slower move here. And that slower move has two waves and another momentum shift at the bottom. So this is a version of a phoenix where once you start to get really comfortable with your core phoenix, you're going to start to be able to take a lot of the things that you've learned in that and then apply it to other trades as well. So this is happening you know, right out of the market open here, which is part of why the volume there remains so high. So even though it's not giving you, you know, a strong volume decline, you have to keep in mind that the volume is normally high at this at this zone, but you're still getting a shift in the volume as that correction happens. So typical target is 100%, but if your momentum is picking up, I'm usually aiming for at least the 123.6%. And oftentimes this will be something where we can go and look for bull flags to continue the trend as well. So it's not just that immediate Phoenix we're looking at trading, we're also looking at additional continuations. Here's that link again for Trade Tracker and uh, Rob got it popped into the room as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of my trades and we're gonna be looking at recent setups and looking at those pros and cons. So here's an example where notice the trend has this really strong momentum where it retraced a move over here. Then it starts to shift and we get this pennant formation forming. As that continues to form, we start to get a break in that channel. Here we had a smaller two-wave move up and then the smaller two-wave correction. Originally there's kind of that fake break here because your distancing between the highs wasn't the same. But if I um, magnified this it would look like this. Um, let's see, dun, dun, dun. like that. <laughs> so you have that kind of fake start in there. And that's where that distance between the highs is really important. So what I did, because this was such a tiny range in here, I didn't end up using that second zone of correction because my correction really starts here. So that second zone is basically just this whole level here, which means that the breakout is right here. So that's what I use for building the position in here. I've got a couple of entries on that. And we actually have another Phoenix that forms right here as well. But again, if you look at your distancing between your highs, this is a little bit early. So what happened here was it went and kind of based a little bit longer and then broke at the zone where you had more of that measured move. And here is a trade from the end of the day. So what you'll notice is that we've got the very same situation here where it had the initial move, it had the shift with the three lows, and then we went into a Phoenix. And this one's another variation. It's actually another one we call the Chevron. So it has that shift here, and then the two wave correction, and then the breakout. And again, you'll notice it broke that trend channel right here. So that's my drawing there, but it broke that trend channel. And then all of this trading that followed was sitting on where that trading channel would be. So that breakout there triggered the buy setup. Now here you're coming into the market on close. So I took some of the trade off as we were doing that just because it can go a little bit crazy. But with the really extreme momentum move up compared to the downside here, you're often looking for that to continue some more. So we ended up getting the back and forth again, very similar to here, and then it goes into the range again. And this essentially flips this over to create an avalanche, which is your reverse pattern. 
So this isn't as pretty here on the two second chart, but it does have a really beautiful round high. And this ended up continuing uh, with further downside coming out of into the end of our trading here this weekend, going into the weekend. I did not end up trading that. I used uh, the shift in the momentum to exit uh, the long. But here's another one from this week as well. So I was trading after hours here uh, due to our gap on the downside, extreme gap. And what I was looking for were gap plays. You know, where could we get strong reversals or where the gap could fill or get a strong continuation? And it really struggled to kind of get going. But what was an interesting thing about this really tight trading range here is that when you have a strong move down and a tight range, you often get a false breakout, a move that's going to take out the previous highs, and then a move in the true direction. So once it took out those previous highs and you're coming up in here, that's where I started to watch for reversal patterns. And you can see the momentum started to shift here again, just like what we've seen on some of those previous Phoenixes. And we have a really core avalanche here. The two wave move down, the two waves of correction, the typical distance between those as that breaks down, and you've got that bigger time frame favoring a move to the downside. Since this is so extreme though, I was anticipating that this could come chop around, do something like this as it comes down out of it. But the original move, that's where we really had that strong momentum coming in, just like we would expect, and gives the name avalanche to it. So stop levels are above here. So it's constantly moving down, and you can get more aggressive as new pivot highs are made if you want to use trailing stops. Oftentimes moves go in waves of two or waves of three. So when you're looking at a measured move, that becomes a good level of support. Full disclosure, I went to bed. I didn't end up holding this for the rest of that trade. I just used that main initial move and didn't hold through any of the correction. But um, if you did, once this went and turned back around, you could then hook up your trend line here and use that as your new trailing stop. But then really watch for tight measured moves as they come in as the next target level. So here's some more recent trades and live calls. So this one is from um, earlier this, this week. And what we had here was during our session, we're going into our session. Our session is from 12 to 12.45. So I do live market analysis, live trading, and teaching different strategies uh, every day from 12 to 12.45. And what we were looking at were these shifts that were taking place here at the highs where it had the potential to create that reversal, but we weren't really quite there yet. You know, we had a smaller setup here as a Chevron. So this was a trade that I called um, live in our class. And we nailed uh, the zone of this. The Chevron is a type of an avalanche. And again, it looks like a shift like this. So you're getting basically the two sections of correction, but they're doing it differently than what we would normally see in a typical avalanche. So once that hit the target level, came into what we call the ankle here, then it pulled up. You can see it just goes through that, that end of that trading channel there. And then things were getting really messy. So we went and I discussed all of the pros and cons that we had going on here. Namely, if you're looking at this pop here, as a second high, well, if that broke down at that level, your distancing between the lows would not be good. 
we also want to see that the second high over here, ideally, if this is coming up with stronger momentum, this second high should break the trend channel from the move with your initial high and then that pivot. So we don't have that happening there. We have it testing it, but we don't have it breaking it. So that means the move over here actually breaks it. And that's where we then have that better setup coming into play. And since it does a retest of this low, now for our time development between the lows, we split that. And that means we want our confirmation for the breakdown. This is our do or die point right here. Also, our FIB fans are a little bit different. This was one of the advanced adjustments that we made with the FIB fan because this pulled back more than 50% for this pivot high. So we hooked that FIB fan with the 61.8% to give us where that next level of resistance would be. So advanced use of a FIB fan here. And that led to our breakdown that triggered after class, but continued uh, well into the afternoon. But all of the traders had the full expectations that this retest could happen and to watch for that as a zone to initiate the breakdown because that is what we needed to see with regards to more of the advanced changes. And things like this take time to learn. You know, if you go and you work from that very beginning strategy and you learn all of the details from that template, you're going to start to recognize all of these avalanches and phoenixes, even if they're not textbook because you'll learn the things that make them higher risk versus lower risk. So here's another one. In this one, we have a retest of a high here. You've got a 2T, which basically ends up developing the start of a head and shoulders. So with the head and shoulders, we like this right shoulder to come down to about where this is breaking. And then we want a correction, distancing between highs that are about the seam. And in this one, look at our feet, our avalanche. It's it's kind of really messy in here. There's a lot more chop involved on this one. So I used this as a very aggressive entry point in there because of what I liked on larger time frames. And the stop level would constantly be declining right from the very get-go. And as soon as this pivot is put in, I moved the stop like this for the rest. So what you'll need, you'll see here on the move down, I use that target here, which is basically the same zone that is here as my initial target and use the retest of this fib fan to go ahead and add and reshort to continue that move on the downside. So the FIB fan was put on here as a risk zone of where we could stall. So if this had fallen really quickly into that FIB fan right here, I would have looked at that as a target level that could give us a bounce. So in this instance, I use the FIB fan as resistance level to add into the position there. And I'm gonna move through a couple of these a little bit more quickly. So this was a trade here again this week, um, and this is the walkthrough. So this was a trade that was given at the very end of League of Traders. Here's the avalanche trigger, and then the continuation moves. And you can see where I added and, and took partials just to continue with that trend. So target levels are based upon things like those measured moves. And on this one, there was a, some small measured move action that got me out there. I don't have the additional um, chart, but here's that head and shoulders part of the avalanche. Here's another one where, again, it's that chevron. So as it comes back down in here, this is the first part of your correction, and this is your second part of the correction. So it's another variation of a phoenix, shows entry and exits. These are all recent trades here. Um, I think they're all pretty much all from this week. 
And then this was another one from our class. We got into this one immediately coming down here from a trade column momentum reversal. And then the Phoenix was the continuation. And then we were no longer in class, so I posted that exit as a, just a follow up in um, Telegram there. So it's really cool that you can see like all of these trades as they're unfolding, not just um, you know, learning the setup and the strategy, but also learning in real time too. So if you want to learn a lot more about the Phoenix, here is a link for a three-week mentoring program that is now available on demand. And it gives you your templates. It goes into substantially more detail than I had time to go into here today. It goes into the advanced placements of those FIB fans. So how you can, when to make an adjustment and how to make an adjustment. And again, very specific rules. It's, hey, if this happens, you do this. It goes into more advanced stop placements and moving stops. It goes into how to add in and build positions. And it goes into situations where you increase your target levels or you decrease your target levels based upon how the trade is unfolding. So it takes 20 plus years of knowledge there and it puts it into a very concise strategy that you guys can walk away um, with knowledge of how to actually trade this and what to look for as signs that things aren't quite good enough. And it gives you the opportunity to continue to learn and build. So here is the link for that, tonyanson.com backslash Phoenix. And I'm gonna hand this on over back to Rob. Thank you so much, Tony. I have to admit, um, I really enjoyed the breakdown at the beginning of the presentation about how the phoenix you know forms and everything um but great information a trend trader's best kept secret great presentation i want to thank you for sharing this incredible strategy with our audience today our entries are so crucial and not getting in too early or too late is always the difference between a winner or a loser i can see why you're one of the most respected technical analysts and traders in the industry Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hansen. I've put all of her links in the chat box. You can always find her at TonyHanson.com. She is a true professional in the trading industry, and her reputation for accuracy is unparalleled. Thank you again, Tony, for joining us today and making such a great offer to our audience. We hope you come back and see us again. Enjoy Thank the weekend. Thank you so much, Rob. Definitely. Take care, everyone. Be well. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope everyone's listening closely because our next presenter is here to deliver an opportunity to secure a million dollars in trading capital. He's a hedge fund manager, author, and trading psychology coach. As a trading psychology coach, he enjoys helping traders discover and overcome the number one obstacle keeping them from being consistently profitable or multiplying their returns. His challenges have helped traders transform their trading psychology based on Nobel Prize winning research. Ladies and gentlemen, here to present how to secure a million dollars in funded capital is Mr. Marcus Howard of Tradecology. Welcome back to Traders Quarter, Marcus. Thank you so much, Rob. How are you feeling today? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. It's a little rainy where I am, but I'm inside all day doing this, so. <laughs> same, same, definitely rainy here, uh, but it's not gonna let our spirits go down because we have the opportunity to help traders today. So I'm really excited about this. Just a quick volumes coming through, okay. And then as you can see, it says live workshop, $1 million funded account. Loud and clear. Beautiful. All right, well, I'll go ahead and get started on the presentation. Thanks so much, Rob. So oh, welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you for taking the time to be here today. I'm really excited to share this presentation with you. So let's go into what we're going to be covering today. So at the, at the very least, what I wanna show you by the end of this presentation is how you, yes, you can secure a million dollars in funded accounts and be able to trade other people's money to truly change your trading career for the better. So what I wanna do is show you just how 30 days of proper execution can, tra can change your trading career pretty much forever if you can just follow some of the principles that I'm putting in this presentation. Next, 
I want to share with you my $1 million funded account cheat sheet. So the things that you can do in order to make this more simple for you, as opposed to making this a difficult endeavor. I'll talk to you about my top three reasons that traders lose their funded accounts and how you can keep your funded accounts for the long term once you get them, because it's what's the point of having them if you don't keep them. Uh, and then I want to go over my top tips to keep your funded accounts. And then at the end, I want to share with you a resource or a tool that we use here at Tradecology that has made passing combines and being able to get the payouts just so much simpler. And it doesn't require any significant changes in what you're doing. So there's a lot of great stuff that I'm covering in this presentation today. And I really hope that we can lock in and pay attention. I can see that our audit audience viewer percentage is at 100% right now. That means everybody is locked in and paying attention. I really enjoy that. I really appreciate that because the information that I want to share with you, I think will really help to take you forward. There are a couple of mantras in life that I live by, but one of them is from a Quaker missionary by the name of Etienne de Grillet, but it's been, this quote has been incorrectly attributed to Dale Carnegie. But the quote is, I shall pass this way but once. Any good that I can do or any kindness that I can show to any human being, let me do it now. So I live by that creed in that I don't know if I'm ever going to actually even meet you in person if you're here listening to this conversation. I don't know if I'm ever going to have the opportunity to speak to you again or if you're ever going to see one of my presentations again. So in this presentation, in this moment, in this moment right now, I want to make sure that I can give you as much value as possible. So my presentation is not filled with fluff. So if you lock in and you pay attention to what we're talking about here, I guarantee that this will help you and transform your trading. So let's go ahead and get started. Quick risk disclosure, we here at MLH Capital, which is the parent company of Tradecology, we are not financial uh, advisors or broker dealers. Anything that we're using in this presentation is used for example purposes only. Don't take what I put in this presentation and go, okay, I want to bid the maximum number of contracts in my brokerage account, or I want to bid the maximum number of contracts in my funded account, and then you end up not making money. Uh, investment carries risk. You can lose some, all, or more of the money that you've invested in the first place and no parts presentation could be copy recorded or rebroadcast in any form without the prior written consent of MLH Capital. But I also know that uh, here at Traders Corner, we really do like to distribute these. So if you do want a copy, you can either reach out to me or you can reach out to the folks at Traders Corner to be able to get a copy of this presentation today. All right. So a little bit about me. That's me, the guy with the Kool-Aid smile in the middle. Uh, I'm Marcus Howard. I am a hedge fund manager, author and founder of Tradecology. It's important for me to tell the story of how I got consistent so you know where I came from and ultimately how I got here. So I started trading full time. I've been off and on with stocks, you know, buy and hold strategies for the better part of a decade. But I really got serious and uh, closed the business that I was currently running and focused on trading full time in 2017. But I started with the $25,000 paper money on Nadex, which if you're not sure what Nadex is, is the North American Derivatives Exchange. It's maybe about four or five blocks from where I live here in downtown Chicago. But it's a binary options firm. So at the very most simple level, the binary options is, let's say you trade the S&P 500. If whatever the price is, the S&P 500 is now, if you believe it's going to be higher, you buy a contract. If you believe it's going to be lower at the end of the day, you sell a contract. All contracts are worth $100. So basically, if you're buying at the money, at the current price, you're risking $50 to make $50. That's really just as simple as bucket shops were. But it really taught me, it really gave me a great introduction on how the futures market really worked, how options a little bit worked, although binary options is a bit different. If you are a student of trading, binary options are more, think of them more of a buck, as a bucket shop than anything else. Uh, but what I did was I took that $25,000 account and grew it to over $13 million in 18 months. And then from there, I put, I think it was like $5,000 of my own money in there. And I went from that to now running a hedge fund. So uh, there are a lot of things that I learned along the way. Definitely wasn't an easy ride up, but those principles that I learned and those things that I've been able to gather both for myself and then interviewing over $100 million traders, I condense all of that into this presentation today and I want to be able to share with you because I enjoy helping traders discover and overcome the number one obstacle that keeps them from cons being consistently profitable or multiplying their returns. My courses, uh, my challenges, my coaching program, they have helped traders transform the trading psychology and it's all based on Nobel Prize written research. So this isn't something that I just created in my basement. I am standing on the shoulders of giants. I am using uh, B 
behavior change protocols. I'm using all whatever tool I can find that I can license to be able to share with my people. I love to share it with you because it's one thing to say that you need to change, but it's another thing to know how to change your behavior in the first place. Most people know that they should stop overtreating. Most people know that they should stop uh, having analysis paralysis or fear of missing out, but how do you change it? That's the most important piece, and that's what we cover in my coaching program is the exact how to change it in a way that isn't so hard to do. I mean, a lot of these are just 10-minute exercises that you do, and it really does transform what you're doing. So five-day challenge, if you go to tradecology.co right now, you can find it. For the most part, I think it's either 10 bucks or it's free uh, if you can find the correct link somewhere in and around there. So, uh, you know, to get started, it's relatively inexpensive. Just quick here, I was doing that PIX11 interview. They did a shout out of my book. We talked about my book. I think that's really cool. I wrote this book when I was 19 years old. I'm 37 now, so almost 20 years later, I'm still selling this book every day on Amazon, still being able to impact the lives of people, which I think is great. All right, so let's dive into who this presentation is gonna help most today. Let's get down to the meat and potatoes of what we wanna talk about today. This will help you if you're interested in using other people's money to grow your network. This will also help you if you're struggling with trade, with passing trading evaluations, or if you know how to pass evaluations, either through skill or through luck, and you struggle with keeping those funded accounts, a lot of what's in this presentation is gonna be able to help you to keep these accounts for the long term. This will help you if you struggle with establishing or sticking with high probability trading setups, or if you don't have high probability trading setups, this will help you. If you struggle with discipline over trading and other trading issues. Uh, <clears throat> again, I stand on the shoulders of giants. A lot of this information, I use in my own trading and I use with my clients, but it, it, it's much deeper. It's much more powerful than just trading. It can transform your life in so many ways. So even if you feel that some of this doesn't apply to you in terms of, okay, these aren't my direct issues, please stick around during this presentation because I promise you I'm going to share with you multiple golden nuggets that you can take away from this presentation that help you trading forever. So Let's talk about a little perspective in terms of getting funded. Now, I know Norman was speaking before and he was using uh, the stat that 90% or so traders can't pass the funded exams, but I want to give you some some accurate numbers that I got directly from one of the funded account providers. Okay, so when it comes to getting funded, there was a um, the the company they did a study. I don't know if I can release the name of the actual company, so I won't. But if you if you look at the stats and if you read between the lines of what I'm saying here, I think you'd be able to find out who they are. But they did one month where they had 5,718 new traders. So these are new people try to pass one of their combines to get a funded account. Of those people, okay, only 10% pass phase one of this. So we immediately go from 5,718 people to 572. So this is maybe what Rob is talking about here, where 90% of people fail and only 10% pass phase one. But this particular company actually had two phases. So in order to pass the second phase, only 24% of people pass that to get funded. So we immediately go down from 5,718 traders to only 137 ever get funded. That's a huge drop off. But then I wanna ask this next question for those that haven't seen this presentation before. Of those people, the 137 that qualify for their funded account, how many do you think happen long enough to be able to get to their first payout? Don't wanna spoil the ending here, but four. So out of 5,718 people that started this process, only four people ever made money, okay? That's seven one thousandths of 1%. That's a really important stat. You must understand that getting and keeping a funded account, they do it, they make it hard on purpose because they don't want to fund people that are using luck or using gambling based or maybe don't have a, a solid strategy. And I get it. As a business, I wouldn't want to fund people. I wouldn't want to give people access to funding if, if I didn't think that they were going to be able to be able to make us both some profit. So it's hard on purpose, but let me take the rest of this presentation to show you how we can make it easier. First and foremost, 30 days of proper execution can change your trading career for the better. What do I mean by this? Prop firms' new account rules have made it easier than ever to trade full time. In most instances, <coughs> depending on the company, you can qualify in as little as five trading days. I think with Apex, it's seven. and some others, it's 10 trading days. But uh, you can qualify in as little as five trading days. And you can get a payout in just 10 trading days. So that's 15 trading days. I think there's 20 trading days in a month. So if you add a couple of administrative days to make sure you pay your fees and things like that, we'll just say it's 30 calendar days, essentially, or uh, 20 trading days. Uh, and you can trade with up to 20 accounts. So with that, think about it. In just a month, 
okay, with 20 trading accounts, because in most of these instances, the most that you can, if you had a 50K account, the most that you can withdraw the first time, I think is $2,000. So $2,000, if you're using a trade copier times 20 accounts, that means in your first 30 days, you can withdraw as much as $40,000 into your bank account. So what would $40,000 do for you? Not just necessarily even the money itself, meaning that you can buy more stuff, okay, or you can pay down debt, but what would that do for your confidence? What would that do for your will? What would that do for your desire to want to continue to do this now that you're able to see a return on investment to show that you're not just sitting here wasting money, wasting time, spending your wheels in order to try to get these funded accounts to be funded in order to have your strategy work. So think about that. Just 30 days from the stuff that I'm sharing with you in this presentation right now, you can have as much as $40,000. What would an extra $40,000 do for you right before Christmas? Okay. So Let's go into my hundred thousand. I mean, excuse me, my million dollar funded account cheat sheet. So there are four main pillars to my cheat sheet, and I'm going to go through them briefly now. But then I'm going to spend most of the rest of the presentation going through each one of these in detail. So when it comes to funded accounts, my four pillars are: it's not about how much money you make, but how much money you lose per trade that makes a difference. And this is really important for you to understand the distinction between the two. Number two, multiple funded accounts is always going to be better than one large funded account. Number three, the most popular instruments aren't always the most profitable, okay? The, the world is bigger than just NQ and ES or YM or crude oil or gold, okay? Uh, I know that's the ones that most people teach online, but those may not be the ones that are necessarily most profitable. If you look at Apex or Lilu or whoever the company uh, top step that you're going with, you'll find that in most cases you can trade up to 50 different markets. So most people concentrate on two or three. But what about the other 47? Are there more profitable opportunities out there? Yes, there absolutely are. And I'm going to show you some examples in this presentation. And then number four, discipline and psychology is paramount. This one is incredibly important because it doesn't matter even if you have an automated strategy. If you don't have the discipline to stick to what the automated strategy is telling you to do, then you're just going to end up losing money anyway. So we have to make sure that we have our discipline and psychology in order. And again, we have great tools that I want to share with you to help you to be able to do that. So let's start with pillar number one. It's not about how much money you make, but how much you lose per trade that makes the difference. Trading exams are hard because the win-loss ratio is not always proportional. In most cases, you can only lose about half as much as you need to make in order to qualify for an account. So let me give you an example of this. Right now, I'm showing you the, the the prices of it may not be the same, but I know that all the other stuff is, is right. And Apex is always throwing some sort of discount on there. But essentially, I'm showing you four different levels of accounts. So you have a 50000 a 100000 150000 and a $250,000 account. So in my experience with working with hundreds of traders, thousands of traders on my email list, uh, about 50 or so traders in my coaching program right now, most traders will go for the $100,000 account. So they're looking where they they can trade 14 contracts, but <clears throat> they have to make $6,000 before they lose $3,000. So notice you have to make twice as much money as you can lose in order to be able to qualify. But if you look at that 50K account, you have to make $3,000, but you can stand to lose about $2,500. So that proportion of how much you can win or you can lose is more favorable than trying to go for the $100,000 account. Most people go for the $100,000 account. Um, here, let me give you one more chart. I know this might be a little blurry because I took it as a screenshot, but I just wanted to show you here if you look at the percentage of the accounts. So if you're looking at a 50K, 100K, or 100, most of them, you have to make 6%. So you have to go up 6%. <clears throat> but it's about the percentage of the account that you can stand to lose. So again, if you if you have a 100K account, you can make 6,000, but you can only lose 3,000. So you, can, you have to make 6%, but you can only lose 3%. When you look at the 50K account, you can make 6%, but you can lose up to 5% before you actually lose the account. So it's much more favorable for you to go for a 50K account than it is to go for a 100K account or higher, especially if you're trying to go for multiple accounts, okay? You can do 10 50K accounts, you can do 20 50K accounts, you can do 10 or 20 100K accounts, but you don't need to, it's not necessary. Because that same 6,000 that you would need to make, if you make that same 6,000 in the 50K account, you would be at a payout as opposed to just being able to qualify. So the whole point of me is showing you this slide, if you're unsure or if you've been using 100, 150K accounts or higher, take a look at the, the value proposition of the 50K account and see if that may make a little bit more sense for you, okay? You have to make less money, you can lose more money, and overall the odds are more in your favor in that way than doing anything else. So moral of this story, go for a 50K account. 
trailing drawdowns also eat away at your profits if you trail. So most of these companies now, and, and Norman was explaining this as well with a trailing drawdown, it's not about how much you close the trade with, but it's the highest amount of money that you made. So if you're in a trade and you go up $1,000 and then you go back to break even, well, you have $1,000 less that you can trade next time, okay? It's just really that simple. So the way that you can mitigate that or, or get past that is to just choose not to trail. So have the set amount of money that you're looking to make whether it's a few points, whether it's how many ticks you want to have, but don't necessarily like try to hold on to a trade for so long to get it to ultimately be able to go to the moon. There is a time and a place to look for home run trades, but it's typically not when you're qualifying for accounts. So have a trade plan that shows you just about how much on average you should, you should want to make per trade and then be able to stick to that to be able to qualify for accounts. And I'm going to give you a resource on how you can use that in just a little bit. And you want to design your risk profile around your loss limit, okay, and not your profit goal, meaning that you want to establish how much you can stand to lose each trade versus, okay, this is how much I need to make to be able to qualify for an account. If you focus on how much I can stand to lose per trade, you'll be able to trade so much longer than if you just go after the profit goal and you ignore everything else. Here. So my basic rule of thumb when I'm working with traders that are in my coaching program and uh, people that get some of my online materials is don't risk more than 10% of your available drawdown on any single trade. So again, this is drawdown, not the entire value of the account. So in most cases, your drawdown, if you're going for a 50K account, is going to be 2,500. So that means that the maximum risk that you should have on any individual trade should be about $250 is what I'm saying here. So don't risk more than $250 on any, any single trade that will keep you in the game for the long run. This resource that I'm giving you now is the exact risk profile that we use when we're going to qualify for funded accounts. I don't have time to go over this because I spent an entire you know, weeks workshop session, an hour and a half, just going over this one slide. But what I do want you to do, if you have the opportunity to, is to take a screenshot of this on your phone or your computer and hold on to it and study it later, okay? In terms of what are the exact trade rules that we have? How much are we looking for in take profit? How much are we put in terms of stop loss? How much are we willing to risk the trade to reverse on us? You know, our trailing drawdown before we decide that we're going to get out of a trade? And then what's our daily loss limit, which is what is the maximum amount of money that we're going to allow ourselves to lose on any single trading day before we stop trading? And Spoiler alert, it's usually a lot less than whatever the actual amount is that you stand to lose. Because if you lose $2,500, the account has been blown. So what's our number? Our, my number has been $750 for the last two years, which for me is the equivalent of losing three trades. So if I lose the equivalent of three trades in a row, I'm done trading. So mine has been $750. Some other traders in my group, it's $500. Some, it's $1,000. Uh, the most I would probably say is $1,250. So half of the uh, amount that you can lose before you lose the account is another good rule of thumb. But just choose whatever it may be for you. So again, take a screenshot of this particular um, risk profile, because I assure you, we've had so many combines just sticking to the rules that are here. And I wanted to be able to share this resource to you for free, right? Because I want you to take what's in this presentation and to be able to utilize it, use it, employ it, implement it into your trading strategy to be able to pass some of these combines. All right, so let's keep going. Here's pillar number two. Multiple funded accounts is usually better than one large funded account. So why do I say this? Multiple accounts allow you to multiply your earnings. If you use a trade copier, Apex has a trade copier. Uh, what's the other one? Replicanto. Here at Tradecology, we have our own trade copier. I think, let me go see. Yeah, Joel is in here. Joel will be speaking. I don't know if he's after me or maybe two people after. But Joel also... Uh, has his own trade copy as well. I'm not saying use ours, but I'm saying if you do decide to use a trade copier, what it allows you to do is be able to trade multiple funded accounts at once. So <clears throat> how can that help you? Depending on the trade copy that you have, each winning trade can be multiplied up to 20 times, okay? So if you made, let's say, $100 in one of your funded accounts, but you've done it across 20, you haven't just made $100. You made $2,000 across all of those different accounts. So it really does ultimately make a difference. But the most important piece of this is that multiple accounts allows you to spread risk across those different accounts. So instead of you putting all of that risk that you would want to take in order to be able to make the money that you want to make in one funded account, so you're risking, let's say, five contracts or more, you can just risk one contract. But then you're able to get more money than you would just trying to risk in that one account. And then if you lose the money, you can, let's say, you know, you lose $100. You lose, an, or let's say you lose $1,000. You can lose 
$1,000 across 10 accounts, so you're only losing $100 per account, as opposed to losing $1,000 in just that one specific account that you have. So if you do nothing else in having multiple accounts, you can spread your risk across different accounts and you'll be just fine, okay? The number one account killer is always gonna be too much risk per trade. The retail trader, again, because I run a hedge fund, but I also work with many retail traders, the number one thing is just over leveraging yourself. That's it. So if we can help you to begin to just not over leverage, you'll be in much better shape. And I want to give you some tools to be able to do that because you always want to be in a position where you can trade again tomorrow. No decision you make today should lead to you losing your funded account. And then you have to start over either taking an exam again or you have that funded account and all of that progress that had taken you weeks or sometimes months to get is over. Like that shouldn't be done in a day. So we want to make sure that we have tools, protocols, and automations in place in order to not have you do that, which I'm going to share with you in this presentation. But first, let me share with you one of the first resources here, which is our funded account calculator. I know this is small. I'm on a 4K screen. Let me make this larger for everybody so that you can see it. Here we go. And then what I'm going to do here is copy this link. I'm going to drop it in the chat for everyone so that you can copy this into your own Google Drive as well. So what I'm showing you in, with this particular funded account strategy is so there's two different uh, tabs here. Well, there's three. This one is just telling you the values for each text of the trade that, or the instruments that you're trading. But the first dashboard is, is going to show you, okay, how many um, net profitable trades do I need to have in order to be able to qualify for an account? So we go by tiers here at Trade College. We have three different tiers. Tier one is any instrument that's about 25 dollars or more per tick so think silver think the bonds palladium uh some things like that uh tier two is anyone that's like ten dollars or more so think crude oil gold es things like that and then tier three are just the regular regular indices so anything that's like five to ten bucks so that's rty that's uh ym that's uh what's the other one mq so we have them based on tiers and usually in order to qualify for accounts quickly, we're focusing on tier one and tier two. We're not usually doing NQ, RTY and some of the other ones, although we do pass those sorts of uh, exams all the time. With these, we kind of focus on these at the qualification level to be able to qualify faster. So what this is showing you basically is that if you're risking two contracts or actually here at this level, one contract, because you want to stay within the, the $250 risk that we want to have no more than 10 percent that means you have to have 12 net profitable trades to be able to qualify for an account so that you don't win 12 trades but if all the win trades you've taken you've won 12 more than you lost that'll help you to be able to qualify for accounts the same thing in tier two and then tier three is about 16. if you want to go a little bit more with risk and do three contracts it can be 10. but this is just a calculator to help you to be able to learn how you can qualify for accounts but here's the next part and here's the one that actually makes this this uh tool so much more valuable is when you go and look at okay well if i have that how much how many trades do i need to win how many net profitable trades do i need to be based on what i like to trade in order to be able to hit my monthly income goal so most traders that i talk to is like ten thousand dollars a month so you're just trying to get up about a hundred thousand so a year and that's fine so you we go and we take this but the only difference is now instead of one account we're talking about 10 accounts here so we qualify for 10 funded accounts okay and with 10 funded accounts even if we're still just risking the one contract, in order for us to be able to get to $10,000 a month, we just need to be net profitable for trades. Do you see the difference? So to try to do even $10,000, so I'll change this number here. Uh, I wonder if this is gonna change them all. It does. So in order to be net profitable $10,000, if you're just doing the one account, with the same thing, you have to be net profitable 41 trades in a month. That's hard to do. That's almost sometimes getting into over trading territory in a lot of instances because you have to incorporate losses in there. But if you are able to multiply the number of accounts that you have, that number instantly goes down to four. Okay? That's a much better, it's a much easier task. That's a much simpler way to do it. It's, it's more achievable. It's a much more approachable way. And so I want you to have this spreadsheet. If you, if you, what you would do in order to get this onto your own Google uh, account is to go into file and then where is it? Make a copy and make a copy will then put it into your own Google Drive. Okay. If you send me a request to get access to this, you, you're not going to get it. So just simply do this file, make a copy. If you don't remember that, it's right here at the top of yellow to be able to show you how to do that and to be able to access it. Okay. But that's my first gift to you all. I use this all the time with my, my own funded accounts as well as the accounts uh, for the people that are in my coaching program 
just having the simple calculator will help you to be able to know or give you realistic expectations of what you need to be doing and where you need to go. Okay, so I think we started maybe about four or five minutes late, so I got about 20 minutes left, and I know I have more than 20 minutes worth of content, so let me just go ahead and get through this. Uh, so pillar number three, popular instruments aren't always the most profitable. Okay, so again, I want to say this because this is so important because online they just tout for the most part the main two. Okay, futures is more than just NQ and ES. The most popular instruments are almost exclusively now traded by high frequency trading bots at the institutional level. And at the institutional level is where they actually make the trades at CME or Chicago Board of Trade or NYMX or wherever they're making those trades, right? Those people that are actually influencing the market are not sitting here looking at the DOM. They, they have automations in place to be able to make these sorts of trades. It, it is usually the retail trader that is the one that's sitting here trying to click the buttons to figure out how, it, how it's gonna work. So first of all, I'm saying, if you don't have it already, you should really work with some people. And I think um, uh, there will be a presentation, I think at the end, that talks about a tool that you can use to automate your trading, okay? Uh, in our coaching program, we also have a tool that helps you to automate trading. Doesn't matter which one you go with, just go with one and get some automations in place because you're at a tremendous disadvantage if you don't. But what you wanna also do if you choose to wanna continue to do discretionary stuff is that you wanna be able to use tools or instruments that are still being traded by humans. So some of them will have the trading bots, but I'm thinking more uh, RTY, silver, uh, the bonds in a lot of instances. We've made so much money this year trading corn and wheat. Like there are so many different instruments that you can trade just beyond uh, the ones that, that are uh, just the main two that we talk about. I'll pull up Apex Trader Fundings account just briefly because I want to show you where you can go. If you scroll down to the bottom of this page here, they'll, they'll give you their instrument list of what instruments they trade. And there are 50 different instruments here. So you don't just have to focus on the main three. You, what you can do is just go and test uh, which ones have more predictable movement. And, and it may surprise you to know that some of these are a lot more easy to make money with than others. My first 100K was made trading RTY. Okay, it wasn't NQ, it wasn't ES. And I even went to my trade leaders because I was a part of a trade group. And I was like, hey, you know, what do you guys think about RTY? And they were just talking me out of it. They were saying, uh, you know, it's, it's not a good market to trade. And they were finding every other excuse for why I shouldn't do it. But I was just saying to myself, like, well, I'm making money. So, Thankfully, I didn't listen to them, and I just stuck with my own mind, my own gut, my own heart, and kept continuing to trade RTY because it ended up being very lucrative for me. You you find your own version of RTY. I'm not saying that just do RTY because I'm saying do RTY, but I'm saying that there are other instruments out there which will give you better opportunities, but I will just show you an example. So this is me passing in uh, a, I think it was a 100K combine um, with a automated RTY strategy. So just full disclosure here, this is in market replay on IntraTrader, but only because I don't have the time to sit for three days and show you like, you know, a three day long video where I was taking all these trades. So I let it kind of go all at once, but I'll show you here. I'm starting it kind of in the middle. We were already at 4,000 or so. And then I'm going to show you like the last three or four trades that are here in order to be able to get us up to the $6,000 mark here. So hold on, that's that one. Up a couple more. Boom. So that's the six thousand dollars there. But just so I can make sure that I, I give you guys the receipts, right? But I'm actually putting my money where my mouth is. And again, I know that the internet is full of charlatans. Okay. I'm gonna drop the link to this YouTube video in here for you to be able to check out yourself. Don't take my word for it. You can see every single trade that was taken. You don't have to just take my word for it. But what I will say is when we go here, that it wasn't, it isn't just me, okay? So Adam is one of the traders that came to us in my coaching program and he didn't have a solid strategy. His big thing is that he was struggling with overtrading. So it wasn't that he didn't know how necessarily to make money, he just didn't know when to stop. And that was an important piece of the puzzle. So he worked with us to fix his psychology issues, his trading habits, and also help him to uh, implement or make changes to his overall trading system, adding automations, adding more, uh, a better risk profile and things like that. And, and in less than 30 days, he had 10 funded accounts at the at the $50,000 level. So he had $500,000 in funding in less than just 30 days of us working with us. So he sent me the screenshot. Again, I took off his account names or whatever for privacy reasons, but I just show you here, highlights red that he went above, <clears throat> what was this $53,000? Like the last day, he was like, I only need to make about 50 bucks or so in the accounts, but this was the, the I forget what day it was, but 
him going over the, the 53,000 to be able to qualify for these accounts. But he's not the only one. I can show you. Uh, so these are his 10 certificates that he got when he was doing it for his Bullinox account. Okay, but he's not the only one. Uh, if we if I dig into my Discord channel, I get these sorts of, uh, what am I saying, posts kind of every single day. Oh, well, not every day, but you know, you know what I'm saying, like pretty consistently. I don't want to sit here and say that it's every single day, especially on a recorded recorded presentation. But uh, so Chris, his first day with Tick Tick Trader, he went up a thousand dollars. Johnny, who was down at the bottom, passed three evaluations using the same automated RTY strategy that I just showed you. So he didn't know anything about doing anything additional. He just implemented what we gave him, and he was able to qualify for an account and I think it was like two days. And then the next day he came, this is when he actually got the accounts, went up $1,800 and one, and then forgot to do the trade copy on the second one. So he only made like $912 on the other two. But people every single day are out here making money with automated strategies that we have here at Tradeology, using better discipline, better risk profiles and all we need to do. This is Ro, Ro is a, a pilot who trades, he wants to transition to trading full-time, but right now he's doing it part-time. He's had consistent green weeks, passing multiple evaluations, uh, using the different strategies, using our, our discipline related tools that we share here at Tracology. Uh, Charlotte is a great success story. I'm not going to take all credit for how well Charlotte trades, but she came to me specifically not because she wasn't a good trader, but because she was having some issues with fear of missing out and some psychology based issues. And we were able to give her our psychology based strategies. And it just took her to the stratosphere. Like it really, really did take her to the moon so much so that she's getting emails from Top Step now saying, hey, your win rate, actually, I don't want to give up her win rate, but like your win rate is so high that we want to interview you. We want to give you the. Uh, I think they even gave her back the amount that she paid for her uh, to, to the monthly thing, you know, that you have to pay in order to get the account. Like they gave that back to her because she's doing so well. And like she's moving up in the ranks in terms of people that folks are really paying attention to. So there are many strong traders in our group. Uh, and a lot of them, one, are using our strategies, but most importantly, are using our psychology based tools in order to be able to get their risk profile in order and increase their discipline. Okay. Here are just certificates from other traders that are in our group that are very successful at what they're doing. Notice in a lot of instances, they're, the same name is on multiple different certificates, okay? And all, all of them. So I'm not, uh, hey, do Apex, or hey, do Lilu, or hey, do Tick Tick, or hey, do Bullinox. I don't care who you use. Use whoever you want, because we've been able to qualify for all of them, including some fun, some Forex ones as well. So it's not about the company that you're going with. Once you have the strategies and the foundations in order, all of this becomes so much simpler, right? So again, I'm not doing this to brag or to try to impress you, but to impress upon you that the stuff that we're doing is actually working. And if you take what I'm showing you in this presentation today and really apply it in the next 30 days, okay, you can have an amazing Christmas. That's the only thing that I'm trying to get across to you. All right, so let's go into this last section here. And then we'll go ahead and pause. I got about maybe 13 or so minutes left so I can do this. Top three reasons traders lose their funded accounts. So let's go into reason number one. It's always going to be contract size. This is the number one contributor to you losing your account. Large losses lead to a dangerous cycle of you triggering the emotional desire to get back into the market. And notice I'm saying the emotional desire. It's when you took a trade, you went up one, and then you lost. And you're like, oh, man, I got to make that money back. Or you were supposed to only be trading two contracts, and for whatever reason, you were so confident you decided to trade four. Those sorts of losses trigger you to not want to look for the next optimal trade, but to look for the next available trade. And it usually ends up having you be able to lose more in most instances than, than otherwise. So reducing your contract size drastically reduces anxiety, analysis, paralysis, and revenge trading. So if you do, if you take nothing else from this presentation, and I've already given you so much, reduce your contract size. That will help you to qualify for these accounts so much better. Reason number two, or so much easier, sorry. Reason number two is systems confidence. Now, this comes into play when you are completely confident in your trading system. And when you're not completely confident in your trading system, in a lot of instances, your analysis feels right, but you've lost trades in the past now that lead you to question your analysis. So you may have a, a setup that you like. You may follow Fibonacci. You may follow levels. You may follow whatever it may be. And you've seen it work in the past, but it's burned you enough times where now when you see it again, you're not sure if you should really ultimately take these trades. That's a fundamental systems confidence issue. What happens there, the reason why this is so important is what it does is it now has you thinking in terms of individual trade outcomes versus a series of trades. This is an important piece. So let me just take two minutes to explain what I mean by here. When you don't have confidence in your trading system, 
what ends up happening is the next trade that you take has to be the winner because you don't know if the one after that is going to be the one that's going to get you there or the ne the one after that could be a loser or the one before that you have is a loser. And so you're looking at that next trade and putting so much pressure on that next trade that it ultimately has to be the one that's going to get you the money. Conversely, most professional traders, most institutional traders, most traders that do this on a consistent basis think in terms of a series of trades, not what is the next trade going to be. Because if you talk to any, and I mean really, any, because when I was, before I started Tradecology, I interviewed $100 million traders, and most of them will echo the same thing. They don't know if their next trade is going to win. No one knows what's going to happen in the market when you enter into it. You have, you, you have your best um, hypothesis of what you think is going to happen. You may have confidence that it's going to happen, but no one knows for sure what's going to happen in the trade. So they don't put so much on each individual trade, but instead over the next 50 trades, based on my statistics, based on my back testing, based on what I know, I should be at about this amount. So they don't get so hung up if their next trade isn't a winner because they know that their next three could be great. They, the next three could be just fine. But most retail traders, most traders that don't have confidence in their system, the next one has to work. And when you put yourself in that position where the next one has to work, you usually are putting yourself in a suboptimal position where you're going to lose money. So systems confident is a big one. And we want to make sure that, especially if you work with us, that we get you confident in your trading system. We show you how to back test it. We show you how to know that you have a quantifiable edge before you ever get started so you can ultimately have the confidence. And I'm going to show you a pretty counterintuitive tool that we use in order to be able to make that work as well, uh, even if you don't necessarily know that you even have the best strategy right now. Reason number three is emotional triggers after a loss. This is another big one. Most traders set an arbitrary amount of money that they're looking to trade per day or per trade. If you really think about it, um, you'll, you'll see that. So um, when it comes to that, you know, I'm trying to make $500 a day or $1,000 a day, but what happens when you lose that first trade? You usually end up adding more contracts in order to be able to get this to work. So if you get close to your profit target and you lose a trade, they feel the urge to try and get their money back. That's usually a big issue. So traders routinely abandon the trading plan after they lose just two trades in a row. So we have the stats on this. We see it because we can see a lot of our trade stuff. Usually after two trades is enough to abandon your trading plan and more contracts, less discipline, those sorts of things. So we have to be able to get our emotions in order. So let me talk about briefly some tips to save your funded accounts. Number one, reduce your contract size. If you do nothing else, just reducing your contract size will help you so much. Stop trading for the day if you lose three trades in a row. Set an automated loss limit in your brokerage account. And here I'm going to give you a resource to help you to be able to do that. So if you are trying to get some of these funded accounts, most of these guys use Rhythmic. I've already shot a video to show you how to set a loss limit inside of Rhythmic so that you never blow your funded account in a day. I just put that in the chat for you. I don't have time to go over it because I only got like three minutes left. Okay. But use that. Utilize what's in there to start to put a loss limit on all of your funded accounts today. That will save you. Use trading psychology exercises to reduce anxiety and install more discipline in your trading. And for the love of God, please reduce your contract size. I can't tell you how much it's going to ultimately help you as a trader. So now I just want to go, because I got like maybe two or three minutes left. I'm going to go through this briefly. But we it, internally in trade, um, in Tradecology, we develop our own tool called Trade Copy Pro, which helps you by, even if you don't have a solid strategy, let's say you even have a losing strategy, we can show you how to turn it into a winning one. So we have developed a reverse trade copy that allows you to fade trades that enables you to turn any losing strategy into a winning one. But let me just show you three different use cases of why this makes sense without going too much too crazy into the technology. Use case number one, you reverse your normal trading strategy. So if you have a strategy that wins money sometimes, but then you just end up losing, that's fine. Just take the opposite side of the trades. You'll go up a little bit, but for the most part, you end up giving that money back plus some. But if you take the opposite sides of the trade, you'll be able to qualify for accounts. That's an extreme version. Use case number two is if you go into your trade performance, look at your least profitable time frame. So let's say you do pretty well between 10 and one, but when you trade the open, you just seem to lose money. Just reverse your trades during the times when you're losing the most money so that in the times you're making money, you can keep making money. In the times you're losing money, you're taking the opposite side of your trades, you're making money, right? Fade those trades in times when it's not really working for you. Or three, create a custom strategy that's designed to lose. We've developed, I think, over 15 or 20 different custom strategies that stink, meaning that they lose money all the time. But when we turn on the reverse position, those losers instantly become winners. Or how many of these strategies have you bought in the past as you, a trader, that promised you the world but never made money? Well, now you have a tool to be able to dust off those old strategies that were losing anyway, take the opposite side of them, and be able to make so much money. The most successful traders in the world, this is what they do. They take the opposite side of retail traders because they call them dumb money. Okay, You can do the same thing with a tool similar to this. But Trade Copy Pro is only available to our funded um, account program clients. So, so, uh, so this one is 
which is more proof cases of people that are using Trade Copier Pro, where we have you trading your SIM account first, but then you take the opposite side of the trades in your funded accounts, and they actually are making money. So, uh, again, 30 days of proper execution, I'm telling you, can really make the difference for you. So, with all the stuff that you have, you can have as much as $40,000 before Christmas if you just ultimately go and do what's right. So, I've only got a minute left or so, so let me just go through this relatively quickly for those that are going through this presentation and saying, hey, I like Mark. He seems like a cool guy. How can I work with you? Let me just go ahead and put this information here. So when you're talking about doing it yourself versus doing it with us, if you work with us, we have a $1 million funded account guarantee. We promise to help you fix your trading issues. We help you to master your trading psychology and emotions, to establish discipline, to stick to your most profitable setups, to help you to establish those setups if you don't have them. And we'll help um, and we'll have, help you to have the discipline to be able to stick to them and we'll provide you with Trade Copier Pro. So here is the link to where you can go to learn more about it. We will have a 20 minute conversation via Zoom. It's absolutely free. There is no major crazy sales pitch or anything like that. Our guarantee is that if you haven't secured a million dollars in funding, after you work with us for 12 weeks, we will continue to work with you for free until you do. Because for us, it's about the goal. It's about getting you to where you're trying to go. It's not necessarily the arbitrary amount of time that it takes but our guarantee is that we will get you there, okay? So how do we do that? <coughs> we have our million dollar funded account roadmap, which I don't have enough time to get into, but it has a 70 plus percent pass rate. It's based on Nobel Prize winning research. I give you all of our trading psychology related tools that help you to stop over trading or whatever issue you may have. Believe me, I've seen them all. I will help you to be able to fix them. You get a dedicated trading coach, when in most instances is gonna be me, where I meet with you one-on-one, -on -one, including office hours. I do a full trading psychology and systems audit for you. So I'm looking at your actual trading system and giving you an audit to fix the specific issues. And I work as your accountability partner, your accountability coach. On top of that, we have group workshops. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we meet as a group. Monday, we do trading psychology. Wednesday, we do trading systems. So that's automations, auto traders, strategies, entries, exit, all of that. And then uh, we have a 30-year PhD, Dr. Sandra, who is on our team uh, that is a stress management expert. And she does stress management therapy sessions specifically for traders every Friday. She's a trader herself. She understands the language. You will not lose her when you start to talk about your trading stuff. She understands exactly what you're talking about. So, uh, all that included in the funded account program, you get our automated trading system, our million dollar funded account uh, trainings and setups. You get access to our private Discord channel, the one I was showing you where people are posting their P&Ls. You get our full library of behavior change protocols, and here's how you get started. Go to the link below, tradecollege.co slash traders corner. You fill out the application, you meet with me one-on-one. -on -one. Again, my program is full right now, but for these sessions, I usually add about five or so uh, just for the folks at Traders Corner. But I just wanna make sure you're a good fit. Like, I don't wanna talk to you about a program that doesn't necessarily make sense for you. So we'll meet one-on-one. -on -one. And then because you're, you've you seen this presentation and you use that link, you'll get a 20% discount on the roll. So uh, every trader that signs up will get Trade Copier Pro. You'll get my RTY strategy and my silver strategy that has a 70 plus percent pass rate in passing these combines. And again, my coaching program is full but I've made five spots available for members of the Investor Summit. Sorry that I rushed through that last little bit, but I just wanted to make sure that I got through all of it. Rob, as always, I appreciate you and what you all do here at Traders Corner to give traders like us the opportunity to talk to traders and help them to be able to grow. Uh, and with that, I want to say thank you and I'll end my presentation here. Marcus, I want to thank you and for hitting the fast forward button at the last minute. <laughs> Every time I listen to your presentation, I learn something new and reduce your contract size. Yeah, that's that, a big one. No, uh, your presentation is always full of just incredible information. I mean, I remember the conversations we've had offline and we're probably going to have some more. But ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Marcus Howard is the real deal. If you're interested in securing a million dollars in funded trading capital and have professional step-by-step -step guidance to overcoming emotional roadblocks in your trading, then look no further. Marcus Howard of Tradecology has a solution for you. We've placed his link in the chat box and you can find him at tradecology.com for more information. Marcus, thank you for making our audience such an incredible offer. Thank you for joining us again. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you again soon, my friend. Uh, of course. Thanks, Rob. Be well. <laughs> With over 150 years of trading experience on our panel today, our next presenter is a widely recognized author who publishes Traders Catalog and Resource Guide, TCNRG, magazine for eight years, beginning in 1993. She sponsors the Money Mentor on the internet since 1995 and was rated number one trader in the under 10 million category twice by Stark Research, achieving 365% profit and 178%. She just finished her seventh book, Easy Language Object Oriented Programming Made It Easy. Ladies and gentlemen, here to present using Sunnybands and DMAH to trade the E-mini, 
is Miss Sunny J. Harris of Money Mentor. Welcome back to Trader's Corner, Sunny. Thank you very much. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. We've got your right and screen up too. Oh, excellent. That's even better. All right, everybody, thank you for attending. And I'm going to talk about my flagship indicator, Sunny Bands, and how I trade. My passion is in helping beginners and intermediate traders. And this talk is for those who have not yet become wildly successful and want to, people who have not yet traded much and want to learn, and folks who want to improve their trading results. I love to teach and mentor and consult people. Give me a call. I'm one of the few that puts my personal cell phone up on the street, and you can call me anytime except during this presentation. Uh, it's important that you read this and that you know that losses do happen in trading and that past performance is not a predictor of future results. All investing and trading involves risk of loss, and these may not be typical results that I show you. <clears throat> You can and will lose some of your money. Never risk more than you can afford to lose. So if you'll click on this link, when I post these slides in moneymentor.com, you can see on the bottom is my phone number and my website. You'll be able to see the full disclosures. I am a professional trader and have been for over 42 years. I trade both futures and stocks and I trade crypto, but I do not trade options. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself and show you how I trade. I've been trading since 1981 through the 41% crash of 1987, the 38% crash of 2000, the 52% crash, it says of crash, of 2008 to 2000, 2007 to 2008, and the 38% COVID crash. I trade the S&P futures contract on one and five minute charts. And I've heard it said that this is the most difficult market to trade, but it's what I've specialized in and I've been doing it for a long time. I do have another portfolio with long-term stock holdings in it and I trade them on sunny bands. And to me, long-term is a week or more. And I do trade a little bit of crypto. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I trade sunny bands and my dynamic moving averages. I say DMA, dynamic moving averages. And I'm going to show you some Fibonacci and, and Elliott. You can get my free advice by signing up for one free issue of Sunny Side of the Street, which I put out every Sunday night. And I explain why my indicators are telling me about 15 different markets. Email me if you can't find it, and I'll tell you how to get there. Sunny at moneymentor.com. And I will post a PDF on my website. And my membership in Money Mentor is free. I also have a free podcast called The Sunny Harris Show on Spotify. Uh, this is what Sunny Side of the Street looks like. And I, as he said, I was rated number one trader twice using Sunny Bands and my dynamic moving averages. And you can see right up there at the top. I grew up dirt poor in Appalachia. I have three degrees in mathematics and one in telecommunications and photography. I've been programming for 52, 54 years and 42 years trading. I was a systems programmer for Lockheed in, as my first job, and I founded a little company called ISCO that was the world's leader in computer graphics software. I retired when I was 30 years old, and I did what I thought was the smart thing. I gave my money to money managers, and they lost $75,000 in three weeks, so I took my money back and said I can do that poorly on my own. So I started reading everything I could get my hands on. I started with 117 books and now I've read 747 of them. I watched the market for the first year to learn the rhythm. And it's kind of like jumping rope. You kind of have to get the rhythm of the rope before you jump in. I've written, well, that's not true anymore. I've written eight books now, Trading 101, Trading 102, Electronic Day Trading 101, Getting Started in Trading, Trade Station Made Easy, and Going Vegan with my friend Linda Blair. And now I changed the title of it, The Definitive Guide to Trade Stations, Easy Language, and OOEL Programming with my friend Sam Dennis. I've written articles for all the major publications in our industry. And I'm going to show you the covers of these books real quick. 
using Easy Language 9.x was with Murray Ruggiero. There's the magazine I published. And here's the new book, volume one and volume two. I'm going to do something a little unusual. If you want my Sunny Bands, I'm going to give you a free copy of both of these books autographed. Um, I've been rated in the top 10 consultants by Stocks and Commodities Magazine, the top 10 courses and seminars, number one trader, and I've belonged to all of the organizations. Um, let me read you a couple of quips. I have a little page on my website called Quips, Quips and Quotes. Uh, Tom said, I really appreciate your level of customer service. It's almost never the author of a piece of software responds to emails or answers the phone. I appreciate you. And Margaret, who is a new client of mine, said, I just wanted to update you on how trading is going with Sunny Vance. I hope I'm not jinxing myself but by telling you this, but I'm so happy with your indicators that I wanted to share with you. From the start of the trial on 829 until I published your uh, purchased your indicators on 96, my portfolio was up 28%, which is great. From the start of the trial to today, my portfolio is up 74%. Thank you so much for your help and your indicators. I have so much more confidence in trading now, and I'm still learning. I can only see things improving from here. Thank you so much. And they go on and on. They're all unsolicited emails. I do have a Facebook page. That's what Sunny Bands looks like. And if you go to Facebook, you'll see my free market predictions, and you can also subscribe to my sunny side of the street. I have customers just about everywhere. And I'm going to tell you now how to make a six-figure income. So let's say you want to have $120,000 a year income. Well, I like to systematize everything. So I break this down. We've got 12 months, so you have to make 10 grand a month. And that sounds hard, but if you think of it this way, there's 20 trading days in a month. That's only $500 a day. So that's just five trades of $100 each, and you're making a six-figure income. There's usually between $1,000 and $3,500 per day potential in the S&P if you can go both long and short, and this is just one contract. So I'm going to break down how I trade and show you. So that these next few images do look complex, but they're really not. And color key coding keys me into action. I color code everything so I don't have to think while I'm trading. Here's a chart of the Dow. Now that's just candlesticks. How do you know to buy down here or to buy down here and to sell up here? How do you know by just looking at that chart? It's easy after the fact, but it's not so easy when you're looking at it at the hard right edge chart doesn't tell you much. In fact, it just kind of looks scary, up and down, up and down. Is it going to go down further or is it already at a bottom and going to turn around? What's high and what's low on the chart? So let's look at it a little differently. Here's the same chart and I put a little indicator that I wrote on there that's called current time. It shows me, no, it's current price, sorry, shows me exactly where current price is and the color of the dot tells me whether it was going up or down that last tick. And I have Fibonacci lines so I can see the retracement and I can see that price right now is probably going up to this 38%, 38.2% line. So we have a little farther up to go and you see how beautifully it hits these Fibonacci lines and stumbles. So I do keep Fibonacci lines on my chart. And then I add what I call a tractor. In this case, this is a horizontal line. And you can see that it hits price here. We stumble over here. It hits it and stumbles over here and again here. So I, I put these horizontal lines on the preponderance of price activity. So I'm watching my attractors all the time. Trend lines are also attractors. And you can see this trend line that I've drawn on the chart. Two trend lines. I add some of my indicators, Sunny Bands and the DMA, and the DMA histogram, which I'll show you in a minute. I also have indicators for all-time high and all-time low. That I, they're not on these charts, I don't think, but, oh yeah, they, yeah, they are, all-time high and all-time low. And the green lines on the top and bottom form a band around price movement, and they do a really good job of, of containing price and showing you where the reversals are. 
no, these are not Bollinger Bands and they're not like Bollinger Bands. Bollinger Bands are based on a simple moving average and uh, statistics. Mine are based on this moving average, which is in the middle. The gold and purple lines are my dynamic moving average. And the bands then are average true ranges, dynamic average true ranges away from the gold and purple sunny bands. And there you can see we've got sunny bands. Now I added some attractors. They're not just support and resistance. Trend lines are attractors. Moving averages are attractors. My recession indicator, which is all time high, is an attractor and Fibonacci retracements are attractors. So that's my general term for everything that tends to attract price to it. LA waves are also attractors. So let's go a little farther. Leonardo Pisano, named Fibonacci or son of Fibonacci, was an Italian mathematician born in Pisa in the year 1170. His father worked at a trading post in Bugia, now called Bugia in Mediterranean post in northeastern Algeria. As a young man, Fibonacci studied math in Bougia, and during his extensive trials, he learned about the Hindu Arabic numeral system. The Fibonacci sequence starts with zero and one, and you add each number to the number next to it. So zero and one added together are one. So that's the next, se next number in the sequence. And the sequence goes, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, like that, by adding each of the two previous numbers together. It's the ratios between these numbers that we use as traders. So here's the sequence. You can see it in the spreadsheet on the left hand side. And then it's the ratio of one number to the next number. So here's one and two is a half, two and three is 0.67, three and four is 0.75. And you'll notice as we go down the column, it all converges on 0.618, and that's the ratio that we use in, in Fibonacci work. So one and two, and it converges on 0.618. If you take the ratio of number one to the third number over, you get it converges on 0.382. So you see from one to three, and it converges on 0.382, which is the next Fibonacci uh, ratio that we all use. And there's one more. If you take N1 to N4, so we're looking at one and four, then it converges on 0.236. Those are the main Fibonacci ratios that we use as traders. Now, if you divide the second number by the first number, it converges on, so we do one half, or two divided by one is two, and then it converges on 1.618. So there we have that lesson. My sunny bands, as I said, are the green bands on the outside of price, and the blue one, or teal one actually, inside is the inner band. So I have the upper outer band here, upper inner band here, the dynamic moving average in the middle, the lower inner band and the lower outer band. And that's the whole thing. We have one rule and I'll show you that in a little while that when the DMA is flat, which you see over to the right, we have special rules for that area. I also have an indicator that I call my PHW, which stands for potential hourly wage PHW because when I first started trading, I wanted to know how much money can I make per hour and is it going to be more than working at McDonald's? Because that's what you're working on. If you're making losses, you're, you make more if you worked at McDonald's. And the dots are at the ideal turning points. No, this is not something you can trade with. And since we can't be perfect and catch all the ideal highs and ideal lows, I take 60% of the ideal as my goal. And I figure I can give away 20% on the entry and 20% on the exit. Oops, let's go back. You see the yellow dots, how they, this is PHW, these yellow dots. And this shows you, shows you the perfect entries, which of course we can't get. So we take 60% and that gives me the PHW value. If you 
were to do buy and hold on the Dow Jones at the beginning of 2020 and sell at the end, you'd make $34,246. If you take 60% of that ideal on the same chart, that's $327,941 of the ideal. And that's quite a difference, 30,000 versus 300,000. Here's the same thing on Ethereum. You see a wild chart of Ethereum. And there it is spread out so we can see it more easily. And if you buy and hold on that one, you'd make $1,000 versus $23,000 trading it. Uh, and we're looking at a daily chart, chart just trading one share. Let's look at Tesla, same thing. Here's the yellow dots. It gives me the value. If you buy and hold from the left side of that chart, you make $237 per share. Yet if you trade it, you make over $2,000 per share. Now let's look at my favorite, the S&P 500. I'm using the continuous contract at sign ES. And that's what that one looks like with the yellow dots on it. Over at the right, you can see it writes the words. It tells me the ideal. It tells me the PHW. It tells me the ideal number of trades and the date span of the, of the chart. So I know what I'm doing there. This histogram at the bottom of the chart is my dynamic moving average histogram. It measures the difference between the gold and purple lines. So the difference in here you can see is higher than it is over here. And it gives me gold lines to let me know that gold is on top and it's moving up. When they turn red, it tells me gold's still on top, but now the difference is moving downward. And as it moves downward, it has a propensity to cross over into the short territory with purple on top. When purple turns green, I know that the differences are getting more narrow and it's trying to move up. Here's the S&P 500. If we buy and hold from the left side of the chart, we make over $3,000. Yet if we trade it, we make over $35,000 per share. And the PHW amount, and that's the PHW amount, which is 60% of the idea. Let's look at an investor's chart. Here's an investor's chart. It makes, like I said, $31.55. Yet, if we trade this same chart, and I'll show you the entries, these are the Sunny Bands entries. Every one of these things shows a Sunny Bands entry. So we're trading, and now we make the 35,000 trading versus investing. My, my indicators work on any symbol on any time frame. And uh, I have not changed the formula for Sunny Bands in the 36 years I've had it. it I've never optimized it. It still works after 36 years. Here it is on a 15 minute chart of the ES. And I've got, like I said, I like color to key me into things. So I have a little indicator I wrote called day sessions. And you can see the, uh, the blue and magenta bars. Those are the night sessions. And the green and red bars are the day sessions. So it makes it really easy for me to tell where I want to be trading. Here it is again on a five minute ES, same sunny bands, same dynamic moving average. And again on a one minute chart, same indicators. So how do you know? How do you know in 1982 to buy Apple at 12 cents and hold it for 40 years? Well, I look at my sunny bands, my dynamic moving average histogram and my PHW indicator. That's as easy as that. I just follow what it says. Trading, if you're doing it correctly, is boring. So that's what I want is boring trading. Do the same thing day after day after day and just pull out profits. Because the only reason to trade is to make money, right? And so uh, the Sunny Bands indicator is an offshoot of my dynamic moving average indicator. And it was designed to avoid whipsaw. I did a lot of calculations and some calculus, and that's how I figured out how to make a moving average that does not whipsaw. No, they're not Bollinger Bands. John uses standard deviations away from a simple moving average. That tells the market where it should go, but not where it is going. 
and the simple moving average is the one with the most whipsaw. My DMA is smooth and it dances seamlessly with the market. I use average true ranges, which tells me where the market has been and is going, not where it should go, but where it is moving. So here's a look at simple moving averages on Apple. And you can see that they're late right through here. You're gonna get short way down here and you're gonna get long again up here at the top. And then when it passes below, hopefully you'll be out of that and then back in as it goes above the moving average. Simple moving averages on Apple on a 15 minute chart show you whipsaw here, whipsaw here, whipsaw here, 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 and here over and over again. Their signals are late and you get signals that lose money more often than you get signals that make money. This is my dynamic moving average again, the purple and gold, and you can see how they don't whipsaw back and forth. Now this, it just stays, 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 stays with the market over there, and we just stay in the same position. Let's take a little bit closer look. Here is Apple on a 15 minute chart, and you can see just the DMA. So gold and purple lines are my dynamic moving average, and that's what it looks like. You see how the the simple moving average whipsawed like crazy over here in this area, and mine doesn't. It's quite a difference between them. It's unique uh, because, and it's unlike anyone else's moving average because it calculates its own links dynamically within the mathematics of the program. So, for instance, a simple moving average on most programs, when you input with the uh, put one on your chart with the uh, standard default inputs, they're typically nine and eighteen. You don't have to tell my dynamic moving average any links; it calculates its own links dynamically. And uh, on top of that, uh, the market moves as much as it usually moves, which led me to use average true range to figure out how much it usually moves. Now I'm going to show you the basic rules that I use for sunny dance. When the market's going up on, in my case, I use blue candles. Sometimes I use green, but it gets above, when it gets above the upper outer band and turns red and dips below the upper band, I go short. When the market's going down on red candles and gets below the lower outer band and turns blue and pops up above the lower outer band, I go long. It's as simple as that. There are some more complex rules I'll show you in just a second, but you can see here, these are the traits. Blue, the blue vertical line shows you the long and the red vertical line shows you where to go short. And these are all Sunny Band's rules showing you these movements. Here's a swing traders chart, the same thing, and a day traders chart. So I'm looking at a five minute chart for day trading. In the same amount of time, the investor on that chart made $168 per share. Of course, this is hypothetical. The trader made $299 per share on that five minute chart. And the day trader made $610 per share. So, and if you'd started with 100 shares, the investor would have made 16 grand, the trader made 29 grand, and the day trader would have made 61 grand. At a starting value of 47 cents in 1981, with the current price uh, at that time of 156, Apple would have made 399%, which is great. But the trader made 635% profit, and the day trader made 1,200%, almost 1,300% profit. That's why I trade, and I'm an investor in my stock portfolio and a trader in my intraday portfolio. Is this possible? Well, yes and no. Yes and no. You can't catch all the moves. You're never going to. Nobody catches, consistently catches the tops and the bottoms all the time. So in my research, I told you, uh, you can capture about 50 per 60% of each move, and that's what PHW reflects. The difference is an investor must sit through long periods of scary negative markets like we're having right now, 
and the trader gets to go short and long and short and long and take advantage of all those moves. Let's look again at the Dow because we're familiar with it. It's reported daily on the news and we all relate to the numbers. When they report that the Dow's down 300 points, you know what that means. You, you, you just have a feeling after years and years of what the Dow's doing. But if I told you the ES was down eight points, would you know what that really means? So in the last few weeks, we've gotten down 8% from its recent recovery high, and it's lost 2,800 points. On a weekly basis, here's the Dow, again, with the same indicators. We've got sunny bands and the dynamic moving average histogram on there. And this is everything that I use to trade. Let's look at the Dow Jones on Vantage Point software. I use their artificial intelligence software. It's predictive and it gives me a perspective of where things are likely to end up or down tomorrow. I post it every day on moneymentor.com for free. All you have to do is scroll down on the Money Mentor page and you'll see the current Vantage Point prediction for tomorrow. I do look at it every night before trading the next day and it gives me an idea of where the range on the market will be and what the tomorrow's high is likely to be and it's low. I also discuss it in my sunny side of the street and there's what it looks like. So you can see here it gives you uh, this in the gray bar at the far right it gives you the prediction for the next day. And here's the high predicted and the low predicted and it usually comes very close into that range. You can see that I've got uh, moving average or bands on the predictions and you can see how accurate it is the, those are the predictions from the day before so you can see how well they fall within those bands okay let's go back and look at the standard moving averages on the dow they're quoted in barons and investors business daily in the wall street journal and they use the 20 50 and 200 day moving averages everybody's worried right now that the es is about to pass through the 200 day moving average on the downside and that's what you relate to i use two fibonacci numbers for mine i keep the 21 day the 55 day and then the 200 day moving averages on my charts because they're fibonacci numbers so here are some more rules for the sunny bands these are for educational purposes only and they're the ones i use in my own trading Number one, basic rules. And I mentioned this a little while ago. I enter long when red candles have been moving downward and touch the lower outer band, turn blue and move back inside the lower outer band. If price confirms, I always wait for one bar to see that price actually confirms that signal. So there's a signal bar and an action bar. I enter short when blue candles have been moving upward, they touch the upper outer band, turn red and move back inside the upper outer band if price confirms. Now I have this part of the presentation already on my website. If you go to resources and downloads, you can download this part of the presentation. So you can refer to the rules yourself when you're trading. So there's basic rules number one. You can see I've got blue bars going up on the left turn red and come down inside the band, that's a short signal. Here we've been moving down on red, come back up on blue, price confirms and we go long. Now this has a little caveat here. You see that the DMA is flat and I'll discuss this in just a minute. So there's moving up on blue, moving down on red, moving up on blue, moving down on red. Simple rules. Level two rules are if the DMA midline is flat, that's the angle is visually sideways, then I don't expect price to move very far beyond the midline. In fact, it often adds, acts as a barrier to further price movement. So here is purple is on top. And you can see that price tends to move down and progress downward as purple is on top on the DMA. So there we move up to the DMA, which is flat. And you can see right after that, it moves down. It doesn't go above the DMA. So a flat DMA is a danger sign. I will scalp trades when they go up to the flat DMA and then I'll go short again, but I don't take a long position 
expecting it to come up to the upper outer band because it generally gets broken right there at that DMA. And you can see there's another one, example of the same thing. So there's the flat DMA, and over here is another flat DMA. Rules number two, when gold is on top, we're expecting price to move up, and there's a flat DMA. So we're expecting price will just come down to the flat DMA and bounce. There it is again. This, in this example, it goes up and it gets congested at the flat DMA, and it's more congested over here, and then it chooses a direction and goes on up. But I always expect congestion at the flat DMA, and there's the move. Rules number three, if gold is on top, which it is over here, then I'm going to stay in a long position. I'm not going to go short against a, a gold, DM, uh, you know, gold DMA. So that's basic rules level three. If gold is on top, I stay long until that gold line is penetrated, which it is over here on the right. And if purple is on top, same thing. I'm going to stay short while purple is on top until it breaks it, which it does on the far right. So purple on top, stay short. And here's how I choose stocks. I don't short stocks. I don't like to trade stocks on margin, but uh, I do buy and hold after a sunny band's buy signal. And then as soon as I get a sell signal, which on the ES would be a short signal, then I take profits on that signal and wait for another buy signal. So the next chart tells me all the stocks that are above the 2155 and 200 day moving averages. And it tells me whether my DMA is bullish or bearish and what the potential profit is. So let's look at the three moving averages first. I'm looking for all stocks that are above the three moving averages, these three, and there's what they call in transition, they call it a radar screen. I sort here by the, I can sort by the PHW and tell me the stocks with the most earnings potential. And over here in purple and green and gold, it'll tell me which direction the stocks are moving. So here we screen for all true cells, all the bullish cells in the scanner. And you can see it produces out of 6,500 stocks, it produces a list here this week of 29 stocks that are above all three moving averages, trading more than a million shares a day and have a price between 20 and 200. I don't like to, change, to trade really expensive stocks or really cheap ones. Here's moneymentor.com. You can see my website. If you go up here to Quips, that's where you can see what everybody's been saying about my services and my indicators. Free membership right here at membership and the resources to download are under this resources button. If you're ready to order something, you click on the order form over here. My products are, I've programmed all these and I, I developed them for use in my own trading. I didn't develop them for you. I developed them for me and they are what I use every day, but I make them available to you and I show you exactly how to use them. I do, if, if you want a free seven day trial of my indicators, we'll do two Zoom calls, one to install and orient you. And, and it's with me personally, it's not with my staff. So I show you exactly how I use them on the Zoom call. And then I do a second Zoom call during the live markets and I'll show you how they work in the live markets. So there's the link to order them or you can look at the products and show, show you pictures of each one of them. And I don't hold anything back. I don't keep secrets like a lot of uh, vendors do where they'll tell you sort of how they trade it, but they don't tell you exactly. So I'll tell you exactly everything I do. And I train you to use them for free. So I also have on my website, I did a strategy trading forum, four weeks, an hour each week. And if you join as a free member, you can have access to that. I also did a technical analysis form, again, free to members. And it's not too late, you can access the slides and videos. I also, in July, with my friend Sam Tennis, did an easy language form. 
It's on five sessions an hour each. It's only $79.95. And if you want to get a hold of that, you can learn easy language the quickest and easiest way. And they're all at moneymentor.com. I offer education and consulting, easy language programming services, mentoring, coaching. I have a full bookstore where you can access all the books that are about trading and investing. So you don't have to search all of Amazon. You just have to search in my books uh, page and you can find all the books related to trading and click on them to buy them. I have a distance learning course and I offer the indicators that I use myself in my own trading and a Sunday night newsletter. This is the special offer for this presentation only. If you order before the end of next week, I'll give you 30% off on everything I've got. Or if you want to wait and think about it and do it by the end of October, I have 15% off for that. But if you want to order it right away, it's 30% off. And you get a free autographed copy of my newest books. So that even consider it even includes consulting and mentoring time. If you want a free seven day trial, here's my cell phone number again. Just text trial to my cell phone and I'll set you up with the free trial. Are there any questions? I'm going to look at the questions over here and see if anybody's got any questions. There's no such thing as a stupid question. If you've got a question, somebody else has the same question too. And I'm done a few minutes early. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you, Sonny. Um, I do love your presentations, and it's amazing how those Sonny bands work in either bull or bear markets, short and long term. And I have to say the thing I appreciated most is when you said, you know, the long term investor made this much. And then, yeah. uh, you know, the day trader made such a, a larger percentage return by catching all of the ups and not giving back on the retracements and things exactly. like that. Exactly. But Sunny Bands are a must have for traders. Um, I thank you so much for joining us today. I thank you for making you know the generous offer that you did and being so transparent as to you know provide all your personal information like you do. Absolutely, thank you. Ladies thank and gentlemen, you. that was Mrs. Sunny Harris of Money Mentor. You can find her at moneymentor.com. I typed in one of the links in the chat box and I'm sure on the website you can click the headings or you know change the last portion of it. Uh, thanks again, Sonny. Uh, we hope, love having you here on Trader's Corner. Looking forward to reading your latest book. I hope you have a wonderful Excellent. weekend. Excellent. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Come back and see us again soon. Okay. No. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us down to our last two presenters. And I just want to pause and thank everybody in attendance today. We really appreciate you joining us. And I think you'll be happy you stuck around. We do save the best for last. And next up is an extremely gifted trader and software developer who became interested in day trading as a college student. He started using NinjaTrader out of curiosity to test his ideas and now has over 14 years experience with programming on the NinjaTrader platform. He's actively day trading futures, focused primarily on the NQ. He's most passionate about futures trading, but remains committed to building the best day trading tools. He enjoys connecting with his clients and bringing his ideas to life. Here to present Ninja Trader to the next level, tools for success, is Mr. Joel Wise of Affordable Indicators. Welcome back to Trader's Corner, Joel. Hey, Rob and everybody. Thank you so much. Excited. Always welcome. All right. Let's get into it. So we're just going to double check. You guys can see my screen. Um, should be a full screen title, PowerPoint yep. title. Yes, sir. Right. We'll get into it. Well, yeah, as Rob said, the title of my presentation today is Ninja Trader to the Next Level, Tools for Success. And I believe that today I have something for everybody. And it's been cool listening to, I've actually been here all day, heard all the presentations from Norm, Hallett, all the way up to Marcus, and then Sonny, this, being in this for so long, I applaud you as well, because this is a hard industry to be in. I feel like it wears me down sometimes. But 
yeah, it's great to be here. And uh, I'm going to show you guys some things today that I think can really help uh, supercharge your day trading platform. I think most people here are familiar with NinjaTrader. I've seen all the way since the beginning, Ala Peters using NinjaTrader. And so that's what we're going to be looking at. And we're going to also be talking about some funded futures trading stuff too. So I've got two parts to this. It's going to be, I'm going to show you my enhanced chart trader platform. That's going to be a majority of the time followed by my trade copier solution. So let's get into it. This here is, and I'm trying to switch slides. There we go. This is a picture of my office. I'm sitting right here right now presenting to you guys in my office in Swanee, Georgia. Um, this is a building that condo that I remodeled a couple of years ago and have me and some of my friends work out of here running different businesses and things. So it's been a great step because I've always worked from home to be, as Norm would say, disciplined, to be in the building, you know, physically leave, come to the building, come to the office and get into work that needs to be done day trading. I want to show you guys here my Apex performance recently. And so I want you guys to know from the get go, I'm in this with you guys. I am a developer, day trader, both. And so everything I'm going to show you today, I wrote, I'm the programmer. I'm also going to be the guy that supports you guys as you become customers and answers your questions as well. If you're looking at buying some of my tools, but yeah, the, this is my performance on Apex screenshot from my Bank of America account of the payments recently, and then the certificate that they also send. So just want you guys to be able to take a look at that. I'm pretty excited about this, been in this for a long time, and having drawn 10K from Apex is a huge accomplishment for me. I hope it's just the beginning of more large payouts. So I want to start with some questions here, and I'm sure you guys can relate, but let's get into it. A few questions. Would it be helpful to eliminate most of your trade execution mistakes? So I'm sure you guys, and participate, I can see everything that you say um, in the chat, and I will be looking at that, answering your questions. So next, a few more questions. Have you missed a trade entry because the signal bar closes and you hesitated to place your order? Or another one, have you missed a trade entry because price is moving too quickly to get the order in? And a third, have you missed a trade entry because you looked away for a moment as the setup was forming? Right, so I'm sure we can all relate to these issues, right? When we're trying to enter a trade. And, um, and that's what I built the Enhanced Chart Trader for. How about this one? Have you ever found yourself in a trade with the wrong number of contracts? Yes, right? Or without exit orders. Again, things that we need to work at. Do you struggle with trade exit decisions, such as determining the best target and stop loss prices? Yes, I think we all have, right? I did on Friday, every single day. Would your trading results, and the last one here for this section, would your trading results improve if you started managing risk on a per trade basis and a daily basis? And I think the answer is yes. We heard Marcus talk about risk management today. We heard Norm talk about discipline. Big, big, big part of trading successfully. And what I'm going to propose here is that most traders are at a major disadvantage because day trading without the right tools is hard or day trading is much easier with the right execution tools. So you guys have seen this, right? And I've been around here, I'm 38 years old. I just turned 38 and pretty much doing this since I graduated from college on the platform. And I will say, the chart trader hasn't changed in over 12 years. The right click trade entry covers up the chart window. So when you right click, it's covering up the bars. You can't see what's happening. And then in general, the trade entry or trade exit options are very basic. And therefore, 
I would propose that new features and innovation are needed. And that's why I've been working on this chart trader platform for several years. Here's a picture of the Ninja chart trader with the right click functionality. You can see clearly it's just covering up everything we're looking at in the chart. And the Superdome, does anyone still use the Superdome? And thanks, Ray. Ray coming in with, with the thing, all those questions, yes. And so we can joke about it. I picture all of us being able to sit around in an environment where we can like share a cocktail and just say, yeah, we've all been through these things, right? So I wanna say that I have a solution for you today or many different solutions. And I think, again, everyone can find a solution just to throw my cards on the table. Starting at $95 today, you can start with my chart trader. And I'm gonna show you that in a couple minutes. So trading is just like shooting an arrow to target, ready, aim, fire, all right? So in the ready phase, we're gonna identify the trade, aim, we're gonna take the entry type and price, we're gonna predetermine our stop loss to our profit target, we're gonna fire the trade and get it off, where we actually make it happen with entries and then managing the trade after we're in the trade with exits. So what is the Enhanced Chart Trader? Here is my definition. It's a suite of execution tools for both entries and exits. And for those of you that are technical, it's actually built as an indicator. So it's one indicator, one chart trader, many different features. And as I've said here, you can build the perfect chart trader configuration based on your trading plan and your needs. And I see Marcus is in here. Thanks for shouting me out, man. I hope that we can chat because i even think some of your customers could benefit from my chart trader features as well and i know man if you had a live cam on me while i'm trading i would be so embarrassed so i know that you could help me with my psychology especially with losing trades i do not like losing trades i have to learn how to deal with those so the way to get started with the enhanced chart trader is the basic chart trader tools and we are going to look at charts in about 30 seconds you're gonna see here a list of what is included with the basic chart trader tools. So you've got click entry buttons, limit entry buttons, exit order display features that have been improved. You've got break even buttons, the ability to attach orders to indicator plots. You've got an updated trade executions display, the bar counter display, and the profit and loss display has been updated. So now we're gonna move to the charts and i've got us in market replay today um it's a saturday many have pointed out it's a rainy saturday i'm looking out the window the sun is coming out here in atlanta georgia um so that's great so let's take a look here at these features click entry so we'll just got we've got ninja trader on the left enhanced chart trader on the right to place an order on ninja you're going to right click and hit sell you can move the order around Cancel the order, that's how it works. On mine, you're gonna click the cell click button. So the enhanced chart trader, you're gonna click the cell click button and click on the chart. And then same thing, you can begin to move it around. So you can be more precise with your entries right away, moving up and down the chart, click to place an improvement from the get-go. Let's talk about the limit entry buttons. With ninjas, you've just got basic buttons. By these four buttons, you cannot customize them. It is what it is. Over here on mine, I'm not going to go into the details, but you can customize these buttons so it can be based on the ask, the bid, the last. You can also base it, you can also change the offset. And so here's bid minus one, right? So it's you're you're actually backing it up one tick from the bid. You can change that to two or three. So these buttons are highly customizable. Um, way more detail than I can even hardly remember that's in there. Um, but you can set them up to, you know, place the order at the offer um, or even like buy the bid, right? Just like Ninja, you can do exactly this or you can change, you can customize the offset from the bid or the ask. So these are more customizable limit entry buttons. Let's look at the exit order display features. So as I get into a trade here, we're just going to, I'm just going to buy market. My standard target and stop is 20 uh, points on the NASDAQ. And I have switched to the 
micro contract just because we're gonna do some position sizing stuff. But the exit orders, I'm trying to see here why trade's not showing on the ninja side. Oh, because I'm on the big contract. Let's switch to the mini. There we go. All right, so comparing these two, you can see right away that on, on the enhanced chart trader, you can see the number of dollars in the profit target, right? So you can see the dollars. Um, you can also, if you're, if you're in multiple trades, these can get combined. So now that these are combined, I've got one order to move. I can see the total amount. I can split these, move them separately, or leave them combined like that. So you can see that there's some improvements on the exit order display. Let's look at, let's just notice here on, while we're in this trade, right here. So we can actually right click and hide our PL up here. So you can keep the PL hidden. It's like, again, maybe a psychology thing. Um, I had that request last week from a customer and implemented it to just be able to hide the PL while you're in a trade. So that's been done as well so let's go ahead and close this trade you got the break even button here that's the next thing up here you can actually scroll your mouse wheel to adjust how many ticks so break even plus or break even minus again let's just look at break even minus and click this button just to confirm we can see now we're break even minus seven ticks break even minus 15 so this button here can break even buttons included in the basic chart trader tools. Let's look at attaching the indicator plots. So we could click sell. And again, if you're going to sell the 50 EMA, once you click sell, you hover your mouse over a plot, the yellow circle shows up and it shows the plot. If you click, now your order is immediately attached to the indicator plot. Yes, you can do that in Ninja, but the process is through a right-click menu, three menus deep, going into the properties. It's a long process compared to just one or two clicks to have that order attached at the 50 EMA on the basic chart trader tools, the enhanced chart trader. Let's take a look at the trade executions display. So again, with ninjas, you can't even hardly make sense of it, right? I mean, look what you've got here for trade executions on the ninja side of things and what's standard. On the enhanced chart trader, I've built this so you can see the trade executions. I can see I went short one, I can see the profit size. Again, this isn't totally practical looking at these executions because we're just getting in and out of trades for this presentation, but you can already see the improvement of the sh showing the short entries, showing the long entries and showing the amount of profit or loss. Bar counter display, again, what I think is key, trading a chart. This display down here is counting down in seconds, but it's built to count down range bars, Renko bars, tick and volume bars. So all bar types, no matter what bar type you apply this to, it's gonna automatically put the right counter on the chart, just a convenience thing, right? Um, when you're trading on a chart, you need you pretty much always want to have a countdown of what's happening, knowing when the bar's going to close. And as I said, lastly here, the profit and loss display. We already looked at this, how you can hide your PL when you're in a trade. Same thing here when you're not in a trade, you can click through here to show with commissions, hidden or without commissions. So you can toggle that. And this is what's really cool too, is that I built this when dad and I were first trading together to be able to separate your PL. So I can show all instrument PL or only MNQ PL. So you notice that how when I toggle this, I see $18 versus $63. Switching over to the ES, you can see in the ES I'm up $50. Again, so we got ES PL separate from NASDAQ PL. So just another feature that I've put in here, and again, you guys come on board as a customer today and a lot of my existing customers are here i see love to hear from you if you're here just in the chat so i can say hi but i do prioritize my customers right so none of my software is free because i won't be able to keep up i'm a one-man show at this point i'm a one-man show i do it all okay and so but i do prioritize my customers especially as we'll talk about later my professional chart trader tools customers which is the entire suite 
of charge meter products that I offer. So yeah, just grateful that you guys are here. Let's keep moving through this. So this is the basic charge rater tools that we just covered again. It's the way to get started with my enhanced charge rater. So next step would be the essential charge rater tools. So with the essential charge rater tools, it's a step up from basic, and I've built in some more features that I'm going to show you guys. This is includes the ATM strategy planning, which if you guys know what an ATM strategy is, it's how you set up your targets and your stop loss orders quick select buttons, one click order placement, and position sizing, which position position sizing has been discussed by many other presenters today about sizing our trades appropriately um, and managing our risk. And actually it's something that I'm doing more of lately. I'm gonna show you guys that. So again, ATM strategy planning is when you can confirm stop loss and target orders on pending trade entry orders. You can also adjust those orders before the trade entry is ever placed or filled. I'm gonna show you guys this. In position sizing, you can adjust the trade quantity based on the stop loss size. This is configured in dollars or percent of account value. I think most of us will be using dollars, like if you decide I'm risking $2 per trade or $1 per trade. I'm sorry, $2, why did I say that? 200, generally 200 or $150 per trade, you can set that up. It's going to be linked to the selected ATM strategy and it's integrated with the ATM strategy planning. So back into the charts, we'll jump over to the essential chart trader tools. And I'm going to show you guys a few position sizing examples. So to plant, to use the ATM strategy planning features. So again, this is not included with the basic chart trader tools. I've already covered what's included with that. This is going to be a step up into some more features that I offer. So looking up here, we've got ATM strategy quick select button. So as I click back and forth, I can choose my ATM. And you can see on the chart, it's drawing the plan trade, right? So I've got different sizes of stop losses here, um, and different ATM strategies. And rather than having to select in the drop down, I'm able to just select quickly right here my different stop loss sizes for a NASDAQ trade. To launch a plan, <clears throat> you're going to click on the I. Then when you move your mouse down here, you can actually move this around. So I can plan a trade at, say, this is the five minute 20 EMA up here where I'm showing you with my mouse. I can plan out this trade. I can see what it looks like. I can see, okay, I've got some previous highs right here, right? I've got an entry here at the five minute with these previous highs, and I can decide how much I want to risk. So let's say I want to, I'm risking $300 per trade. Do you see as I change this, how the number of contracts are trading? Let's say I want to tighten my stop loss as I do that. I got nine, 10, 11 contracts. So if I risk 13 points on this trade, all of a sudden I can trade 11 micro contracts, right? And I don't, totally recommend trading more than five or six or seven micros because at that point you shoot a minis and it's kind of a fine line between that. I never used to trade micros until recently. I'll show you guys my trade copier. I'm starting to use micros to, to reduce my risk. Again, Marcus, thanks for uh, that um, reminder. So yeah, this is the ATM strategy planning. Basically, you're able to adjust your plan before you ever end of the trade, and let's just go ahead and see this trade fire off. I hit place sell, right? And then I'll just move the order down to fill it. Order's filled. And you can see that we have in here our planned trade with the 13 point stop loss and whatever the profit target was. So I'm gonna close this trade. Just wanted to show you guys that. that so that, those are the ATM strategy planning and position sizing features. So again, as I'm setting up a trade, let's just do this again, right? I'm, I'm, let's say I'm gonna go short. We can change the ATM. So we can click right here and we immediately see the size adjustment. Let's say we're risking $200. We immediately see we have 10 contracts at 10 points. At 15 points risk on the NASDAQ, we would have six contracts. At 20 points risk, and I need to reset that, 20 points risk, 
you would have five contracts. So you can see how the amount of contracts traded changes with the size in points of the stop loss. That's position sizing. I'm sure I'm missing something. There's so many features in here. Again, you can change to percent of account, which isn't really practical in most cases, unless you're trading a cash account, but most, most prop firms you're gonna want just to set your risk in dollars. And you can get more precise with this. It's set to a hundred dollar increment, but you can change that in the settings to be more precise with how many dollars you want to risk per trade. And so I don't want to miss the opportunity to show you guys too, like this is the one click entry. Don't want to forget about this. With the essential tools, you get a one click entry, which means that you move your mouse to the right edge and this pops up. Now all of a sudden you're placing these orders. You can place a bunch of orders right here, right? And with any click entry, this is for basic or essential. I mean, basically every, any chart trader purchase gets the buy and sell click buttons. With the buy and sell click buttons, you're changing your order type here, right? So you can limit or market if touched or limit if touched, right? You can also do stop or stop limit. Here you're adjusting the offset of the stop limit. So if you guys are familiar with all these order types, not my job to educate you on this, but you, you can literally trade all order types, configure it here, and then use the buy and sell click to place your working orders. So that's the essential chart trader tools. And now I'm gonna go through some more features real fast and then we'll go over the trade copier and I'll make you guys a great offer on some pricing today. It looks like everyone's sticking around. Even more people are rolling in, which is cool to see. Um, Ray, Alan, this is not live. We're in a market replay today just because it's Saturday. So I'm replaying Friday's price action. Ray Rodriguez, thanks for being in the chat. I appreciate you guys participating and asking questions. Can you change to a smaller number? I'm assuming you're asking about um, the amount of dollars. And yeah, that can be adjusted as closely as you want. In the settings, you would change the increment. And then when you move this up and down, then it's gonna adjust, say in like $20 increments, right? You wanna go 180, 160, 140. So I hope that answers your question. Looking through here, man, I'm just looking at these tabs. So this is gonna be fast. Advanced exit orders. This includes um, trailing stops. So you can literally set up trailing stops. I'll just show you guys this to go long in this drop down. You can even build custom ones. These bottom two are custom based on indicators in the chart window. So I'll just demonstrate this real quickly. If I go long here, um, and let's say I want to trail at the parabolic SAR, I'm just going to turn this on. Now you can see. I'm at the parabolic SAR minus two ticks. Or I could go to the burger stop, which is a customer of mine with these blue dots. So as I change this on the fly, you guys see what's happening? Now I'm at the low of the previous bar. Back to the burger. I could go to a fixed trail of 20 ticks. And I could increase that. So this is all just on the fly. Look at that. Now I'm at 40 ticks, fixed tick trailing stop. So if this goes up, which by chance it may or may not, who knows, you'll see the stop move up and trail. Again, back to Berger, you can do the 50 EMA. So this is the advanced exit orders management functionality here, built in with trailing stops. I will jump to, and we can see here, let's go to fixed ticks, see if we can get some action on this moving up. Okay, so there it trailed up. So it continues to trail up, keeping it 40 ticks behind. So you can't configure a stop like this in the ATM, but you can't, like right here in the ATM strategy, but you can't turn it on and off on the fly. That distinguishes this along with all of these different customizable trailing stop types. All right, let's jump over to the next chart, which I've titled my name. I wanna show you guys this. This, these 20 EMA buttons, you can actually purchase as another option in the chart trader. With one click, you can be working in order at a plot. So it's even faster than using like the buy and sell click buttons and having to click the plot. I've got these set up so in one click, I can immediately work in order at the 20 EMA. So a lot of times that's where I'm buying and selling. Um, yeah, Marsha, yeah, Marsha, I see you. 
Um, recording will be available for you, Pre. Yes, you can reach out. Any, if any questions go unanswered, by the way, please reach out on my website. Happy to engage with you guys. Like Sunny said, you can call me as well, text me. Um, but yeah, it's just, it is attaching new indicators, but it's eliminating some steps, right? And so when you're using this trailing stop functionality, you're, you're not having to select the order, move, hover over the plot, attach it. It's doing it. It's eliminating eliminating that step and getting it set up to trail immediately when you're in the trade. So one of the ways that I've been looking at managing my risk is again using advanced exit orders. There is an option to do ATR based stops. So you can see my ATR on this one minute chart right now is 9.86, about 10, right? Or that's yesterday's. Today's would be 10.4 right now in this chart. So if I do some planning here, I can see that my plan would call for one and a half times the ATR, which would be 15.5 points. So again, just another feature that you guys can take advantage of um, trading. And sorry, I'm trying to, let's just go ahead and place this down here. And if we turn ATR on, it's gonna adjust. Sorry, we'll plan the trade. Okay, so we're buying. We turn ATR off, it's going to default to 20 points, right? Because that's our default stop loss. But if I turn ATR back on, clicking this button, now my stop and my target are based on the ATR times 1.5. So, just another side note you can find more videos where I've discussed this or reach out if you have more questions about this. I know it's a lot to learn and understand. Some of you might not even know what the ATR is. It's just a a way to determine how quickly the market's moving and then dynamically adjust our targets and our stops. Do we have any Renko bar traders in the room today or range bar traders in the room today? So what I'm gonna show you here is my tool called price-based entry orders where you can set up Renko trades. So this is Clicking this button is going to place a stop order where the, we know the bar is going to close. So you can see here as this closes up, the order trails, right? So this order is in and ready to capture a reversal bar if a reversal bar happens and get us short. Why is this important? Because we don't want to wait until the bar closes to get in these trades, right? We want to have our order resting and ready so we can get the best possible fill. So if you're trading Renko reversal bars, this is a great tool for to, as a conjunction with any system to place orders and get them in before the bar closes. You know where the bar is going to close, so your order can be resting and you can get into your Renko bar trades, um, pullbacks, reversal bars, stuff like that. So I just want to make that available as well. Again, every trade is linked to an ATM. So to select an ATM if this order gets filled. Again, you have to select it before you initiate the trade, but yes, that's how that's gonna work. It's gonna get you into the trade and with an ATM strategy selected. Range, same idea. I can place this order up here. If I wanna get in the next green range bar and it's gonna trail that order down. So you'll see here, if we get time and this bar goes down, it's gonna keep moving this order around. So it's always in sync with the known close of the range bar. Then when the range bar closes, we're in the trade, we're pulled into the trade. So again, when the NASDAQ starts shooting up or moving in a direction, it's great, great way to pick these reversal bars. Even here as it's shooting up through the moving averages, by like trading this green bar right here is a great possibility. Again, initiated, we see the order triggered here when that bar closed green. We're into the trade and I apologize I don't have ATM selected so we have no target stop but you get the idea if you had your ATM selected you'd be in this trade with your target and stop bracket again tool for news events that I've developed and so this can be um, on the bar close. So if I initiate this here, it's gonna show us we're gonna have a bracket two seconds 
before the bar closes and bam, there it went in, bar closed. So you can see how that's helpful for news events, right? Because if you get an 8.30 news event, you don't want to be in 8.30, you want to be in two, three, four seconds before the bar closes. You can define the number of seconds in the settings. This can also be an instant thing too. So if you scroll your mouse wheel, it says bracket now, adjust the offset, let's say I want a bracket 10 points above and below, click. Now I have a bracket 10 points above, 10 points below the last traded price. It can also be configured to the high and low of the bar. So if I wanted to bracket this previous bar, if I went to settings and adjusted this, I would then have brackets at the high and the low of that previous bar. So I think most of my customers would use this for news. And just to reiterate, if I initiate this close, it's gonna send the trades two seconds or any number of seconds you want before the bar closes. Orders in, bar closes, news is out. So that's a news tool. Again, each of these tools, you guys, are, are options for the enhanced chart trader. And I'm gonna go through this in the next 15 minutes, make it super clear for you guys as to what pricing is and what the options are. But and here's the close bar entry. So again, I may just skip through this quickly, but this just allows you to enter on the bar close. So you can select the direction. I want to enter on an up bar. I want to enter on a down bar. I don't care what up happens. I want to enter when the bar closes in general, right? So let's just do one of these. We're going to enter long on an up bar at market. You can select the order type. So this trade has been initiated. So with 15 seconds to go, we'll see this trade fire with the attached ATM strategy eight seconds same thing here this adjusts the direction of the bar whether it's a down bar up bar any bar and you know what this didn't fire but i wonder if that's that's got to be because it's playback mode so i apologize for that um not everything works the same in playback as it does in in real data feed but you get the idea this is gonna fire um oh no i'm sorry the bar closed down. So the reason it didn't fire is because the bar closed down. So we will, let's put it on any bar and then we'll see. There's a lot to keep track of, guys. <laughs> That's why I get so many questions from my customers. I'm like, ah. So yeah, the reason that didn't close is because the bar didn't close up, right? So the bar closed down. We're not, it's not gonna go because we had it selected to go on an up bar. So with 16 seconds left, I'll just let you guys see this trade. We've got it set to fire on any bar close all right six five four and there we go all right so again you got your target your stop by the way look at ninja's chart trader and all the executions and how messy that is you've got your 200 dollars target 200 dollars stop back on the big contract of nasdaq again and we'll just close this trade and then lastly, we've got signal entry orders. This is the last thing I want to cover today. Works like close bar, but it integrates with signals. And so if you have an indicator that plots signals of any kind, pretty much this can integrate. So it's going to allow you to initiate the trade. You can see here how it's highlighting the blue bars on this particular indicator, which is my stochastic indicator. It's confirming that what happens is when this button's on, it's waiting for the next long signal and then it will execute the next long signal when the bar closes it's the same thing you can select this is going to be expanding but you can select from different signal types different entries market um, these different types of entries you can enter the close high low take the next trade or let it trade continuously as signals are coming in so that is signal entry orders and Let's take a pause and just look at some of the questions. Thank you, Steve. It encourages me a ton to hear that. That you're still using the chart trader and the trade copier every day. Grateful for that. Ray Jackson. Tom Kingston, yes, there is a user manual that comes with your purchase that covers everything. Um, instead of clicking up down value, say 40 down to 10, can you just type the value? Seems faster. Hmm. I think you were probably talking about the trailing stop. 
And I don't believe that's possible right now because just of a limitation in the coding of Ninja. Yeah, you can't type it. So you just have to go up and down like this. You can't type in this box until I figure out how to code that and allow that to happen. You're just going up and down with these arrows. Thanks for the question, Ray. Um, any other questions, throw them in. I'm gonna keep moving though. Let's talk about the accounts dashboard. So this is my trade copy or product. Um, gonna ask you guys a few questions. If you guys are using Apex or other prop firms, have you, let's go back here. Hmm. All right. Have you been filled in some accounts but not others, then manually sorting out the differences? Yes, right? We've all had it like, why do I have 10 follower accounts in a trade but the other ones are not, right? Have you ever find yourself in opposite positions on the follower accounts when all accounts are supposed to be flat? So all of a sudden you went long, trade goes up, you got a winner, and then, all, and then in some of the accounts you end up short. Hmm. Happens, right? Have you ever generally, this is a general question, have you ever generally been confused about what the heck happened with your master and follower accounts? The answer is yes, right? So there's been a lot of issues with different trade copier solutions. And when my dad moved to Atlanta and we started working together on trading, he's basically just full time studying trading. He got into Apex. I kind of said, I don't even want to go down that road. I'll just trade a cash account. But once we got into it, it's like, wow, we see the advantages, right? Just like other presenters have discussed today. So I developed my own trade copier. I call it the accounts dashboard. I call it that because it's both a trade copier and a risk manager. So it's one window for tracking all accounts. The goal is to keep all accounts in sync with one another. Okay, keep it simple, right? We wanna keep, we wanna eliminate the stress of copying accounts. We wanna do our best to minimize slippage and keep the accounts in sync. And I'm still working on more features to make that possible for you guys. Um, David Wise is not my father. We're not related. My dad's name is Larry. Um, he, I guess, works for Rightline. But yeah, not related on that one. Thanks, Tom. Uh, yeah, so it's the duplicate account actions, the trade copy or account risk manager is covers all my account, uh, all your, hopefully, all your risk management needs for your accounts. And then there's also trailing threshold features for prop firm accounts. So for some of you, here comes the fun part. I'm going to show you my Apex accounts, and you're going to see that I'm actually down. So these are all of my funded accounts, right? So earlier I said I pulled 10K from Apex. I showed you guys my bank statements. I've also bought a bunch of PA accounts. So my one account here that I've left on the first kind of round of accounts is up here. So I'll be able to pull another 2K from that. I'll probably request that on Monday or Tuesday. Um, been trading one mini on that. I'd like to get that up to 60 and then kind of back it down to micro. But what I'm doing here is trading three micros on these follower accounts. So again, you can adjust the size of these, right? So I'm going to two, I would just click two, type in two. Now I'll have two micros. Or let's say I want to do three on half of my accounts and two on the others, right? So these are my accounts, you guys. I was up. 50,500 and again with risk management over trading some things can come back down and so just believing that I'm going to be able to get these up into that 53 54,000 mark and then do a huge $40,000 payout that's the goal on my end so I'm managing all the software company stuff but also trading um, in the mornings generally I'm doing trading and all that kind of stuff so Check out the copier. You guys can go to my YouTube channel and find a ton of videos on this. And I'm going to go ahead and get back to the PowerPoint and, and cover my offers for today. So basic chart trader tools, again, which is the introductory package for my enhanced chart trader. It's going to be on sale today, 50% off at $95. That's the click entry buttons, the limit entry buttons. We talked about the exit order display features, the break even. Attached indicator, the improved trade execution display, so you can see your trades, kind of eliminate the clutter of what's standard on Ninja, bar counter in the profit and loss display. All of those features built in 
for $95. Next, the Essential Chart Trader Tools, which is normally valued at $9.95. This includes the ATM strategy planning where you're pre-planning your trade. Quick select buttons. Instead of using the drop down, you're selecting your ATMs quickly. One order, <clears throat> one click, order placement, and then the position sizing. And again, I think the position sizing is becoming even more important in my own trading. When I built that part a year ago, and I've updated it a lot since, I wasn't really using it. I built it because other customers needed it. But now I'm seeing that if I'm going to manage my risk, and I'm going to risk only, say, $120 per trade, which I think makes sense on the NASDAQ, right? Then I'm going to have to use that tool to know how many contracts I can trade. My stop loss is not always going to be the same, right? Sometimes I'll have a tighter stop, maybe a looser stop. But that position sizing tool enables that um, or makes that easy. Again, the ATM strategy planning, position sizing, this is going to be also 50% off. So with all that, getting it today for $4.95. Additionally, some of the other features I've discussed are going to be 40% off today. So we talked about entering on the bar close. We talked about the Renko and range where you're placing your orders at the known levels where we know the bar is going to close. Talked about the bracket entry orders for news. We I showed you guys briefly the signal entry orders, which allows you to initiate the trade. Um, yeah, which allows you to initiate the trade as the signals are forming. So yeah, that is there's a ton of different features. I'll show you guys the website in a moment that are available at $2.95 each. All right, so you can buy different products. You're basically building out your own enhanced chart trader platform based on your trading methods and needs. Next are the account dashboard products. So this, and I've summarized this on, on a page for you guys. I'm going to have Rob put it in the chat here at the end where you can go view all of these offers. So don't worry. I've got this all organized on the website for you guys to see. Um, this is going to be the lowest price ever for my trade copier and this is an effort i'm making to push this out to more users i think i have 160 users on the copier now and i believe it's the best copier bar none i'll go to battle with all these other guys i'll even mention that replicanto apex um i'm actually going to talk to marcus about partnering i'm sure he's got a good copier as well but i think Putting the time in as a programmer and experienced trader, and um, yeah, all the above, I'm doing that. I'm in the fight. Like I'm making a huge effort on this trade copy, and I want to get it in your hands for only $145 today. Now each portion is $145, so if you want the risk portion, that's also $145. Copy your portion, $145. Again, one indicator, two distinct main features lastly i want to make you guys one more offer and this is for a couple people in the thank you marcia best copier out there appreciate you marcia um this is for you guys that have seen the presentation and you look at the website and you say there are so many features in here and i see a ton of value in this chart trader the professional chart trader tools will get you every single feature that's built in, right? So we talked about all the features that are built into this. There's about 10 different separate products. I haven't even covered them all today. I'm gonna to give you 50% off. You can make this decision today or tomorrow on the professional chart trader tool. It's gonna to be 1995. It's gonna get you the whole chart trader platform. If you do that, I'm gonna also throw in the key levels confluence. So that will be included. Key levels I haven't really discussed, but you can look it up on the website. You're going to see it. It's one of the main tools that I use in my own trading to have um, the best levels in my chart window at all times, looking for areas to buy and sell. So I'd love for some of you to move forward on the professional chart trader tools. I'm going to do that for the first three, I think it said three or five customers. Let's see what it says on the website. I'm going to do that for three people today at that price half off. Go see the testimonials at the top of my website. And then here's the link. Rob, if you can go ahead and put that link in the chat, then please confirm that you get the right link and everything that it's working. Should be good to go. Paste that in the chat for everybody. There it is. Rob's on it. This is like in like three or four seconds. Come on, Rob. You can, you can be faster than that, right? 
Um, so quick. Appreciate that, man. So use the coupon codes. I'm gonna make everything good through Sunday, October 15th. Lastly, the first few minutes I've left, I'm gonna pull up the website so you guys can see this. This is the page that Rob just pasted in here. I've laid it all out, made it super clear for you guys. You can use the more information links. It's gonna take you to the product pages where you can then add products to your cart. On the cart, you're gonna use the different coupon codes depending on what you're buying. The coupon codes are specialized with discounts for certain products. So the coupon codes listed, the more information pages are gonna take you to the link where you can add products to your cart and move forward with purchases. Um, as I said down here, this is gonna be for three customers only. You could push it to four or five or really as many of you as one, because I think these tools have so much value, right? I really believe that, really care about providing things that have value, and uh, that's what I'm doing here. Um, through my experience with serving lots of customers, lots of custom programming projects, and now trying to turn it into just products for all day traders in the platform. Um, yeah, just adjusting. Man, Ray, thank you so much. Ray's gonna get one license for the pro. I really, really appreciate you saying that, man. I know I've hit my time limit. Pre, I wanna address every question. No disrespect, dipping the toes in. Pure's a bit complicated, keep it simple. Man, I received that feedback and I know I need more videos, probably better videos, better documentation for all my stuff. So um, thanks for leaving that feedback. If you'd reach out and email me, um, we'd love to discuss that with you and just get your perspective on that, what you just shared. Um, but remember, for $95, the basic chart trader tools is great. Also, the copier, again, at $145 is something you need, and I believe it's the best one on the platform. So, Bill, Willie, recording will be coming. Thank you, Bill. Rob, I'm going to pass it over to you. Thanks a lot, you guys, for being here on a Saturday. I really appreciate it. Hey, thank you, Joel. And I just want to throw out there that we do record these. A link is sent in a follow-up email to the entire recording. The presenters are welcome to record it themselves, and they will be on our YouTube channel at a point, which I will post the link to momentarily. And uh, in my defense, yes, I can type in the realm of 100 words a minute, but I have to click on the link and make sure I didn't misspell anything before I send it in for everybody. So thank you for the credit, Joel. Yeah, thank you so much. That was so fast. I was like, how, how in the world? I mean, you were on it. So I appreciate just being here and just grateful, grateful for the opportunity, man. It's been hey, a great I time. try to fulfill my duties as well as possible. But ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Mr. Joel Wise of Affordable Indicators. And let me tell you, he does make some great and powerful indicators that are reliable. Thank you for making such an incredible offer to our audience together. Um, you know, that's the best one I've seen since you started presenting on our show when you're a regular. And it's it's just amazing how powerful that ability to click versus type or change screens and things like that is. And, you know, having an automated trade management strategy so you don't give back on a quick move. But, All right. Uh, well, thank, thanks again. And Ray, I see your question. I'll go ahead and check on that for you or, read, or you can give me a call if, if you want. That's fine as well. Thanks a lot, you guys. Thank you, Joel. And powerful indicators at the discount transforms your ninja into the super ninja. Joel, it's always a pleasure to have you. Um, I bought your trade copier and it's by far the best one I've tried out there. Love your stuff. The reviews are great. You know, have a good weekend and I can't wait to have you back. Amazing. Thanks. Be well, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I mentioned at the top of the show, we had a great lineup and we are down to the last presenter. I hope everyone is listening closely because our next presenter is a graduate, graduate of Syracuse University and has been trading the financial markets for the last 15 years. He wears several hats over at Right Line Trading. He's a trading coach, assists with the optimization of trading strategies and indicators, provides logistical and technical support, and is always ready and willing to assist the Right Line Trading community. Here to present AI Auto Trader, powered by NextGen Intelligence, is Mr. Rory Powers of Right Line Trading. Welcome back to Trader's Corner, Roar. Oh, thank you, Rob. Thank you for that great introduction. Um, it's always a pleasure to be here, and I really appreciate everybody's time. And I'm glad you stuck around because, man, I've got an exciting uh, presentation to go over with you today. 
Um, I just want to confirm that you could see my screen and you could hear my voice. Loud and clear. And we got your splash screen up for the PowerPoint. Oh, wonderful. Let's get going. I want to wish everybody a happy Saturday the 14th. We made it through Friday the 13th. And man, it's this month has really been uh, a real roller coaster. Uh, I was on the Trader's Corner back for the Labor Day uh, special. And I thought volatility was coming back right after Labor Day. But man, it uh, it kind of had a, a slow start, but things have really uh, picked up, uh, you know, moving into October. And, uh, you know, this past uh, this past week with the conflict in the Middle East and the economic news reports that came out, um, the, there was a, just a tremendous amount of volatility in the market. And that's really what this system thrives on. Uh, I'm gonna be presenting today, uh, the presentation is on our AI auto trader. Uh, it's a fully automated trading strategy that runs within the Ninja Trader 8 platform. And it is based on mathematical modeling combined with next gen technology. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get the CFTC out of the way. I just want to, uh, you know, be very clear uh, that everything that we discuss today is for educational and demonstration purposes only. Um, I'm not a licensed financial advisor. Um, if you're not familiar with the risks that are associated with trading, we do recommend that you do consult with a licensed financial advisor. And I just want to, uh, Rob did a, a beautiful introduction. Uh, everything he said was true. And I just want to uh, just tell you a little bit, a little bit more about myself. Uh, I'm a native of Miami, Florida, and I'm a, a big Miami Dolphins fan, Miami Heat fan. Uh, the Dolphins are looking great this year. And uh, I'm an avid saltwater fisherman down here in South Florida. I live right by the, uh, right right next to Miami Beach in the Florida Keys. And the, the slide that you're looking at is my beautiful family, uh, my beautiful wife. Uh, we, we've been married for about six years now. Uh, she's a Haitian American uh, and uh, Christelle. And we also have two beautiful girls. Uh, one is seven and a half months old now. And one will be five. She's four years old now. And I just, uh, you know, I've got to say how blessed uh, that I am to have such a, a wonderful family. So I'm part of a, a, a team here at Right Line Trading. And our mission uh, as a team is to develop innovative trading strategies that help predict the future direction of price. A trading system has to define risk and give you an indication of where price is headed. Uh, because without the technical analysis, it's really a guessing game. Uh, anybody's, you know, we have the talking heads. Uh, your guess is as good as mine as to which way price is going to go without technical analysis. So as software developers, having that knowledge um, can be monetized in a variety of different ways. And our team, uh, you know, one of the main things that distinguish us from some of our competitors is that we trade our system on the right edge of the chart Monday through Friday in our live trading rooms. And our software provides us signals of entry and defines risk and we're able to monetize those signals in a variety of different ways. Uh, we've heard a lot about the prop trading today. And man, the, these prop trading companies came into the scene and just opened the floodgates and really brought the excitement back uh, without risking any of our own capital. You know, we could buy a, a $50,000 account for 20 bucks. I mean, who ever thought? You used to have to be rich to get into the game, but you know now for twenty or thirty bucks, you got you know fifty thousand dollars at your disposal, and you've got a chance to to hit the lottery. 
So it's it's really added a lot of excitement and fun and opened the floodgates. Um, but that's one of the key components uh, that we use uh, to, to monetize our software. On the top right is Mr. David Kushner. Uh, he's a professional prop trader. He trades our system in the live prop trading room Monday through Friday. And he successfully trades six, six funded accounts with one of the with one of the prop firms. Uh, down on the bottom left here is Mr. Craig Emery. He purchased our software after purchasing dozens of other systems that just didn't work. Uh, he found a home with right line trading. Uh, his results have been so consistent uh, that he has his own trading room now. Uh, down on the bottom right is Mr. David Wise. He's our options trader. This guy is just incredible, a 90% win rate uh, trade day, day and swing trading options. Uh, he relies solely on technical analysis. There's no guesswork with him. He relies 100% on the signals that are provided by our trading system. And that's really one of the keys to his tremendous success. Um, up here on the top right is Mr. Mark Sachs. Uh, Mr. Mark Sachs is maybe the smartest guy I've ever met in my life. Uh, he's a walking encyclopedia. Uh, especially when it comes to trading. Um, if if I had a question or if anybody has a question, uh, he's really the one to ask. Uh, he's really a, a great trading mind. Uh, and he also runs some options alert services and he's a contributor in our software development. Um, I don't want to spend a lot of time, but we also have Rock Miller, who's in customer support. He's a college student. Uh, we have Charles Sider. He's a graduate of UCLA. Uh, he has a master's in computer science. He's an engineer. He makes sure all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. Uh, I can't tell you how many meetings in the morning that uh, sometimes I want to pull the hair out of my head, but you know, he's great for the team. Sergio Luque Rodriguez, a Cuban American, a great guy. He also has a computer, uh, of computer science master's degree. And our team is led by Mr. Mark Miller. Uh, Mark Miller uh, is a great guy. He's a US Army veteran. He has an MBA from Cal State. He's a man of God. And his military values have worked their way into every department of, of right line trading. So I'm really part of a very talented team. Uh, thank God it's not me pulling all the the levers and, and trying to keep up with everything because um, I've listened to some of the people before me and man, they're, this is a, you know, an, an industry that requires a, just a, a ton of work. It, it is a daily grind. Um, but I wanted to mention in my previous slide, uh, Mr. Brock Miller, um, who's our newest team member, has very little to no experience with trading the financial markets. And he was able to use our trading system. And I think on his second or third try, um, he immediately got funded and was able to, uh, and still has a performance account um, with one of the very popular APEC, with one of the very pro popular prop firms, excuse me. Um, so listen, if you've had problems in the past, uh, listen, as traders, this is a journey that's full of, potholes and speed bumps and disappointments. And that's the struggle that we all share um, in this journey together. So I just wanna let you know today that there is hope and not to give up um, because you could just be around the corner from finding something uh, that opens the, the, the gate to your success. So uh, keep the fight going. Uh, if you see something that interests you, if you like the system that I'm about to show you, I want to respect everybody's time. I know it's been a long presentation. Stick with me. I'm going to make it very brief. And I'm going to show you something that's really exciting. But what I wanted to mention was I might, I might not be able to get to all of the questions at the end. All right. So if you put your name and your phone number, in the chat box, I'll see them. And I will give you a call 
um, following the presentation. Um, if it's okay to call you this evening, if not, we can wait till Monday, uh, whichever is best for you. But please uh, put your name and your phone number in the chat box. I'm not a telemarketer. Uh, I'm gonna give you a call and uh, just answer the questions that you had, that's all. So like I was just getting into, and I don't wanna spend a lot of time on the slides. I wanna go right to the charts and the, and the performance and tell you about the, this automated strategy. Uh, as I mentioned just a few moments ago, uh, this is a difficult journey. I mean, listen, you really have to be in the zone uh, looking at a fast moving market to make split second decisions on a number of different variables. Um, when, for, you know, if, the emotional errors that come along with it. You know, I like to use a, an analogy of, of Michael Jordan being in the zone when he plays basketball. That's kind of the mindset that we have to get ourselves into. Uh, Marcus, uh, you know, is, is a pro at it with, with the psychology that goes into trading. You have to put yourself mentally into a zone that you're you're convinced that you're going to make a winning trade and you're not going to make a mistake. Um, I don't know about you, um, but unfortunately, I'm not a Michael Jordan. OK, um, I've blown out accounts. I revenge trade. Uh, the good Lord knows that I cut my winners short. Uh, if a trade starts going against me, I'll, I'll abandon ship. And when a trade goes in my direction, I'll squeeze my stop. So um, you're not alone. Uh, I think we all as traders suffer from some of these very common problems. And um, it has been our commitment as a team. I know my slide says my commitment, but knowing how hard that my team members work, it, it wouldn't be fair to say that it's my commitment. It's our commitment um, as a team collaboratively uh, to bring this to an end, we want to provide you with uh, automated strategies and a tool set that's, that you can bring to the market every morning and feel confident and put you in the, with a strong possibility of gaining consistent profits. Is it guaranteed? No. Um, however, we are going to increase the odds and put them in our favor. So. Um, as I had mentioned earlier, when the opening bell rings and all of that static of the, the bars and is in total chaos and we have no idea which way the market's going to go, um, you have to have a proper tool set in order to be successful. Okay. And that's really our mandate as software developers. So we've narrowed it down to two things that create trading success. Number one, we want to have the proper tool set. We have to identify risk. We have to know when to get in and when to get out. Uh, we, we have to manage our trades uh, with our stop and profit targets in the ideal locations. So these are the two things that really create trading success. Um, Ideally, if we can automate that process and eliminate human error, man, are we going to be ahead of the game? And that's really exactly what I'm going to be showing you today. Our AI auto trader, and let me break it down for the basics of how it works. This is a strategy that runs in Ninja Trader 8. Uh, from the preceding presentations, I'm pretty confident that most of you are familiar with Ninja Trader. And if you're familiar with Ninja Trader, I think you could really um, give Mr. Joel Wise some credit for what he just showed. I mean, th those tools that he showed for discretionary trading are just, uh, you know, extremely powerful. But Ninja Trader is uh, an extremely powerful futures trading platform. And it is a free platform now. Um, back when, uh, you know, four, I think it was five or six years ago, um, 
when I, I, I started leasing it. And then about six years ago, I bought a permanent license and I think it was about $1,195 um, to, to buy Ninja Trader. And now the platform's free, okay? So now you can uh, sign up with one of the prop firms. You can put uh, 500 bucks in an account and trade micros. And the Ninja Trader 8 platform is free. This is a strategy that you build in the Ninja Trader 8 control center. And once it's enabled, it will take the trades, execute the trades, and manage them on your behalf, okay? So what does that do? What are, what are the benefits of that? Well, for people like me, uh, there was a presenter that I listened to uh, a month ago. He said that humans have, I think he said about 15 different personalities. And 13 out of the 15 do not lend very well to be a trader. Uh, you just, they just don't lend well to, to the making split second decisions and not getting, making emotional decisions. Well, I'm not one of those two out of 15. Okay. So this has really been a godsend for me. Uh, so there's no more overthinking. There's no more over hesitating. If you've blown out accounts, if, if you just can't, you know, find the zone to be consistent, uh, this perhaps could be a solution for you. So let's get right into it. Um, I want to show you um, our portfolio of strategies. And I say portfolio because what we've done is we've diversified a number of different instruments on a number of different time frames that take different entries and work better in different market conditions. <laughs> so there's a real diversification uh you know in order to compensate for the changing market conditions all right um so the first strategy that i'd like to discuss with you today is our golden goose our golden goose you know that go that gold and man the gold <laughs> wow uh you know it started out the month you know gold was headed uh down you know it went down to about 1830 and now you know with the cpi report and the conflict in the middle east now it's up you know headed up to 1950 again so precious metals and uh and energy um are looking good right now and the vice versa for the index equities but the golden goose um you know is traded on the comex the the gold the the gold pit opens at 820 and between 820 and 1030 uh, there's some pretty good, you know, there's a really good action. I mean, now, you know, this this time of the year, it's, it's just a tremendous amount of volatility. Um, the Golden Goose strategy um, runs on, uh, has a two to one risk to reward ratio. And um, what it does is it enters into the trades in the same direction as institutional money. Uh, the little green arrows that you see on my chart, <clears throat> what those are is that's our market internals indicator. And that's telling us that right now there's a disparity between uptick versus downtick. And we look for that disparity to get into the same direction as large institutions. And we have another, a couple of other key indicators that are part of our secret sauce um, I don't want to get into much depth on uh, for this presentation, um, but if you do come aboard, we do have some masterclass modules and workshops that we are doing ongoing that really get under the hood and break down the strategy in depth. But you can see here that once institutional money uh, get, starts pushing the price of gold up higher, um, our system, our strategy sniffs it out and jumps into the trade long and takes it on that long trade for a winner. And on the vice versa, when institutional money starts flowing out of gold, it respects market structure. I come below my 15 and my 50, and it jumps into that short trade and in the same direction as institutional money. So gold has been a, a strategy that we've been trading 
I'm going to highlight, I want to highlight the results for the month of October. Okay, the month of October um, saw the Golden Goose um, up about $800 for the last two weeks. Okay, the, the main drawdown was in the first few days of October. Um, it, it took about a $550 drawdown and then found its way and started flying in the positive direction. So our October results for the Golden Goose are actually $770. Our next strategy uh, is called the Haymaker. I'm sorry, it's called the Nighthawk. The Nighthawk, um, I refer to the Nighthawk strategy. <clears throat> you know, Marcus earlier had mentioned that, you know, sometimes he has people that, you know, whenever they take a trade, it's a losing trade. So he suggested, well, just do the opposite. Um, well, that's kind of what the Nighthawk is. Um, I referred to it, I, I was you know, always a, a Jerry Seinfeld fan. Uh, I've always loved George Costanza and, and Kramer, and they crack me up. But it was an episode of Seinfeld where, you know, George Costanza just couldn't do anything right. So his, his assumption was, well, I'll just do the opposite of what I normally do, and uh, everything will go perfect. And, and that's what he did. So that's what the Nighthawk does. Uh, watching it trade will probably, you know, uh, give you a close to, it'll raise your blood pressure, okay? So to give you an idea of what I mean, and, and by the way, you know, we've had uh, just an enormous amount of our members um, get funded and, and continue to trade with a funded account uh, using the Nighthawk strategy. And uh, one of our members here, um, his comments in, in Discord, and Listen, if you do decide to come aboard today, you are going to be a member of our Discord community. Um, we have uh, a couple of hundred members in our community of traders that are all in this trading journey together. Uh, they all share what's working, sometimes more important than that, what's not working. Listen, wouldn't you rather someone else make the mistake? <laughs> they say, hey, this isn't working, then you know what not to do. Uh, so. That's uh, in our community of traders, David had posted uh, what was working for him. He said that he used the Nighthawk strategy and he paused the bot at $500 profit a day. And then he moved to another. And, you know, I really, I really took a lot of uh, value in that advice. Um, and I actually followed his advice. And, um, in fact, let me show you real quick. In the parameters of the strategy, and I don't want to really um, get lost in this and take up a lot of time, but I want to just show you. In the parameters of the strategy, you can set how much you want to lose for the day and how much you want to make before the strategy cuts off and stops trading. And you could do that per strategy or you can make it per account. OK, we can also time optimize the strategy, which is what we've done. Uh, we have a great team. You know, uh, we do data analysis every Friday and the more data that we accumulate, the, the better, the better these strategies get. Um, we time optimize them. Uh, we look at the risk to reward ratio, the MAE, the maximum um adverse excursion the mfe the maximum favorable excursion and it gives us the ability to really optimize our atms but let, let me not get too far off track point i wanted to make was david said his strategy was to make 500 dollars a day and then stop trading that strategy for the day so i did that myself and i did a per strategy and as soon as that strategy hit $500, that's it. I stopped trading. Listen, capital preservation is so important with these strategies. If you hit your profit goal, it's, I've heard some people say, don't be greedy. Um, well, yeah, uh, you know, greed does play into it. Into it. Uh, absolutely. Because we start making a few winning trades and we think that we're not going to take a losing trade. And really, that's a big problem with futures traders. 
Um, luckily, our risk to reward ratio on these strategies are weighed heavily um, on the average of two and a half to one in our favor. So with this maximum loss, uh, we can control our drawdowns. We also have our trail loss target. So what that means is if your profit target is 500, but you get the 400, you're not going to give it all back. Just like your prop account, your loss target is going to kind of trail up. And if you've made 400, now the most you're going to be able to lose is 100 when you have that trail loss enabled. So if, if you're somebody that's running prop accounts, this is going to help you prevent taking drawdowns. Okay. Um, so we have some really great features in these strategies. Um, for capital preservation. So I don't want to lose my place. David Fisher, uh, I'm sorry, David, I don't mean to mention your last name, but you can see it on the certificate. But I really took to heart what he had said, and he's right. Capital preservation is key with these strategies. So you can see here on my chart of the Nighthawk, this, this strategy, everything's lined up to go long, what does it do? It takes a short trade and comes down and gets a full winner. It, listen, we're, you can see we're on a on an uptrend. Our 50 is green and sloping up. Momentum is all headed to the upside. Uh, this strategy is going to wait until it comes up. When everything lines up to go long, it takes a short. So, you know, watching it, you'd want to pull the hair out of your head. Um, but it's, it's amazing how well it's been doing. Uh, the Nighthawk. And I want to, my slides are a little blurry because I took a screenshot. So if I go to my results for the month of October, um, you could see the month of October, um, I'm up about $2,950. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go to the next one. And I'm going to total up uh, all of October so you can see how we're doing. Our next strategy uh, in our portfolio is called the retirement plan. And I'm just going to open up my questions and glance at them. Okay. Okay, Ray. Sorry about that. All right. So the retirement plan runs on the NASDAQ. Of course, you can uh, trade it on the, the micro NASDAQ. I always have a question. Can these be traded on, on the micros? The answer is yes. Uh, these can be traded on the micros. <clears throat> so the retirement plan strategy uh, runs on a two-minute NASDAQ. And it is a sig we call it a signal A entry. What that is, what that means, let me keep it simple. You can see on the bottom of my chart, right here, this is our Laguerre oscillator. The cyan or, or turquoise line is my RSI line. When that RSI line breaks through the 20 or the 80 and a few other conditions are met, it's gonna, that's my trigger. That's my, that's my trigger to jump into that trade. So the retirement plan will jump into those trades very early, very early, right when momentum shifts, uh, we we have a, a bar delay on it to not to get you know faked out um, because the market will do that to us. Uh, so we don't get faded or not or faked out. We have a, a a bar delay, and once that next bar goes and it's still headed in our direction, momentum, uh, we're jumping in that trade. And you can see it get in early and get that big move up to the up to that second profit target. Uh, it kind of sidesteps this oversold environment. Um, and here's a losing trade. And I put this chart up here on purpose. Um, I want you to know that we are going to take some losing trades. Okay. If anybody has a strategy that doesn't take a loser, uh, please, uh, share, share their number with me. All right. So, uh, this next trade over here, you see the RSI line goes through and my trade is in for a nice winner. I'm getting into these trades nice and early. And let me tell you, the retirement plan, holy moly, it only trades an hour and a half a day. We ran it for a few months, 
and we time optimize it between 10 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. Eastern. So we, we trade this uh, strategy after the, after the opening bell is rang and the markets settle down, about 10 a.m. we'll get in. And um, you could see um, the analysis, just like you see on my slide, uh, from October 1st to the 14th. And uh, that's my summary there. Uh, very, very few trades this month. 16 trades and two contracts each. That's uh, a total of eight trades that it took. And um, out of those trades, the average winning trade was 300. The average losing trade is 130. Okay, about a two and a half to one risk to reward ratio. So the retirement plan is uh, really killing it. And the next strategy that's uh, really doing amazingly well is the hungry hippo. I see a couple questions coming in um, and I'm going to look at the questions. I don't want to get sidetracked right now, but your questions are very important and I will get to them. Listen, I love this hungry hippo. Uh, this hungry hippo has been the, the hottest strategy. Uh, consistent, consistent, oh my goodness. It runs on the ES, it's a, it runs on a 10 range, a 10 range on the E mini. And it also looks at that Laguerre momentum uh, to get into these big moves early. Uh, you could see on my chart this week, uh, this, this trade just, you know, flew. And um, it, it gets in right at the RSI line crossing uh, the 20 or the 80 line. I'm in the trade early, and this thing just takes off to the moon. Um, the ES 10 minute, uh, I'm sorry, 10 range, the hungry hippo this week, this month, excuse me, is up. Listen to this $3,800 on the hungry hippo. Okay. $3,800 on the Hungry Hippo. And um, and I want to show it to you. This is the same exact uh, slide. It's just a little blurry and I want you to see it um, right off my Ninja Trader. Uh, the Hungry Hippo, uh, listen, these strategies love this, this market. They love it when it's trending like this. And uh, the Hungry Hippo is just loving it. And you can see in my summary um, for the month of October, um, it's really crushing it. It's really crushing it. My average winning trades two seventeen. My average loser seventy eight dollars. Listen, this is why, as a futures trader, I was always pulling the hair out of my head. How many times have you taken two or three winners, and you're feeling great, and then you take a loser and it blows out uh, the last two winners that you just made? Uh, this does the opposite, the opposite. Average winning trade 217, average loser 78. So we could take a few losers and still stay in the game. Uh, it's not going to put us on the sideline if we're running a prop account. And listen, even if you're running a live account, who wants to take a drawdown? And last but certainly not least, uh, strategy is the one that we call the haymaker. Uh, the haymaker, man, it came out throwing knockout punches, uh, came out of the box and it was it, crushing it. And then market conditions change. And um, that that's something that can should be expected. It's not out of the ordinary. And that's why having a team of professionals um, is so important. Okay. And I'm going to, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Um, first, these are a few of the trade examples um, it gets in early on these big momentum moves falling in the flow of big institutional money. Um, but when you go to my performance, you can see it came out of the box in February and we were, man, we were loving the haymaker. We were all high-fiving each other. Uh, we were knocking them out. Uh, but then it kind of turned on us and um, our team seeing that we had a, a strategy that wasn't working well, um, really did a, a really in-depth look at the data. They looked at the data and we optimized not only the ATM strategies, the times that it runs, and now we've kind of turned it around to where it's coming back 
and we're back into the green, okay? So we are coming back into the green now. We are positive for the month, but this particular strategy took a drawdown. And um, if, if again, if you know somebody that has all winning strategies, something might be wrong, okay? Uh, so these are our full portfolio strategies. And if we add them all up, um, we're looking at a, a total net profit for October of $10,471. And listen, we in the background are running variations of different inputs to forward test the strategies. We have several tools to optimize the strategies, and I'm not going to get into to, to that in this presentation. Um, half of you just want to be delivered something that's going to win. Uh, you don't want to get under the hood. You don't care how it works. You just want to enable it, and you want to do well. And we've got you covered. There's also another portion of you that like to get under the hood. Man, we've gotten some of our best ideas uh, from some of our members. And listen, we're going to do a, a weekly workshop where we're going to teach you how to build your own ATM machine. That's the title um, of the weekly uh, sessions that we do, how to build your own ATM. And man, we're going to get under the hood and we're going to we're going to show you how to optimize this and build it, uh, you know, to your specifications. So with that being said, I wanted to show you last but not least. Um, you know, with the many strategies that we run in the background, the ones that I've showed you today, I wanted to bring up a blank performance and just check out the strategies that we deliver um, are the ones that I went over today. Um, and I just want to add them one by one because I've heard others mention it. You know, there's, you know, a lot of Monday morning quarterbacks out there. Let's face it. Uh, you know, I give I have an inbox of emails full of, you know, trainers who made fifteen thousand dollars last week. Uh, but you never really they don't show you about it before they took the trade. You know, that's the problem. Uh, it's always in hindsight. OK, so I just want to show you we're just going to check off the accounts that these were running in. We had the retirement account. Um, we, we went over the Nighthawk. We went over the haymaker. We went over the uh, gold. And we went over the hungry hippo. And when you add those all up, that's where we are for the month of October. Okay. And how did I do it? I did it by following DB in the beginning of this presentation. I followed his instruction. You know, I didn't let it take those big drawdowns. And for me, that was the key uh, to turning the trajectory of all of these strategies uh, cumulatively uh, to where they're all hitting and, and all running on all eight cylinders. So $10,472 cumulative uh, with all of the strategies. And um, listen, uh, the, what I had mentioned earlier, for those of you that do want to get under the hood, um, we are going to be running with our team. Um, I've got some professional data now. These guys know how to analyze the data. You know, when it comes to breaking down what the maximum excursion and how much heat we took on the trade and uh, how much money we gave back after the first target was hit. These guys will crunch the numbers like you you wouldn't believe. So we're going to do a weekly workshop. You're going to be invited. Uh, we've already done the first one, and, and we're going to do them, if not every week, every other week. And all of that is you're going to be a part of. Uh, I know it's getting late, and I'm, I'm running out of time. So let me get into my offer. If you do decide to come aboard today, and I really hope you do, because I think you're going to love this trading system. Uh, I don't want you to be um, I don't want you to be intimidated by the tech. Uh, we have a tech team that does a remote support session. will come right onto your uh, desktop, and they will 
uh, load the strategies for you. They're going to load them all for you. They're going to set up a workspace that has all of the chart templates. And you're not going to do any of the heavy lifting. Um, I don't want you to worry about that. Uh, so our special offer today, and uh, for Traders Corner, we always try to do something special. Um, we're going to include both our discretionary um, and our automated strategies, the, the full portfolio. Um, what I mean by the, the discretionary is you're going to have all of the indicators and all of the chart templates. Uh, we share with you our ATM strategies. If, you, if you'd if you like to take the trades and you want to take some trades, um, you're going to have all of the indicators and all of the tools um, to get into these trades where, when our software uh, defines at the lowest risk entries. Um, our full portfolio of strategies are come included, all markets. And I mentioned earlier that you're going to be part of our community um, of traders in our Discord chat group. And man, do we have a great Discord chat, chat channel. And I just want to highlight it real quick. Um, we have the general chat um, where everybody every day, um, if they have questions, they want to share what's working, what's not working. Um, it's all in there. We have members of our team in there. Um, if you need help, we have a resources channel, how to build the strategies, the charts, the, the breakdowns of everything. You're not going to be lost. Um, one of the nicest things are the daily trading, uh, the daily results channel. Our members post in the in the channel what their daily results are. Uh, so you can see what's working, what's not working. Um, another really great one is the software updates. Every Friday, we're going to tell you which ones did what, what the performance was, what parameters were going to change. And we have a spreadsheet that will have all of the inputs of all of the parameters, a dynamic spreadsheet. Uh, so you'll always be up to date. You'll never be in the dark. The special offer with coupon code and, and Rob or Brock, if you can help me out, uh, post my link um, in the chat box. The coupon codes are up here on my slides. It's $3.99 a month. Okay, for $3.99 a month, you're going to get everything. Uh, the coupon code SAVE100, it's going to be $3.99 a month ongoing. Uh, we have some better valued offers. Uh, if you buy two months, you get the third free. We have a $7.99 quarterly. Buy two months, get the third free. Jump in for three months and uh, let's take it to town for three months with you. By that three three months time, man, you're gonna you're gonna be a believer. I assure you that. And the last uh, but best offer, uh, the best value, is gonna be uh, the save one thousand for our annual. Um, buy three quarters, get the fourth quarter free. So for twenty three ninety nine, that's gonna give you the full system, everything, for the entire year, uh, for the entire year. So uh, let me see if I can answer a few questions. I respect your time and I know it's been a long event. Um, um, mean, mean asks what program we use to tabulate our gains and losses. Uh, we, I, what I've showed you was our, the Ninja Trader performance. Under your control center, if you click new and then trade performance, your performance will come up and that'll tabulate your winners and losers. Pre, pre boss. Yes, my friend, capital preservation. Oh man. Listen, you, I heard, you know, Joel touch on it. You know, Marcus hit on it. Man, when you got money in the bank, don't give it back. Oh, turn off the strategy. Go play a game of golf. Take the kids to the park. Um, what initial amount would be required to start with micros? Good question. Prevas asked, uh, what, how much would he need real money to start with the micros? If you want to run the full portfolio, um, yeah, you could get away with the micros with a couple thousand bucks, Prevas. Um, 
you, you know, I always add a little cushion, you know, just in case you take a small drawdown. It's, you're not going to be, uh, you know, getting these messages that they want to talk to you. Uh, Prevost is 72. God bless you, sir. He's got throwing his joints. We're all getting old, Prevost. Uh, Michael, I will. I will post those in Discord. Yeah, I see you in there all the time. Uh huh. I mean, you'll have to put your name and number in, and I can talk to you about that. Okay. Ray, the, the you know the triggers on the the strategies are Ray's asking of you know the difference between um, of the strategies that we have and and it's the triggers is you know what 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 um, triggers a trade that's the main difference and is this does this trade future Alan you always ask me that question I've seen that before Alan asks is this for futures only. Well, listen, this runs on, let's uh, let's break it down. This is the best answer. This runs on the NinjaTrader 8 platform, okay? You have to run it on NinjaTrader 8, which by the way, is a free platform. And the NinjaTrader brokerage provides you with data for futures. There is futures trading platform. However, they do have an API with a, few, a couple of other brokers for example, Thinkorswim for stocks and options for stocks. And there's a Forex.com, I believe it is, um, for Forex. So hypothetically, you could use this strategy uh, through an API and I don't advise doing it because I'm somebody who likes to keep things simple. So let's keep things simple and stick right with NinjaTrader's platform and the futures data feed. Um, it can be done, but I don't. I don't recommend doing it. Michael, thank you for your number. Listen, uh, it's really been my pleasure. It's always an honor um, to to present here on on Traders Corner, and and I thank everybody here for your time. I know your time is so valuable, and uh, these presentations, I just love them. I get I get really psyched up, and uh, listen, uh, I'm a trader at heart, and I've been talking to traders for for over a decade now and you guys are like my family so i want to see you succeed man i want to win and i want to see you win and i really believe in what i'm offering you today it has the potential to put you in the winner circle so there is no age limit kenny um, i think you've got to be 18 or older to have a uh, an account um, it might be 21 you might want to check um, but it doesn't matter how old you are, as long as you're over 21. And listen, it, you got to be, um, you got to be 21. So I hope everybody has a blessed weekend. Let's all pray for peace, man. This is really, it's a really scary time that we're in with, uh, with these conflicts that are going on. And, you know, uh, one, one of the politicians, I think said it best, uh, you know, it's not who wins or loses. It's let's let's not kill each other. My goodness. Uh, but I always pray for peace and uh, let's all pray for peace. And it's always a, a joy and, and an honor uh, to be on Trader's Corner. Thank you, everybody, for your time. Have a great weekend. Really Thank you, Rory. It. Your strategy Thank looks you. amazing. We've been hearing that it's been crushing it lately. And let me tell you, I'm ready to go off the air and give you my credit card number and have it running on my computer in the background. Ladies and gentlemen, if you struggle with human error, over trading, inconsistent results, and blowing out trading accounts or prop accounts, then Mr. Rory Powers over at Rightline Trading has a solution for you. You can learn more by clicking on the link in the chat box. I did put the coupon codes and stuff in. Thank you again, Rory. We hope to have you back. Enjoy your weekend, sir. Thank you, Rob. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll conclude our fall special event. The staff at Traders Corner wants to thank all of you for joining us today. It's been an information-packed event, and we hope you've all enjoyed it. We'll be posting today's recording on our YouTube channel soon, and please enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a nice evening. Thank you again for being here, and happy and profitable trading. Good night, everybody.